morning and welcome to this uh, Battle of the Saints, the 90th Battle of the Saints between two leading Catholic schools in Colombo, right between St. Joseph's College and St. Peter's College. This uh, matchup fought out for the Reverend Father Maurice Legock uh, Trophy has been on offer for quite a long time. You can see uh, nice uh, pictures of the ground all lit up all with sun sun beating down pretty hot and humid it will be a lovely day for cricket this uh, battle you can see some of the pictures here there we see the tally the battle of the saints and joseph's leading with 12 wins to 10 followed closely by st peter's played 89 so far and with 67 draws some interesting draws in that Let's see here. the match summary of the 89th battle of the saints st peter's batting first followed for 214 Pereira getting 66 damagi 55 uh, the main scorers Gagana Chamod 5 for 69 was a brilliant spell there. Presence keep alive round Singh 3 for 36. And this Anaik had one. St. Joseph's in reply but 240 for 2. It was a rain uh, hampered game. The suggest Javadana Skip on 110 not out and Hiran Jai Sundara on 91 not out. Unbroken partnership there. Naren Murtudharan and Chevon Daniel, the two batsmen to be dismissed. Chevon Daniel, we know, went down to represent uh, Sri Lanka as well in the B20s. The match was drawn, just two innings played. Most of uh, the second day was washed out with rain, even part of the first day. So keenly contested uh, battle. Uh, and I welcome Harita Perra. Good morning, Harita. Thank you very much, uh, um, Michael Adams, and a uh, very good morning to all of you, uh, to you too. Uh, don't pray for rain. Uh, we had some rain yesterday. It's a lush uh, outfield at the SSC bathed in sunlight and uh, a lot of expectations uh, for a full day's play today and tomorrow a full match and hopefully uh, an interesting game because uh, 60 overs maximum for the first innings and um, the uh, outcome whatever it may be uh, the um, ascendancy on the first innings is something that uh, all uh, Joes and Pete's would uh, want to uh, emphasize on. Yeah, definitely, Harry. The, the first innings is going to be very, very vital, especially when you're playing 60 overs. Just to make it interesting, try to get the crowds to come in. And boy, sometimes even 60 overs, Harry, is a long time. Yes, um, in uh, schoolboy cricket, uh, you can be bowled out. There it is uh, at the opening ceremony. Shamil Aldias Vijayaratna was chief guest, the captain St. Joseph's in 1978, I was told. Yes. Captain in 1978 went on to play. He was playing from 1975 to 78, basically. As a professional accountant and a business uh, administrator. Would be uh, happy for him to come back and uh, have a feel of uh, what it was when he was captaining. Always a nice uh, feeling to uh, be back. Yeah, the um, respective uh, rectors, Reverend Father Ranjit Andrade for St. Joseph's and uh, Reverend Father Rohit Rodrigo for St. Peter's. Vishen Halambage is captain for St. Peter's. Um, his vice captain is uh, Rusanda Gamage. Strong team uh, head coach Mohan Lienage, assistant coach Pragit Nishant, master in charge Nirmalal Priyadarshana. Uh, sports coordinator Reverend Father Milan Bernard.
always uh, a great opportunity for the youngsters it's a historic occasion you will be part and parcel of history all expectations always strong team uh, taking the field we'll come back and uh, discuss about uh, the playing 11 later on just to uh, say about the playing conditions are there interestingly we play 105 overs for the day so play can go on till 615 starting at 930 that's a lot of cricket We've had uh, one big match played in that uh, sort of fashion here earlier uh, in the month. Still meeting the Pete Wrights, the two captains there. Lahiru Amar Sekar, it's uh, big for him too. Um, his vice captain Hiran Chasundara, head coach Dilan Ramanayak, assistant coach Torin Pitigala, master in charge Asari Kaldera, prefect of games, Reverend Father Priyanti Serra, rector of St. Joseph's College, Reverend Father Ranjit Anradi. Always uh, a situation where you would uh, recall a good uh, game of cricket. Uh, the uh, match referee for the two-day encounter is uh, Manoj Mendis. And, uh, we are now ready for the uh, situation of the pitch. And uh, over there is Gamini Pereira. Good morning, everyone. We are in for another scorching day, I'll tell you. It's very hot, muggy, hardly any wind to speak of. Outfield is looking immaculate condition. Well, let's have a look at this pitch. No doubt it's going to be an intriguing encounter. As always, these two schools produce very good cricket. Rock. It, is, it sounds like a rock. Hard as anything. Six mils of grass, even cover. There was a slight drizzle last night. So... There's a bit of moisture on the surface. Don't forget one thing that we need to take into consideration. Unlike any other big matches, in this one, there are some regulations in place. You are only allowed to bat for 60 overs. So, a lot of decisions will be made according to those regulations. There will be enough movement, enough carry, enough bounce for the faster bowlers. In the air as well as off the track. While the moisture is on surface, there will be a bit of turn and bounce. But in the afternoon session, this is, this is going to be, get a lot better for batters. So that first 60 overs is very vital. So what are you going to do when you win the toss? Because of these regulations in place for this match. And also I want to tell you one more thing. Unlike any other match, there are from the middle pitch, middle wear stump, there are the 18 inches. And there are two tram lines here. That is to give an indication for the bowlers that you can't bowl negatively. You've got to be at the batter all the time. So there are a few different regulations when it comes to the Joe pit. I like it. So what are you going to do when you win the toss? I'll say, because this 60 overs and while there is a bit of juice on the pitch, you're probably leaning towards bowling first. So thank you, Gamini. Yes, uh, Gamini's uh, predictions... Uh, like he says, these conditions, not like a normal game, 60 overs uh, for the first innings. I also would agree with Garmini. Winning the toss, the captain would want to put the other side in just to get the advantage, the early moisture on this wicket. Little bit of grass, but not a worry. The, and let's see, Damit Veera Singh is at the, the pay down for the toss. It's time for the toss of this 90th Battle of the Saints. I have the two captains with me, Vishayan Halambage of St. Peter's College, Lahir Amra Sekar of St. Joseph's College, the match referee, Manoj Mendes, and the reserve umpire, Shanta Fonseca. The home team captain, Lahir Amra Sekar, will spin the coin while Vishayan will call it. Heads. It's tails. Tails it is. St. Joseph's has won the toss. Lahiru, what are you going to do? We're going to bowl first. Any particular reason in bowling first? Yeah, the bit of moisture in the surface and we have good pace attack and I think the surface will be helpful for our bowlers, especially fast bowlers and yeah. How's the team morale coming into this big match? Actually, we are done so far this season very well. So we are in good mentality and good confidence and we are looking forward to continue our good form into the big match as well. 
what sort of a score do you want to restrict the pit ride? Actually, uh, below 180, 160 is a good score, good score chase. Actually, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Lairo. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. Vishen, if you had won the toss, what would you have done? I would also have bowled first. Uh, there's a bit of moisture in the wicket uh, for the first half an hour, so I would also have bowled first. How's the team combination and the morale coming into this big match? Yes, uh, we've won three outright wins uh, before coming to the big match and uh, we have a good uh, pace attack as well as a spin attack. So we're going with uh, four spinners and uh, two fast bowlers. What sort of a score do you want to post uh, while batting first? Uh, 250 plus uh, is what we are thinking of uh, to bat in this week because uh, just the first 20 to 25 minutes uh, we'll have the bit of uh, space and swing. But after that onwards we'll uh, catch on. Wish you all the very best, Vishen. Thank you very much. So the news from the centre is St. Joseph's has won the toss and they will bowl first. Thank you, Damit. And as the Garmini predicted, uh, the captain winning the toss will want to bowl first. And rightly so, Lai Ramana Singh and the Josephian captain winning the toss and choosing to bowl first. Josephians are going in with three fast bowlers, whereas the Peter is with two fast bowlers. There are four spinners, that's what the captain said. So, Harita, I think it was a good decision, Harita? Yes, I think it's a good decision as far as the conditions are concerned, but uh, I am one uh, who would like to bet at the SSC. Um, so, I think uh, it was a good toss to lose uh, for Vishen Halamage. Having said that, he and uh, the rest of the batting at the top order should be sensible over 60 overs but there will be some assistance off this track as Garmini predicted you've got to bowl a good line and length under these circumstances and, uh, the first ball and that's uh, take the thickest outside edge and first runs on the board the first boundary of the first delivery so that's uh, a good start for the Pete Wrights maybe uh, not wanting it to go that way, but uh, it was pretty safe. Getting that edge, keeping it up. The Dunic uh, Pereira, maybe see no fielder there. It's going with uh, two slips and a gully. Well, it was actually three slips earlier, Harita. And if that gully was there, maybe it could have gone to that man's hand. See, I, I don't believe in this. A boundary of the first ball and one of the slips come to third man. That is unbelievable. Ovin Salgado is a good striker of the ball. He started off uh, very well with Dilana Damsara. And uh, don't you think uh, the opening partnership is a bit of a surprise? Harika, uh, if I've been following the actor guy, the last few matches, this has been the opening partnership. I think they want to go in hard at the Josephians. Not only that, uh, they want to keep those uh, top performers and uh, make them uh, a little bit more comfortable. Well, this is very a sad situation to see that just that first ball goes getting the edge and they've gone with the third man. You win the toss. Just yeah, I know, I know what you're trying to tell. I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing something like that. I'm surprised with uh, Dilan Ramanayaka if uh, he was instrumental in uh, making that decision. You must trust your new ball bowlers. I mean, Lahiru Amarasekara's decision was to bowl first. You must give them that uh, vote of confidence. A lot sure, of thought uh, sharing by the wicket keeper, the bowler, the captain. Little bit of time wasted, I'll tell you that much. I think I this. I would put it down to the captain. Just that first delivery. So I don't know why, how the coach would have got a message in so soon. You can you can decide and come if they, if they are going out very quickly to go on the defensive. Anyway. Well, seems like it. You just give one. One boundary and that was also off edge. This is uh, not good cricket by the Josephians to start off with. Just the first over, you're winning the toss, putting the other side in. They're just going with two slips now. Better delivery. 
Dunik Pereira trying to keep the ball on off stump, angling the ball across uh, the left hander's body. Stocky chap. If he gives the ball a little bit uh, more time to move in there, that'll be good. Elias and Fernando, two stalwarts from the two schools. Checking that everything is going on well. Terence Fernando and Michael Elias. So that's the end of the first over, this 90th battle. St. Peter's four for no loss. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. A lot of sound already. The uh, joint uh, schoolboy enclosures are quite uh, full at the moment. It's a, it's a nice thing to see because uh, this is a schoolboy encounter. And uh, to see the schoolboys gathered in their numbers is a good story. There's, uh, Two slips and a third man. I wouldn't call that a gully. I think it's two slips. Yeah, definitely two slips. I don't agree with that third man, Haritha. I'm itching to do something about it. One on mid lane leg and this time Dilna Damsara is off the mark. And they've gone with a deep square leg as well. So both batsmen getting off the mark in the first delivery. Two left-handers. Very seldom you see two left-handers opening batting, but you've got a plethora of uh, left-handers now in school cricket. I'm told that the Pete Reds also have about five or six in their playing eleven. What do you mean? Uh, I'm told you should have gone and seen. I, I'm still not sure what the playing level was. It's, it's on the board. Yeah. So A lot of traffic uh, fielders moving from uh, the onside to the uh, offside. Uh, they are strengthening the cover area. Salgado is a good striker of the ball. He drives off the front foot. I remember three, four years ago, he was with us identifying the players. Salgadu. And now he's out there. Two massive uh, flags, Joseph and Pete Wright, paraded around the ground. It's a fun time for the schoolboys, certainly, and the stewards. Very well organized, as it seems. Six without loss into the second over. To make Sarah Singer. Ball coming in. Not express pace. Certainly can get that ball to move. So Dunik and Dinuk opening bowling for the Maradana school. The D and D combination. So yeah, Joseph has been in the toss. Uh, he left him to bowl first. It's been a quiet start. To go with that, you got a double D batting and one in for the Pete Wrights. That says 138 a top score. Have again not got the line right. Uh, the Pereira, Pereira had to run a long way, a couple of runs. Uh, I mean you take the pressure off. Uh, you have an offside field and you're bowling on middle and leg. Well, also moving in uh, to the left hand, so it's easy off the pads. Tell you it's a good batting track if they bat for one hour. Sarah Singer, there's five matches. 
Once again, wrong line. It cannot bowl there. It's restricted to one run. Good thing is that they are not trying to um, hit too hard. Hit too big. Not get to that uh, area. I think the first hour, they will have to be careful. This wicket will help the paces. They are not express pace, mind you. They are slow, medium stuff. So they will rely on a little bit of movement. Duni has the ability to bowl fast. But maybe trying to, you know, get the ball to move. Certainly not Sarah Singer. They've um, plugged that uh, mid-wicket gap, uh, so there's no chance of a run. End of two. And put in the bat, uh, the pit rides a nine without loss. Vishen Halamage, Rusanda Gamage, Shannon Rodrigo, Asadisa, De Silva, Lashmika Pereira, Ishira Ayupala, Ovin Salgadu, Nathan David, I think uh, is a key. Rithil Jayavira or Suravira? Suravira. Uh, Dylan Damsara and uh, Joshua. Joshua Sebastian. The Bumblebee school lineup. Here yeah, we see the Josephians. Uh, Kiran Jai Sundara, Kirun Kapuru, Pandara, Avisha Samash, Avishek Javira, back live. Trying to go for a big hit. Dilna Damchara. We'll have to be a little careful, you know. Just the first hour. Played on its merit. So we see ball moving away. Trying to go in that gap. The in the point and extra cover. Yeah, he was playing away from his body. He had not moved into the line, didn't cover it, uh, angled across his body. That's good thinking. From the Vidya Mahavad end. They'll have to be careful with their line and length. We have not uh, seen uh, the bowler really bending his back I wouldn't mind it I think uh, he should first settle down you must be comfortable with your line and length not give freebies yeah you just need to get uh, everything right uh, at the start we see Yenula Lairu the balance uh, and then Dinuk Manas uh, Richma Sanuja and Dunik the playing 11 quite a lot of batting in this uh, Line up. Ha! Ah. That's a surprise. He didn't really dash that ball onto the surface, just shot up. That should encourage Dunik Pereira. Did come in. He's seen him bowling the outswinger to the left hand. Put a little bit of uh, doubt on the batsman's mind as well. Damsar is batting on leg stump. Well fielded. Good cricket all round. You know the Devatu sir. Diving stop. That would have been a certain boundary. Yeah, he's one of the better fielders in the Josephine uh, lineup. Uh, match commissioner is Viraj De Silva. He's. Uh, Master in charge of Nalan the cricket, referee Manoj Mendis, umpires Ravindra Vimalasiri and Pragit Ramukwal on field. Shanta Fonseca is the standby umpire. Again, and Tepton Yorker. So he's thinking. Dunik Pereira is uh, trying to bowl with uh, a little bit of variation. Keep the bat batter guessing, not be predictable. Good uh, good thinking there. Ravindra Vimalseri, all round from uh, Dharampali Dalia Panipitiya. Played in that, oh yeah, Dilna Damsara, 190, so two centurions, 684, that's a lot of runs. 
average almost 40, strike rate almost uh, 68, everything good for him. I think since he started opening the batting, it has been uh, pretty good for him. That one played nicely down the ground, no fielder stopped that. That's and another boundary for the Pete Rides, 13. Now, after three overs, and Peter's 13 for no loss. Heels crest nine sausage, the bite that bites back. Gold Wild, unleash the wild in you. Nikam Borota risk a gunny, eh? NDB Neos the risk a gunnatu, kick a fund transfers Karanava game, a chill like a bill speaker. I was talking about uh, the on field umpires, Ravindra Vimal said all round from Dharmpal with the Pane Pitya. He played in that uh, Coca Cola Trophy uh, championship winning team as an uh, all rounder, good bat uh, or spinner. Prakit Rambukwal, on the other hand, uh, played for Nalande, wicket keeper bat. Two um, ICC uh, panel umpires out in the middle. Shanta Fonseca, left arm new ball bowler, lanky fast bowler. He could bat, but he was quick when he was bowling from Nigambo. Satasivam Ravindran is the scorer for St. Joseph's. Nanda Patirana for St. Peter's, uh, Dian Patirana was also an umpire yesteryear, stood in uh, important uh, international games too. Chandan Nishanta is helping us, he's from Nigambo too. Thirteen without loss into the fourth over, decent start from uh, St. Peter's. So Sarah Singer keeping the ball in line with the stumps, not giving the batter too much room. Salgado having opened uh, with a boundary, has not scored uh, more than a single over the next 10 deliveries. Well, he's taking his time. I think that's the right way to go, uh, Artha. Wouldn't want to lose wickets, want to get as much as possible taking his time that one is on his pads down to the deep uh, square leg boundary for a single yeah he opted to flick it rather than drive it on the onside Salgadu no harm didn't try to hit aerial they are rotating the strike well getting about their task in a decent manner. Then you know, needs to get his line a bit more outside the off stump maybe and then try to swing it in. That off stump line. That's much better. See these two batters are relatively strong. They, are, they seem to be strong off the front foot. They have a decent reach too, so the bowler will have to be careful not to put it too full close to the pads, especially if you are not uh, hitting a line in line with the stumps. Well, they are looking to get the ball to swing, so they need to keep it at a decent length up to the batsman, try to get the slips in play. That's better. A shot of good length. They have been impressed with uh, Sarah Singer's line and length. He's made the better play all the time. In fact, uh, both bowlers have done that commendably. I think that's what you need with the new ball. Yeah, don't waste it. It's a little bit gloomy. It's not burning hot sun. It was some time ago. The um, line is good. 
It's 14 without loss after four overs, a single off that fourth over. एक खाले के टीवी बाल ना मिनी सुनते हरी हरी कारा दर रोना लोगों टीवी स्टैंड वर्ल्ड तो पॉली टीवी आवा टीवी आह कब बाला गाता मिनी सु टीवी के ना दहा साथ है रिया इतिंग में दें आराम देना द टीवी एलईडी फुल एचडी यूएसडी स्मार्ट इस तरह इंदा पानस पाने में हैटर बहाने का अंगल में दें गाने ඕනෑම මාදිලයක ඕනෑම ටීවි එකක් ටික ටික ගෙවන්න මේ දැන් අරගන්න තිබෙන පුරා සිංහ ශාකාවෙත එන්න St Peter's are already into the semi finals of uh, the school's two day league is it did they win the quarter final yeah they won won the quarter final on first innings So there we see uh, the first wide on the leg side. I'll tell you it's wide in this two-day game because uh, of the 60-over restriction. Like Garmini uh, explained, there are two additional lines there, 18 inches, so that you don't bowl negative. So that was a bit harsh. Uh, a little bent in between. The batsman moved to the off. Well struck. Very well struck by Salgado. Just short of good length. Angled across the left-hander's body. That was a tennis shot. That was a cut that went past the ball cut. He got onto the back foot and double-fisted backhand. Back, backhand, yeah. There you go. Andre, I guess he would have been smart and happy about that. Anyway, it's another boundary for Salgado. It's 19 with a loss into the fifth over. Hmm. There's a fielder down there. A bit short, but not short enough. Good cricket by Salgado. He's on to double figures already. Yeah, if you if you try to drop the ball too short, you won't give it uh, time to beat the bat. Three boundaries already are they in the first five overs. From the Vidya Mouth end, Tunik Pereira. Again on leg stump. So he's uh, a bit lucky that uh, Damsara is not taking the aerial route. There's no mid wicket. There's a deep backward square leg patrolling the boundary. Mid on is inside the 30 yard circle. The danger of. Uh, but uh, just uh, going area on the onside. I'm sure that won't take too long. We'll see it coming very soon. Didn't try to uh, overhit. Just played with the full face of the bat. Uh, he's offering the full face of the front foot. Dilana Damsara. That's a sign of a batter in control and uh, in form. I think Arati, it's also the mindset of the batsman. You see, at the toss, the captain was saying even if he won the toss, he would have bowled first. So, that also can change the thinking of the batsman. Even though they are positive, their normal shots might not come out at the start because of what has been discussed. Once they hang out there a bit, the nerves are gone, then you'll see those uh, shots coming out. Yeah, they would probably look at uh, five and over. Get to 275, yes. 250, definitely. 60 overs is five and over is 300. I'm not talking 60. I'm sure they'll take it right now. End of five. Peter's 20 without loss put it to bat. He's gonna pop an event.
Singly Sports Club celebrating 125 years. The celebrations uh, will be sizable, colourful, varied, I would believe. Excellent sporting facility in the country. Well struck, beautifully struck. Given a little bit more air, planted close to the pads and Ovin Salgadu said, just thank you. All he had to do is just get it into that gap. And uh, turns himself another boundary. That was really up to him. So to get some bat on ball into the gap. You can see now uh, four boundaries so far. Yeah, pitched right up to him. Now it's just down to one slip. It's a defensive field now. There's a deep cover. You're giving a positive message to the batters with this sort of uh, field setting. I think you're giving them a lot of confidence. Yeah, on the other hand, uh, if, you're, if you're not scoring adequately, and uh, if it's a containment uh, that uh, is being aimed at, you may probably get away with it. But picking up wickets, that becomes a rarity. I'm uh, whitish. That's when I've got their runs, uh, Arthur. So no, I mean, you know, going after it. Leaving it alone. Sargadu has some problem with the bat. Batted well for his 15. Almost a runner ball performance. That's what he is known for. Ah. You don't want all that on top of a uh, defensive field. Almost uh, half an hour's batting, the sun is back. Plenty of cricket too. That was lazy. You say body behind the ball in the field in part, he was trying to do that, missed it completely. A bit too easy, I think. Better delivery. Dilana Damsara is now playing uh, second fiddle to Ovin Salgadu. He's trying to slowly play the sheet anchor role, I would believe. Into the sixth over, 25 runs already. Decent start for the Patriots. Need wide out to the Ostrom this time. Going for a wild swing. That ends over number six. And St. Peter's are 26 for no wicket. Your embrace so warm. Let me stay here for a while. With one more bite of rebel oh, for sunshine. 
ரசை திரண மிக்ஸ் பெர் ரசையும் கண்ணில் பெரி வண்ணகி இன்னுடு போன்ன ஏன்க ட்ரிங்கின் யோகட் It's a hot and humid uh, morning here at uh, Singhali Sports Club. The umpires have allowed the two batters to uh, have a drink early on as uh, St. Joseph's turn to spin. The captain Lahiru Amarasekara has brought himself on. Six overs. 9.30 start. Kamini. Strange to see a spinner in action early on. Good morning, Damit. Good morning, everyone. The only thing that is not strange to me so far is that Josephians have won the toss. They've root the cha. Uh, they've root their chance of taking control of this game. I've been. I just could not believe my eyes that uh, the very second ball they've had three fielders on the boundary line after deciding to uh, have a go at the beat right batters and uh, then and there you gave a message to the batters that you are trying to you are looking to contain without trying to get them out. is the amar sekar stats 54 wickets played all the matches i'm not surprised that they've uh, uh, captain himself uh, decided to have a go but uh, at the toss damit uh, i did say that uh, there's been a juice on the track and uh, because of the um, regulations that are intact for this game 60 overs per team in the first dig that I'll be leaning towards bowling first but not 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 these kind of tactics definitely not because suddenly in the blink of an eye Pete Wright batters are in control and you're you're looking to uh, play catch up cricket yeah straight away the slips went off and uh, the fielders were placed near the boundary ropes and spin has been brought in hello lahir amar sekra with this um, grass covering uh, gamini you can see the leg slip in place so he might not get uh, much turn at all especially in the first session so he's trying to fire it in and then uh, trying to trap the left hander loud appeal probably would have uh, hit outside the off stump yeah definitely the impact was outside the off stump you mentioned about the field there is a sort of a leg gully on it there is that last one oh, I put that an inside edge as well there was a lot of deviation that has come off the wicket keeper's pad to be called boys yeah the only time that you are going to get turn on a rock hard pitch like this at SSC is when there's a little bit of moisture once it dries off it's very hard work for the spinners you're not going to get any sideways movement you have to rely on bounce hey can a quickish delivery from amar sekar seven overs completed simply does 28 for nan am body kale sarungale ekke wanne gi no lem berune na wenna ba ियंस Lahir Amar Sekar started off from the uh, with the arm of the end uh, the third seamer for the Josephians Manas Madhubashana he'll be bowling from the tennis court end another good uh, young uh, prospect for St Joseph's College he's got the ability to swing the ball both ways but uh, let's see what he can uh, do with his new uh, kokabura straight away there's only one slip uh, gavini 
yes, he is a new bowler, but still a bowling uh, on a good pitch which will have something for the seamers. He has picked up only seven wickets this season, best of three for 32. Yeah, at this level, uh, damn it. When it, uh, when it comes to any level for that matter, you got to uh, stay ahead of your game and uh, you got to have the will to trust your skills. And the way they have spread the field right around this ground, it's a huge ground, mind you. And there's a lot of gaps and uh, you're not giving any message to the batter that I'm trying to get you out. You're waiting for the batter to make a mistake. You're basically going through the motions, aren't you? It's just this field is a very good indication of that deep fine leg deep third man deep point <laughs> nearly nearly brought that edge this is what the good sides will do that's around that length that you need to bowl on a track like this here at SSE while there's a bit of uh, freshness in the surface particularly that first session so you need to open a couple of gaps on the offside and asking the batter to go for it and find that edge it was there to be put away but feet were nowhere near to all those watching the live coverage this is the 90th battle of the saints cricket encounter between st joseph's college and st peter's college you will have 105 overs on both days the first innings is restricted to 60 overs per side that has been the special condition for this big match since 2000 that's a good delivery from Manas Madhubashana. Loud appeal. Probably the best delivery the Josephians have bowled so far this morning. Probably the best over. And you have beaten the bat out, outside the outside edge a couple of times now, and you still got one slip. Once again, there are no any, there aren't any indications that you are trying to get him out. I will bring that deep point fielder in and ask him for him to go towards that area. Have another slip, maybe two. Got all wrong that one. For those who have just joined us, there are two tram lines on either side, precisely 18 inches from the middle stump. There you are. So umpires are very particular. He didn't bowl that deliberately uh, by any means, but he just got his release wrong. Front arm fell across. As a result, the bowling arm went towards his right side. Experienced umpire Pragit Rambukwala standing in. Much better length that time from Madhubashana, but not the line. But as you correctly said, Gamini. This has been the best over so far for the Josephians. Yeah, that's why I was quite surprised not to see Manasa opening the bowling for the Josephians. Another very experienced umpire, Ravindra Vimalasiri, from the ICC elite uh, panel of umpires. These two gentlemen will uh, definitely have good control over this uh, 90th Battle of the Saints. He looks a bowler that likes to hit the deck, but he's got the length right. He bowled with good control that first over. Probing over that from uh, Manasa, 29 for no loss.
Hills Crest nine made a sausage. The bite. Amar Sekhar continuing, he'll get good bounce off the surface, uh, Gamini. He's a tall young lad, the captain of St. Joseph's College, playing his uh, fourth big match. That two went in with the arm. It all depends on the skipper and the bowler. On this occasion, both are same. Skipper is bowling. So, there's a lot of bounce on this track. You got to trust your skills. You got to back yourself and try and get that ball to hit that top part of that bat. And have a fielder in front to test the defensive skills of a batter. Because it's only going to get harder later on. So while there is some uh, moisture on the surface, you need to make the maximum oh, out of it. Again, there's a lot of bounce. Dilan Adamsara struggling uh, to read uh, Amara Sekara. Ah. Amara Sekara getting uh, that uh, shiny part of the ball to hit the seam, hit the pitch rather. This has been a good over from the captain. A single to Damsara to end the ninth over. St. Peter's College having been asked to bat first. 30 for none. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Madhubhashan now bowling for the first time to Damsara. He bowled a good over against Salgadu. Just a single that time. Gamini, probably from the Josephian point of view, from the Josephian think tank, think because of the 60 over rule, maybe that's why they want to have uh, some of these uh, defensive fielders out in the rope. Well, 60 was a long time. 300 balls. Legitimate balls. That. So that's why when you have conditions as such, here at SSE, you try and take control of the game very early as possible. So you you put pressure in the first 20 overs or so. Pitrides will be will have to re repress that button in order beautifully punched through the offside to get back into the game because there are only 60 overs. In the same way, if you do bat well for the 60 overs, you're you're in for a very long time, aren't you? Uh, there's a hell of a lot of pressure going to be applied on the side that going to bat second part. This wicket is going to stay the same and it's going to be better in the afternoon, uh, Damit. So there are no demons on the pitch. It's not going to deteriorate. So while there is some assistance, if there are any, in the first hour, you need to take the maximum advantage. I don't see that uh, Josephians are, have got those intentions. This back of the length didn't really transfer his weight onto the back foot. Damsara has faced 30 deliveries so far.
Gamini, you being a neutral of this uh, big match. I'm sure you've had uh, plenty of uh, memories playing against uh, these two schools back in the day. Two uh, good cricket uh, playing schools in Colombo, St. Peter's and St. Joseph's. Again, a wild heave on the offside. There were two good overs from either side, so there's a bit of pressure building on these two batters. Suddenly, the Josephians have found a good partnership from either side. We are talking about Jules, Jules and the uh, Pete Wrights, uh, Damit. As a player, every year you look to play these two schools, and you know, both these schools in their DNA, they produce some very good cricketers and very good skill f skills. And uh, I can mention names till the cows come home tomorrow. There are that many uh, cricketers that I've played against and uh, after school, some, some of them, that's a wavered delivery. I've, I had the luxury of playing with some of them uh, in the same team after I finished school and, uh, you know, I was going, just going through the uh, Centurions list from either side. There are some fabulous names, fabulous players, you know, Rohan Buljan's on top. For the Pete Wrights, he's uh, incidentally he's got the highest aggregate, hasn't he? Uh, bully, uh, and then uh, probably the best left hand I've ever seen, Ron Paul Pille. Scored a hundred in uh, 1986. A lot of Pete Wrights say that's one of the best that they've ever seen. Ten overs completed, 33 for no loss. Kiri Atir is superior, sir. To all those Josephians and the Pete Wrights watching uh, this uh, live coverage from um, wherever you are, could be in Australia, could be in Canada, England, wherever you are, this is the 90th Battle of the Saints, the March Madness, part of the dialogue big match season. Lairo <laughs> Amrasekara. Trying to trap uh, Salgadu with his uh, line and length. I just spoke about two Pete Wrights and uh, look at the Josephians. Uh, Arin Silva, Jimut Kanaratna, Sadira Samar, Vikram, Angelo Matthews. But guys, you, you don't need any introductions about those players, do you? They're all in that Centurion's list. Yeah, there are some... There are a few left-handers in the pit right <laughs> lineup. I'll tell you, Malin, the Varnapur, Amal, Silva. They were all fabulous players. Javiro Pandara, he's the right hander, he's domiciled in uh, Vulnerable Australia these days, in Victoria. They all could play. They had the um, honour of seeing them alive and uh, the fantastic cricketers. Another good over from the captain, 33. Fanan, St. Peter's. Seat Car Radials. The road is yours. Heels Crest Nymeris Sausages. The bite that bites back. Hot and spicy fun by Bigabi Maracaranda.
Gamini, another interesting stat uh, is that the we all know the Royal Thomian could not uh, be stopped due to the world wars and um, there are two other games also the Josephian Royal game and the Josephian Thomian game those two games were also not stopped uh, due to world wars that much of uh, history involved with these two uh, schools these two teams and also um, with some of the other leading schools in Colombo Manas Madhubashana for me he's been the pick of the seamer so far for the Josephians and straight away I think they've uh, got in a the point fielder it's more like a fly slip really like a back or oh, it comes to backward point area now I think simply because of the bounce that Manasa is getting hoping for an edge there you are that's gone over the fielder but there was width on offer not convincing by any means but had enough bat on it a boundary after some time yeah these two left-handers were kept quiet for the last uh, few overs but uh, Damsara using the width still the Josephians persisting with that same field last year's uh, Josephian Pete right uh, encounter was marred by uh, green but this time around if uh, all 210 overs uh, were possible we are in for a very exciting encounter especially because of this uh, 60 over rule uh, Garmini we've seen uh, over the last uh, few years that we've seen good positive cricket from these two teams I know if any of the Royals are watching or the Thomians they are going to throw some stones at me after watching the um, Royal Thomian encounter this year I thought uh, you know I will never wake up again but Josephians and Pete Wrights always produce good cricket and uh, you can expect the same this year Salgadu and uh, Damsara both on 17 they've uh, given some good starts for the Patriots this season the loud appeal umpire Pragit Ramukal uh, a very experienced umpire Josephians down on the knees uh, less you say about that shot is better what is that shot what do you call it uh, you may have expected a short one really just from standing position you really can't say whether he, he's trying to hit it on the offside or the onside Manasa keeps on asking questions. By far, he's been the pick of the bowlers this morning. Slow delivery. End of the 12th over. St. Peter's 38 for none, and the umpires have called for drinks. Introducing Sri Lanka's biggest Google TV collection from Singa. Endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore. Millions of shows, movies and games, plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place. Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa. Radios, the road is yours. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, 
but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Heels crest nine meters sausage. The bite. St. Peter's College were asked to bat first by St. Joseph's College who won the toss in this 90th battle of the Saints and so far the two left-handers Dilana Damsara and uh, Ovin Salgadu have uh, managed to uh, put up a good opening partnership. They have plenty of batting left. The Pete Wrights, Vishen Halambage, Asadisa, Di Silva, Rusan, the Gamageshan and Rodrigo, Joshua Sebastian, Lashmika Pereira, Ishira Ayupal, Nathan David, Rithil Suravira. It's the Pete Wright lineup for this 90th battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's, the two opening uh, seamers, Dunik Pereira and uh, Dinuk Seresinga, were all over the pitch. But Lahiru, Amar Sekra, and Manas Madhubashan, they've been good. All four bowlers have bowled three overs so far, three overs each. 12 overs completed in this 90th battle of the Saints. The two openers, Salgadu and uh, Damsara, they've been uh, very positive uh, in their approach, uh, Gamani. Yeah, that was the very first ball, outside edge. And since that point, Josephians have gone on the back foot. Well struck. Well struck. Beautiful very strong bottom hand player. There you are. That's gone over that Both field. these batters are very strong on their bottom hand. Yeah, the last few overs, the Josephians have put up a good partnership from either side. But like you said, uh, the two opening bowlers were a bit disappointing. And then I thought the options that uh, the skipper took early in that first half an hour was very disappointing as well. At this level, uh, Damit, when you... Not only the big matches, it's any match. Uh, as, a as a skipper, you need to um, keep your attacking instincts on. You know, pressure can do all sorts of things in your mind. Yeah! Officially driven, yeah! but in the gap. Good effort from the field there. Kept it down to one. It's a very quick outfield, so... Not many times you are going to win the race with the ball. Rishma Marasinghe that time at uh, short extra cover. See where that shot went. I would probably have that extra cover field in that position. On the drive. Yeah, it's a pivotal uh, field in position that uh, short extra cover. There was a single on offer, but uh, the two batters went against it. The short extra cover field, uh, Garmin, especially when you're batting and when you uh, when you're in your stance and we, when you look up, that's probably the first field uh, you see. Ah! Ah! That went in good delivery to end uh, Lahiru's fourth over. 39 for Nana St. Peters. Heels crest nine meters sausage. The bite that bites back.
to all those joining in on this live coverage on the Papri, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, bringing you a live action from the Dialogue Big Match season. This is uh, the Battle of the Saints, St. Joseph's College, Colombo and St. Peter's College, Colombo, playing their 90th Battle of the Saints. This two-day encounter has a special condition. The first innings is restricted to 60 overs per side. That is purely because, uh, Gamani, for the last 89 encounters, we've only seen 22 results. Poor piece of fielding that time from the Josephians, allowing uh, Dams at a, a single. Yeah, that's another area that the uh, brain trust of St. Joseph's College will be very disappointed with. Fielders have not backed the bowlers, have they? They have a few fumbles, misfields. Yeah, you mentioned just the 22 results out of the 89 um, matches we've had so far. One reason for that, uh, Damit, I, like I mentioned a few moments ago, both these sides, both these schools, again, from standing position, looking to go towards mid wicket both these two, uh, both uh, these schools um, have pretty good sides every year, year on out, every year in, year out. So it's very difficult to breach the uh, defense of some of these batters that uh, these uh, two schools have produced. And uh, I think ever since they introduced the 60 over rule, we've had four results, haven't, haven't we? Yeah. Way, but delivery from uh, Manasa Madhubashana. Yeah, being a front on bowler, Manasa, or semi o semi open, you could call it. Yeah, it's very important to get that non bowling hand coming down straight. The moment that hand collapses, it just goes the other way. There you are. So you need to, you need to finish forward with the non bowling hand or the bowling hand. So at times he has got it wrong. Very good batting from Salgado. Yeah, since the special uh, condition of uh, the 60 over rule came into place, that came in place in 2000, and then the first result after that was in 2008 when St. Joseph's uh, won uh, the big match under Ruanta Fernando Pule's captaincy. That happened after 36 years for St. Joseph's and um, 32 years for St. Peter. So after that, after 2008, St. Peter's have won three times in 2010 under Chatur Pires' captaincy, in 2012 under Shehan Fernando, and in 2016 under Vinu Mohoti. Manasa Madhubashana falling over that time. Before we saw those four results, uh, after the new rule was implemented, the last two results was in uh, 1972 and 1978, Gamini. There you are. Incidentally, the 1974 teams were here this morning celebrating the 50 years and uh, those uh, 70s and even uh, late 70s for that matter, uh, Pete Wright had brilliant sides. Again, beautifully punched. Single to finish the 14th over. St. Peter's College, was, they were invited to bat first this morning. They are 43 for no loss. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Gold and body wash shaker.
back to SSE for the 90th cricket encounter between St. Joseph's College and St. Peter's College. St. Peter's College being put into battle 43 for no loss after 14 overs. And uh, say good morning to Pradeep Edwards, who's uh, joined the box with me. Uh, good morning, Pauli. I think uh, St. Peter's could be extremely happy with this start uh, coming into the game as underdogs could be said. Uh, but I think uh, they took extreme uh, good uh, uh, care in the first few overs to keep in keep their wickets intact in mainly. And I think uh, St. Joseph's uh, missed out on a trick on attacking, uh, uh, winning the toss, having uh, the advantage of uh, the slight moisture in the pitch and the greenish effect which Garmini added very well in the morning. So I think the attacking fielders were not in place in the first uh, few overs. I think that's something the Josephian skipper and the Josephian camp will be thinking of. Yes, you're right, Pradeep, because uh, St. Joseph's College winning the toss and putting the beat rise into bat, they definitely could have attacked a bit more, especially with the paces. We just saw bowling to just with a solitary slip fielder. So, 14, they have, the intention looks like to keep the Peter right batsman under check. Yeah, 15 definitely. overs gone, 45, 44 runs still on the board. But uh, if you don't get the wickets, definitely Peter Wrights can go on the attack at the later stages of the innings. Yes, we talk uh, the Peter Wrights crossover towards another single and move the score to 45 for no loss in 14.4 overs. And quite a steady start, Pauli, like uh, we were talking before. Yes, definitely, it was a very traditional field uh, that was uh, set in the first few overs. This is an area that the Josephians really could have capitalized. Uh, but still, uh, the match is still in a very, very early stage. It's uh, just 15 overs gone so far. A lot of things can happen. Uh, so let's see what's the next step. The spinners have come in, some tightens, some screws. So things are looking changed right now. Yes, that's the Josephian skipper, Lai Ramra Sekra. Bowling is fifth over, just given away just five runs. Been very economical. Bowling to a field of slip. There is a forward short leg. Those are the two attacking fielders. Of course, we have a short mid wicket. There is a mid on. That's on the onside with a deep square leg on the boundary. That's the end of that over. So it's 15 gone, 45 for no loss, St. Peter's. एक खाले के टीवी बल ना मिनी सुनते हरी हरी खारा दर रोना लोगों टीवी स्टैंड बल तो पॉली टीवी आवा टीवी आह कब लगा गत्ता मिनी सु टीवी के ना दाह साथ है रिया इतिंग में देंगे आराम देना द टीवी एलईडी फुल एचडी यूएसडी स्मार्ट इस तरह इंदा पानस पाने में हैटा बहाने का अंगल में देंगे आराम � ओने में बाद लेकर ओने में टीवी लेकर ठीक ठीक के बन में देंगे आरा गन्ने टीवी ने पूरा सिंगल शाखा बेचे हैं ना। So welcome back to the SSC. Uh, we are in the 15th, at just the end of the 15th over. We are Saint Peter's uh, put into bat first by the Josephians are uh, 45 for the loss of Novikat. Uh, Pauli, just thinking about uh, the captain bringing himself into ball, uh, uh, do you think it was a little too early for him to come in because he didn't uh, take use of the new ball that uh, could have been done early? He panicked a bit with, without the loss of uh, the face he's not doing and he brought himself a bit too early. I was, I th thought so. It's all right, Pradeep, because you have the third pace, minus Madhubashana, who's bowling now. He should have been brought in before Lairo Amrasekra, but Lairo Amrasekra decided to come on just to keep things tight. That's their main intention. It looks like the Josephians want to keep things tight because uh, you can remember this uh, game is restricted to 60 overs in the first innings. So if they play with that intention in their minds, I don't think uh, that's going to serve any purpose because the Pete rides keeping their wickets intact. Later in the innings, they're definitely going to go on the attack. Indeed, Paul, I was really shocked uh, to see that move as well because having three good paces, uh, the Josephians have a very, very decent bowling attack and they should have really taken uh, uh, maximum out of those conditions initially. So it's a That's 49 a game. short off the back foot, tried to pull it, didn't get hold of it properly. That's uh, Juan Salgado, who's on 23. 
facing 43 43 deliveries well i think pradeep pete rights also on the other hand is not taken advantage of that yes definitely probably i f- found the same thing yeah definitely you're spot on they never capitalized on the moment uh, they also just uh, intended to push the ball around and not to really attack do you see the line manasa is bowling just outside the off stump and he's taking it further away from the batsman the left handed batter you see there is a bit of movement so it's uh, trying to keep the batsman in check but uh, being fair by the pete rice uh, been put into bat first definitely was some pressure on them so i think they did the correct thing in the first few overs but like you said there were certain opportunities that they could have uh, grabbed the single or two make the ones into twos a little more yeah this is a big ground a lot of gaps available just to push the ball here and there and keep the strike rotating that's what the batters should do not to look for big hits it's too early definitely too early to go for big hits they got a decent start up to now 49 for no loss we are in the 16th over just slightly about 3 runs per over 3.13 there you see to be exact Uh, Pauli what do you think the Pete Wrights will be looking at uh, from where they are right now Well I think batting first they should look at a total of 250 260 in their 60 overs that's uh, about 4 runs per over and uh, I would be happy if they can reach up to 280 yeah, that would really put some pressure but Uh, we can never write off the Josephian batting lineup which is a really good batting lineup but however this is a big match so the big game can put a lot of pressure on any good side we have seen uh, Josephian sides even uh, who are representing Sri Lanka today have taken a lot of pressure during the big match so St Peter's should keep this in mind and ensure that they capitalize on this uh, good start they got of not losing wickets specially so again uh, way down the leg side uh, little surprise in the umpire in call that a wide uh, given the conditions of uh, being a 60 over restricted game so it's 16 gone st peter's 50 for no loss gold and body wash shaker nikam boruwata risk ekak ganne ai NDB Neos Tier di risk ekak nathuwa kick ekak fund transfers karanna wagema chill ekak bills pay karanna Heels crest nightmare sausage the bite that bites back Fifty for all us after sixteen overs at Peter's College being put into bat. The Josephians won the toss and decided to put the Peter Rice into bat. Or you see a bowling change. That Yenula Devtusa, the left-arm spinner, being brought in. So some interesting comments behind the wickets. A lot of pressure put on the batsmen by the fielders, and uh, I think the Josephians are really trying to make a breakthrough here. So and the field looks very much better. Got a lot of attacking points even for the fast bowler before. So I think uh, they mean business now. Uh, and uh, now is the time that the pressure Peter Rice should keep their nerves, uh, well, not lose what they started. Well, I think Pradeep they should have added a bit more pressure, bringing in a short leg or a centimeter off right up there, put a bit of more pressure on the batters. That's nicely played. There was uh, between the gap. That's gone to the boundary. Four more runs. That's two on Salgado. Takes him on to 28, and the Pete Rice score moves on to 54. Just as you said, uh, that's a shot a batsman will play with. It's a short leg, but uh, he did it uh, quite beautifully. And uh, ex- uh, they should, they should really attack. The, the short uh, catching field uh, should be there. That field only had the pressure. Yes, definitely. The Josephians got to look for wickets. They won the toss and put the Pete Rice into bat. They cannot go back on that. 
That's another good delivery this time by Devthusa. Yeah, definitely they should not think of going back on that. I think they want a very, very important toss. And uh, throughout the entire game, that pressure will be there because we try to bat again. So, talking about batting again, you were talking about uh, today's chief guest and the declaration St. Joseph's made some time back and even lost the game. So, this is uh, how cricket goes. So, I think St. Joseph's now should think they still, it's so early in the game, Paul. It's just 16 overs gone. And how in the they olden days, Pradeep, we used to play very good attacking cricket. That's what the motto behind us. You know, we are prepared to take defeat. I know Shamilal uh, declared, Shamilal Diaz Vicharadna, who's the chief guest today, he declared their earnings at tea time, giving 140 minutes to the p Rats to bat and get 200, uh, 180 runs, which the p Rats uh, gleefully accepted and they won uh, with uh, six wickets, one by six wickets. And that, uh, you see in this Joseph and p Rats history, that is the biggest, highest chase to win a game. So. Rides. I can remember Walter Fernando getting a half century in that game. Pete Rides were led by Suraja Basekara. So that match was played at the Oval, am I correct? Yes, uh, that game was played at the Oval. Must have been a thriller. It's definitely, everyone enjoyed that game. The Joseph Yans as well as the Pete Rides all enjoyed that game. It was a wonderful game. The Joseph Yans lost, I uh, suppose, in the last over or two. 180 they made uh, for the loss of four wickets. That was way back in 1978. That's a long time back. So I think memories will always be there. And those good memories, positive cricket, positive thinking, have created great leaders for both St. Peter's and St. Joseph's. So it's 17 gone, 55 for no loss. Naim is sausage, the bite that bites back. Kiri Atir is Supiri Rasa. Big match fun, Prima Kotumi Tiaraka. So, welcome back to the SSC. A very sunny day. The grass outside the playing area is basically brown, Pauli. That shows how hot uh, Colombo has been during the past uh, few months and uh, nice to see both school boys from both schools packed in the ground and uh, must congratulate both the rectors for taking this initiative to bring in the culture get the school boys coming in giving them transport meals and water uh, so that they can hang around here that's all about the Josephine and Pete right yeah that's uh, this game is theirs uh, Pradeep no doubt about that the school boys should be present in this game to, they would like to see their heroes performing in the center. But you were talking about the outside of the ground. Just see the ground itself. Looks beautiful here at the SSC. Yes, definitely the SSC ground staff must be commended on an excellent uh, ground condition they have created with the terrible weather of sun being a nightmare during the last uh, couple of months. We had extraordinary rain before, Pauli, and then it turned into an, another extraordinary situation. That's again, uh, Lairu Amrasekara coming from the pavilion end now. Bowling is sixth over. Just give it away five runs. That's the way he had been bowling. Very economical. But the Josephians should look for wickets at this stage. No two words. All the bowlers have been very economical, bowling line and length quite well. Uh, but there has not been any threatening deliveries, Pauli. So even from the fast bowlers, nor the spinners so far. Yeah, they never look like getting a wicket for that matter. And that's the end of that over. That's a maiden again. It's 18 gone, 55 for no loss. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z. We KYC. Easy. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. 
education loans and salary advances. Amazing! Introducing the digital youth account, NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Heels crest nightmare sausage. The bite that bites back. So it's the end of the day so to continue. He'll be bowling to Dilan Damsara, who's on uh, 21. Damsara has faced 52 deliveries, and uh, On Salgado has faced uh, 57 deliveries for his 29. We're in the 19th over. Well, Pete Wrights must be quite happy with the score 55 for no loss. They have not lost any wicket. So they might uh, be happy to bat about uh, 25 to 30 overs. Then go on to the next gear. Actually, that's what St. Peter should do right now. Since they have got this uh, good start, not lost wickets, try to keep their wickets intact at least till the 25th over. That will give a lot of confidence on the batters to come. And even if these two continue for them to go for, I think they have seen the ball quite well now. Only thing is, they should not make a silly mistake, uh, Pauli. That's very important because. Uh, going through the Pete Wright season, there has been a lot of batting collapses. So they should always keep that in mind. St. Peter's have been in very, very good positions, lost very, very quick wickets and got bottled, bundled out during the season. So they and the coach, I'm sure, will have that in mind. So St. Peter's will definitely uh, look at how they can get to 25 over mark. Well, all what they got to do is to push the ball here and there and get the singles, try to rotate the strike. They should not fall behind that run rate too. But here we don't see the Pete Wrights looking for that single, pushing it here and there. A lot of gaps in the field. If Hello. you see just a squalling area, no field around there. Just push it there, work it around. And that's the end of that 19th over. It's 55 for no loss. So we are back at the SSC and three Baden overs on the trot. Uh, Baspin batting to the merit of the bowler. They are not trying to make the singles. And now going for a huge swing. This is what happens. This is the thing that happens when you get three or four maidens. Then you try to go for the wild swing and just do bad to you and your team and make entire hash of the entire game. So it's important, like Pauli said before, make use of the big ground. Just get the single. Just make the one into two. That's good enough for the Pete Wrights now. If they push it on, get 100 runs, with, possibly with these two batsmen in, we have a game on our hands. Well, I think the two batters should be talking to each other, decide on what they should do and what their target is for the next 5 to 10 overs. Just to push the ball here and there and rotate the strike, that's what their intention should be. We are in the 20th, 20th over, still 55 runs on the board. But the Josephians, that's a wild swing again, didn't get hold of it. This is lack of concentration because Maiden's been bold. Dot balls coming in so many. So the beat tries try to get over it. Yes. Just think about it. Just push it here and there. The non striker should go down and speak to him. That's what I feel. That's another good delivery this time and managed to work it away. Gets a single. That's a good uh, sign uh, getting a single. And Paula, actually, I noticed like. The batsmen talking to each other, the communication, like you very correctly said, has been very less. But I was looking at the Josephians complimenting with each other when they make a great stop for their fielding acknowledgements was excellent. The vibes look very good with the oh, Josephian uh, fielding, even though they have not taken a wicket still. So that's 20 gone, it's 56 for no loss. It is my vision that wakes me up. Not my alarm. I 
make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Big match fun, Prima Kotumi Tiaraka. Well, Pratip, I have a feeling, you know, when the batsman is getting stuck in one end, the non striker should walk up to the batsman and say, Come look here, you don't need to play wild shots, just push it around. They should be talking about it and they should set a plan for the next five uh, overs. We're going to get at least 15 runs. That should be our target or 20 runs. They should have a plan to work on. And that's again nicely played. Definitely, Paul. And that automatically puts some pressure on the other side to see what they were talking about. So, you know, these little, little things that we don't see in nowadays cricket. I think cricket become going to a different level has uh, brought out a lot of uh, communication errors as well. So I were at the press conference at the Joe Pete uh, this time. That's another wild swing that he got it connected. That's gone to the boundary. It's over the boundary. That's the first six of the day. And that's Dilana Damchara getting it. Yeah, well, so the Josephians might be happy with that if they are trying to have a wild swing like that. The Josephians, uh, the two spinners might be happy. Definitely, that's what the Josephians want the Pete Price to do. And uh, but definitely, uh, looking at the batters as well, that was a confident hit. Uh, but this is the type of hits which will happen when you don't get the singles. Well, yes, uh, you said it correctly. It was a good, very nicely played shot by uh, Dilan and Damsara. He moves on to 27 of 59 deliveries. That will also give a lot of confidence to the Pete Wright batters, uh, Dilina's blow. So, uh, at the press conference, something that uh, the captain, the old captains, uh, the, 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 the captains who uh, captain the first Josephian Pete Wright 50 over saying is the discipline of the players at that time and how they respected the umpire's word and what is uh, international cricket today, where everything is argument and players being suspended. So, things have changed, Pauli. Uh, and we see this also in school cricket nowadays. It's again nicely connected. But there is a field around. I didn't get a hold of it, I thought, uh, Pradeep. That's yep. another wild swing at it. I thought he got hold of it, but no. He got the edge and went down towards the deep squalling area. Yeah, this time Dylan was a bit lucky and uh, that's the end of uh, another over. 21 overs gone, St. Peter 64 for no loss. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Well, if you were talking about the first 50 over run count, I was part of those teams and uh, I can talk so many close finishers we had, the Josephians in particular, they won the 50 over schools tournament in 74, 75 and 76 and uh, very close finishers, you know we won a semi-final against St. Thomas's by 6 runs and then again in the final the same year we won uh, against Ananda by 6 runs. So that those were very close games and uh, that's nicely hit this time. That's going towards the mid-wicket boundary. That's gone over the boundary. Another six to Dinana Damsara. So he's going to take the attack to the Josephians now. That was indeed a beautiful shot by Damsara. He just uh, backed that one with uh, his... Uh, that was a super shot, uh, Pauli. And uh, talking about that first game, uh, uh, the another comment was uh, the Pete Wright uh, opening bowler Sudarsha, I think, taking uh, a wicket of the first uh, delivery. It was Sunanda Jai Sunanda, Sunanda, Sunanda Jai Sekhar. Yeah. Yes, definitely got uh, Rohan Vijay Singh out the very first delivery. Yes, uh, Dushan Souza was uh, telling about no one saw the ball. 
Yeah, that's true because we had a very small uh, pavilion at St. Joseph's College and the spectators were just coming in okay. and we in the pavilion could not see the play going on. The road was right in front of the pavilion and the spectators were crossing in front of us. But Sunanda Jayasekara produced the gem of a delivery to get rid of Rohan with a singer. The very first ball of the innings and the very first ball of the series, which I think uh, should, as uh, Dushan said, should go into the history book. Yeah, history book not only in school cricket but in uh, world cricket because inaugural game, first ball of the first uh, delivery, it's uh, amazing magic. So, could be the game changer as well. And this time again, a beautiful stroke, uh, get in the gaps now. Good to see, Pauli, just as you said, now the Petrites are finding the gaps. That was just opening the phase of the bat. And again, it is uh, Dinian Adamsara who gets the boundary and he moves his personal score up to 38. And the Petrites are 74 for the loss of Dovi cuts in the 21st over now. It's now see, Dinian Adamsara has decided to go on the attack. This is what the Josephians, as you said, missed the trick. They didn't attack at the early on, try to get the wickets, but now the two p trials have been well set and they're definitely going to go on the attack now. Damsara in particular, we saw getting two huge sixes in the last couple of overs. It's very nice to see after getting a boundary, pushing the next one on the offside, not trying to repeat it again. So this is uh, some maturity has been showing. I hope he continues that. So that's the end of that over, 22 gone, it's 74 for no loss. Nikam Boru at a risk a gun, eh? NDB Neos Theatre, risk a gun, Nadu, KKK, fund transfers, Karanda, Magima, Chilleke, Bills, Pekaran. Twenty-two overs completed in the Petrite innings. This has been a great uh, opening partnership by these two left-handers. Mind you, on a 9:30 a.m. start, when the opposition uh, ask you to bat first on a somewhat a green top these two players have uh, responded well and the Josephians are now playing catch up cricket Harita yeah Damit uh, I've been surprised with uh, the Maradhan school's tactics it started with uh, the slip cotton which was quickly sent back because of a first ball boundary that took the outside edge and then the bowlers were not attacking the stumps which means you won't get a lbw or a bold you're only looking at uh, a tip catch or probably a miscued hit that has assisted the vitride openers they have been successful to an extent i think in curbing the run rate but now they will seriously think about oh. picking up wickets a glorious stroke from uh, Damsara and these two are running well between the wickets it's the confidence that's uh, being shown uh, with their stroke play as well as uh, the running between wickets as you probably correctly indicated it's just a situation where they are now dominating a hundred partnership for the Petrite openers will be a big bonus in their quest to get uh, a total in excess of 260 275 after 60 overs if they bat that long Why won't he bowl from the other side? Just 
whenever a left arm spinner bowls left arm over, you get both the edges in play, Haritha. End of uh, the 23rd over, St. Peter's, 77 for none. Here are the results from uh, the last 10 encounters. St. Peter's won the game in 2016. Nine uh, matches have been ended as drawn encounters in the last 10 instances. Some of them have been interesting finishers. No questions about that. But the 60 over concept has not produced the results that uh, they thought would produce. Yeah, out of the 22 results so far in the Josephian uh, Petrite history, four results have come in uh, after the 60 over rule was implemented. Here's uh, Lahiru Amarasekara, now he's coming through the wicket. And, um, with uh, seven left handers in the Petrite lineup, uh, Haritha Lahiru Amarasekara will. Uh, Bowl minimum of at least 25 overs, uh, in <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been economical. Uh, getting back to that uh, 60 over concept, last 10 matches, one was awarded. That's the only result. Oh, bottom edge, lucky. Yeah, it's a quick outfield. Good work from uh, Senuja, the youngster. But these two have run three. That is very good running between the wickets. There's an urgency now to uh, step up on uh, the rate of scoring. At least when they get to the halfway stage that is 30 overs. They are close to four runs and over. I think we may get some excitement over the second half of the Pete Wright innings. And if they have all 10 wickets in hand after the next uh, seven overs. Game plans would be changed. Yeah, I'm uh, quite excited uh, to see how uh, skipper Vishen Halambage, vice captain uh, Rusanda Gamage will come in uh, next into this situation and how they will try to operate because of this very good opening partnership. Uh, Damsara. Who are bowling from uh, Amara Sekara. Great commitment. Yeah, Dilana Damsara has now outscored uh, Ovin Salgadu. And um, Salgadu wants to get back uh, into the groove again. Also, a gentle reminder to all our fans who are watching this. You can watch the Indian Premier League, uh, the 16th season, which starts uh, today. On the go from uh, the Dialogue View app. Wherever you are, you can just uh, subscribe to the Sports Pack and watch the Dialogue View app. Watch the IPL on the Dialogue View app, rather. It's uh, the biggest uh, T20 competition in the world. End of uh, the 24th over, St. Peter's 83 for none. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits.
ඉන්දි කාලේ සරුංගලයක් කියවන්න ගිහින් නෝලෙන් බේරුනේ නෑ වෙන්න බෑ දවසක් බැරුම පුම්මන්න ගිහින් නෑ වෙන්න බෑ කොහ මොනවද සීයේ අපි ළඟ තියෙනවා කන්න පුළුවන් බීම කොයි පොන්න පුළුවන් කෑම කොයි නෑ වෙන්න බෑ නෑ වෙන්න පුළුවන් ලංකාවේ පළවෙනි වතාවට කන්නයි බොන්නයි දෙකම එකම යෝගට් එකකින් ඇන්කර් නිව් ඩේ ෂේක් ෂේක් කන්න පුළුවන් බීමක් පොන්න පුළුවන් කෑමක් great authority and uh, excellent temperament in this 90th uh, battle of the saints dilana damsara and novin salgadu they have had 83 runs so far in 25 or 24 overs mind you this is a 60 over game per side in the first innings st joseph's the bowlers they have not been successful so far lahiru amarasekara has been the most economical bowler the captain yenula devutusa he too has bowled a maiden that's uh, one of the columns harita which uh, goes a little unnoticed the maiden's column especially in a s- game which is restricted to 60 overs if the bowlers can bowl bowl in a lot more maiden overs then the pressure is on the batters and uh, as we speak right after the bowling uh, right after the drinks break rather we're going to see a change in bowling Avish Samash the 15 year old the opening batter he is known to be a canny customer with the ball with two left handers uh, batting we expect uh, him to bowl a little more Avish Samash Yeah straight away from uh, the field that is that is been set in place and uh, with the way the bowlers are b- operating harita you tend to see how uh, the josephians are trying to restrict the pitch right left handers you got to be careful with a young bowler because the mid wicket boundary is protected all right yes but there's nobody between uh, mid on and uh, backward square leg you can just uh, simply tap and run inside edge that time yeah he started off how his captain wanted getting the ball wicket to wicket see from the edge of the crease ah yeah so far avish samash yes ball good for deliveries now it's up to him to finish the over on a high harita it's very important uh, for these young cricketers inside edge nothing wrong with what he bowled hiran jaisundar off your screens for a second he was quite animated probably thought uh, it hit the stump it's an eventful first over for the um, debutant yeah his first uh, action is for containment oh this is what i'm trying to tell you this is exactly what i said harita he needs to finish on a high but he hasn't a boundary to end the over 89 for nan uh, st peters Naimir is sausage the bite that bites back Naimir 
This is the 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's College taking on St. Peter's College. Two great uh, Catholic institutions. And uh, this was the last delivery of Avisha Samaj's first over. Neatly played from uh, Owen Salgadu. Another boundary to the Peterites. Lahiru Amarasekara bowling uh, that six thump uh, line with his pace. Uh, Owen Salgadu was able to guide it through that uh, vacant uh, third man region. They will it's probably want to just uh, put a little bit more pressure to up that uh, maintained run rate. Couple of boundaries in consecutive overs after the drinks break. Salgadu moves to the 40s. Damsara now, he's on 49. This has been a great start uh, from uh, the lads from Bambalapitiya. Damsara, he's on 49. That's his half century, Dilana Damsara. His uh, fifth half century in the season. First uh, in the big match. The seventh uh, 50 plus score in the season for the 18 year old uh, Dilana Damsara. Well played, young man. And uh, from the Pete Wright point of view, he'll want uh, to continue. Ample celebrations. He has scored uh, four boundaries and two sixes. Is now ahead of Ovin Salgadu, who is also on to 40. So they are complementing each other properly in this partnership. That's very important. So if, if for the rest of the innings, St. Joseph's have to play catch up, this is going to be. A difficult proposition for Amar Sekara and the Joes. Another poor piece of fielding from the Josephians. One thing, uh, Haritha, these two have run well between the wickets. That's the very first thing that comes to my mind. They've um, put away the bad deliveries but uh, more than everything they've run well especially in a game which is restricted to 60 overs you need to run well between the wickets 26 overs completed St. Peter's 96 for none seems like uh, Salgado is uh, struggling but uh, Damsara this has been a great uh, knock from Damsara there you are. That's gone over. That was a big six of uh, Devutusa. He's got the ability to clear the uh, rope uh, at it will. Yeah, he has uh, cleared it uh, both against Devutusa and uh, Amar Sekara, which gives uh, some uh, indication of how well he has dominated the bowling. Growing in confidence as he kept on batting. But now, bit of a concern for Salgadu. Yeah, it's a hot and humid uh, day here in Colombo. Damsara is on 50, Salgadu on 41. Never easy, Haritha, running between the wickets. Yeah, you mentioned that they are good in their running between wickets. so. Obviously, it's a lot of energy wasted. The umpires um, want uh, a play to go on. 105 overs till 6 o'clock is a lot of playing time. It seems okay, all right. Yeah, he's just uh, fatigued himself. 
I personally know that feeling these days. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. It's been very you, hot. You, you brought me into the story. I was trying to find out how to come back <laughs> to that story. All the best uh, for your important game against uh, Commercial Bank tomorrow. Dialogue. Thank as you. Captain, as captain, as I said earlier, score well, bowl well. <laughs> come back for the second session tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Arthur. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but nevertheless... Now you've had a good season. You're unbeaten, aren't you? <laughs> yes, we've uh, done well so far. It's been a great uh, teamwork from uh, Dialogue, but um, the 90th Battle of the Saints, it's um, turning out to be an exciting encounter. I'll tell you, as a Joe, it's not for you for the moment. <laughs> Oh, I, I came here to watch positive cricket. Hunting. Come on! <laughs> I know you in a Jopi. No, I know. It's a good game of cricket um, as the leading sports hub. You're once again live and exclusive. Yeah, plenty of uh, sporting action on the Papare. You're watching uh, the uh, Joseph and Pete Wright cricket encounter on uh, Dialogue Television Channel 126, the Papare TV HD, and on the Papare TV. On channel 63, we have um, the uh, Sri Lanka tour of Bangladesh and Dilana Damsara. Number three. Third six uh, for the young left-hander. This has been a great uh, performance and these two have added uh, over 100 runs. That's why the big hug from the two left-handers. I'll tell you, Avisha Samash learning the hard way. He brought in to bowl he started off with the first four deliveries and then after that see what has happened congratulations on a splendid century opening partnership they're finding it difficult to find the ball it may have just dropped into a drain or something like that hundred and forty seven is the record partnership for the Pete rights against uh, the Joes in the big match? Yeah, that was in 2011 in um, the second innings. Shehan Fernando, captain of uh, St. Peter's College in 2012. He opened the batting with uh, Sashin Fernando, the left hand right hand combo in 2011. That was a mammoth partnership from uh, Shehan Fernando, the, the two Fernandos. I've had the pleasure of playing against them and they are very good opening batters produced by um, St. Peter's College. Both have played good first-class cricket. Fernando is not doing too badly in the National Super League also, isn't he? It's not that Shehan Fernando? Shehan, this is, uh, this is Shehan Fernando, son of Sajid Fernando, our good old friend. Yeah, so I thought it's the same uh, Shehan Fernando who is not playing. Where is he now? Is he abroad or what? Yes, he's playing cricket in uh, the USA and uh, Sachin Fernando is playing cricket in uh, Australia. Yeah, the I thought this this was the same Shehan Fernando. I've been following the National Super League four day. That Shehan Fernando is uh, the former Benedictine captain. Oh, you see. Ah, well played. Owen Salgado, now he's trying to catch up on Damsara. Poor delivery from Avisha Samash. St. Peter's College now running away with this game. That opening partnership uh, record set by Shehan Fernando and Sashin Fernando is in danger of uh, being broken. They wouldn't mind being broken by another Pete Wright pair. Yeah, but that's the that's the Pete Wright record, uh, Haritha. But yeah. uh, overall, uh, yes, yes, 197. 197, the highest opening partnership. Long before our time. Long before my time. My time too. <laughs> That's the commentator's curse. Avish Samash gets the breakthrough. Ovin Salgadu, he was uh, fatigued and he was tired a couple of overs ago. The physio had to come in and help him out. And he was uh, playing his strokes. And Avish Samash gets the breakthrough. Yumi's eye hit concept by... Uh, Avish Samash, there you see he straight away got onto the knees. Nevertheless, Ovin Salgado departs for 46. St. Peter's now 108 for 1.
Heels crest nai mere sausage the bite that bites back gold hair and body wash shaker out comes the peter right captain wishen halamage Sri Lanka youth under 19 uh, player captain in the Pete Wrights in this 90th battle of the saints if he bats uh, for 10 overs he could be quite a exciting prospect to watch but he needs to spend some quality time there He's got uh, the foundation that he wanted. For him, I always maintained it was a good toss to lose. Yes, another centurion. Halamage has scored uh, 500 runs this season. He would have uh, loved to score. Would have scored more. That average of 28 has a base score of 116. And that too came in very recently to the big match. Uh, so he's a. Uh, player in form I like that strike rate Yeah that's the most impressive thing out of uh, Halambage He'll want to continue this momentum Haritha Yeah this is what you get from uh, the Joseph and Pete Wright cricket encounter You see very good positive uh, cricket especially because of the 60 over rule To all those who are who are not familiar with the rule the first innings is restricted to 60 overs per side and he has dinuk sera singha for second spell and damsara straight away middling the ball he's got 100 uh, to take uh, here damsara is batting really well he should not uh, be hasty or greedy the good thing is that uh, the message from the dressing room is continue the good work without taking too many risks the left hand right hand combination with cause a few problems probably to the bowlers peter i hope that uh, their captain can come good wonderful That's a brilliant start to Vishen Halamage's innings. That's the best you can get uh, Haritha. He middled it. He timed it. He placed it and he caressed it. St. Joseph's College they need to be disciplined and they need to be smart. If not they are on a leather hunt here. Vishen Halamage Yeah, it's very easy for a number 3 batter to come in and uh, settle down when you when your openers have uh, put in uh, a 100 run uh, partnership for them yeah exactly and uh, he came at a time when uh, they were looking for some quick runs also i feel uh, for ovin salgado he was well inside of a well deserved half century he was actually the aggressor in this partnership initially but then dilan damsara took over he outscored his partner Sri Lanka in dire straits against Bangladesh in the test match. Yeah, you can watch uh, the uh, Sri Lanka Bangladesh test match on the Papre TV available on Dialog Television channel uh, 63 and also the Indian Premier League which starts uh, tonight will be uh, available on uh, the Dialog View app. I think Malaysia should send that uh, Papa Re team clip as a big team working Halamage he's in his groove early on that's his second boundary stand and deliver this time yeah sir singh with his pace cannot afford to bowl uh, that length When you talk uh, 
Halimbage, there are three double centurions this season in school cricket. Senith Halimbage was discussing for Dharma Asoka against Ananda. The wicket keeper Jasundara for St. Joseph's against Trinity. The other one was, uh, oh, he's run up yeah. and he's run out. Dear, oh dear, Halamage, what have you done? We were just praising how he has started his innings well, but a miscommunication uh, between uh, Halamage and Damsara has resulted in the second wicket. Uh, Sarah Singer's uh, gentle medium pace. He checked the stroke. Hit straight to Devutusa. It was a good throw from Devutusa. Good collection from Jaya Sundara. And an easy decision for umpire Vimala Siri. It was his call. So he'll have to blame himself only. 117 for 2. St. Peter's put into bat after 28. So it's hundred and seventeen for two now. Uh, rush of blood there by the skipper is running himself out the 28 hours so the new batsman Rosan Dagamage the vice captain Dylan has been uh, doing a great job as we say good morning to Garmini Perra good morning Michael good morning everyone a very gifted striker being replaced by another Rosan Dagamage St. Joseph's were in the driving seat, uh, Michael, uh, um, sorry, St. Peter's, I should say. And suddenly, they've been offered a lifeline by the Peter Wright skipper. Halambage started with a couple of great boundaries and uh, he would have been the ideal player to bat in a situation like this on a placid batting track. A sudden ru rush of blood, uh, I mean, there was no need for that single. He had just got a boundary in the previous delivery. But I blame the non-striker as well. Um, he was ball watching. He could have easily said no very early and could have sent his skipper back. Also with the nouser, noise around Garmini, maybe they wouldn't yeah, even be a hand signal hand for that signal matter. is the best. Yeah. Uh. Alan and Rusanda Gamage both were part of the Sri Lankan under 19 set up. So there's an opportunity for the uh, Josephians. Yeah, now if they can sneak in a few more wickets, get it down a bit. You know, you can only play as well as your opponents let you. And uh, like I mentioned in that last stint, uh, Michael, I was a bit disappointed that after winning the toss this morning, Josephians again punched on the back foot for another unsafe on the toss. Oh, there's another hesitation. Well, Damsa, the doctor, wanting to run. Yeah, once they won the toss this morning, uh, you know, some of the tactics that the Josephine deployed, it's, it's a riddle that I, I, I can't solve, really. They forgot to bring their, uh, put their game phases on. They failed to get under the uh, skin of the Peter Wright's openers. And um, 120, one for two. You were spot on, Garmini. 
I was on coming to be Tharitha when that first ball was bowled. Took the edge, ran down past slip to the boundary and then we saw the slip coming out and going to third man. That's not what you'll want to see when you win the toss and uh, put the opposition in. So Josephian starting on a negative note. I know I said to bowl first once I looked at the pitch. Only reason because of the regulation of 60 overs and uh, this wicket will be a lot better to bat in the afternoon. Now that sun is out in force, the little bit of moisture that was on top of the surface had disappeared. So it, it just looks so good for batting and not a wicket that it, it takes that, mu that long to get used to as you come in. Halamba gave us a good example, driving uh, through the extra cover. This time both batters responded and there's an overthrow. Uh, just that you need to play some smart cricket here and also I don't know whether because he's tired or not uh, who's that Dylan he's on 60 and this is, these are very hot and humid conditions but have a look at the way he takes a start his weight is still on the back foot a lot of people misunderstand when they say to get a start you need to get on your front foot and put your weight on the front foot. It takes that half a second to get ready to run if your weight is on the back foot. And half a second is around a yard in cricket. But I, you know, I He's very upright, isn't he? Uh, you need to, you know, as, as athlete, athletes, the sprinters, you know, why you get into that machine, the starting machine is you put that front leg forward. There's such a big gap and then your weight is on that leg for you to take the momentum forward so very similarly the non-striker needs to put one foot forward and have your weight on that foot so you're ready to run absolutely Gamni. i think uh, this is not because he's tired i noticed that from the first delivery from the morning both openers they were not very keen on you know trying to push the fielders for their singles you know try to push them they were quite contented you know if it goes to the fielder they were not going to run so he's continuing to do that. And unfortunately, when Halambage and uh, Rosanda come in, they've been playing for Sri Lanka under 19. So they know what they need to do, how to look for runs. So they have to be a bit careful. Manasa was by far the pick of the bowlers in that first hour and a half. Ah, he's gone. Gone. Didn't really lean, lean towards that shot, and that is a massive moment in terms of this first innings, uh, Michael. It was that way driven, but his weight was on the back foot, and his head was so far back he had to use his hands get to get close to that delivery. As a result, it was driven officially and a comfortable catch. Ma Manas deserved that uh, wicket. He beat uh, the batter's outside edge many times. See how, see how up, uh, well, I miss it too, wasn't it? Got the outside part of the bat. Straight to the field. It, was, it looked like it was a plan to get him to drive on that front foot. And there goes uh, Rusan Dagamage, the vice captain, gone for four, caught Yonula Bolmanas. Peter's now 123 for three. And body wash shaker. Big match fun, Prima Kotumi Tiaraka. Lamni Peters, after that brilliant start, losing their way a bit uh, in the last uh, couple of overs, maybe three to four overs. Uh, Shannon Rodrigo, the left arm spinner, their main wicket taker, coming out. Yeah, after that very good platform the openers put on, suddenly they have failed to uh, keep control of the game. But credit to the Josephians, uh, I know uh, the speed right captain gave his wicket away, but uh, suddenly they've got an opportunity. He's another very senior player, Shannon Rodrigo, probably the best all round in that Pete right lineup. Left arm spin. 
643 runs, best score of 63. That's gone fine. There are plenty of acres in that area. There is no fine leg. The boundary rider is in front of the umpire, deep square leg. And you couldn't have asked for... Andy, when you go to Candy, I want to be your brandy. Can I know your shandy? Aravinda, Numbainda, Apidukwinda again. I said, David Boone, come back soon, before noon. Suddaki Karodagir, Lanki killed in Nikino. Ekinex Sir John Kotlava. So that's the end of the 30th over, halfway stage of this innings, uh, St. Peter's 127 for 3. Heels crest, Naimiri sausage, the bite that bites back. Chili, chili, rasa tomato mix, seka hita kasa nava. Chili, to rasa yen kola kola, take a spice of venava. Hadu madina alut maki savory rasa ya, chili to biscuits. Skipper is back on from Vidya Mahavathen. Samash bowl three overs. A mix of some good bowling and bad bowling in that in those three overs. That's a magnificent shot. Probably the hardest shot to play, and that has been the shot of the morning. It was there to be driven. But deliberately adjusting his upper body, adjusting his hands to come inside out. And you couldn't have hit a cricket ball any cleaner than that. That was absolute power, Gavin. This boy has the strength. Oh, extra cover, not an easy shot to play. Given the width, and he just went on with it. The Josephians will need to see the back of uh, Dylan Ramsara quite fast if they need to do anything, any damage. Incidentally, Michael, we are at the halfway mark of this innings, 30 overs. Yeah, like you said, if Dylan can bat half for those remaining overs, uh, well, you could probably say that Peter Wrights will be looking to have that formidable total in the first inning, the advantage. But, last ha half an hour or so, they picked up three oh. wickets. Peter Wrights were 108 for no loss at one stage. Josephine should be feeling very confident, uh, Michael, because they've got the two star batters out. Gamage and uh, Halambage, the two under 19 boys. That's yeah. very well played. It's, we've seen power and now Ted's touch. Those are good hands. That, that means he's got a lot of gears, uh, Dilana. Very smart batting. That was Shannon who placed that. Uh yeah, I stay corrected. Yeah, he just came in. Yeah, that's, that's good cricket. I think Lairo will also have to make note of the pace that he's bowling on this track. May need to slow it down a bit, make it even harder for the batsman. Coming uh, through the wicket. That's much better. Yeah, Roderick is also one of those players who likes to feel bad on ball and uh, looks very busy. 139 for 3. Radials. The road is yours. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us.
Manas will be continuing his seventh over. Another easy run to Shannon on the off. He's got the right idea. Try to rotate the strike, bring Dylan on to strike. Josephians will have to keep picking up pickets. This so one or two before the lunch break. Yeah, what I like about the uh, Petra's approach at this moment, point in time, uh, Michael, after losing three wickets, you know they they still look to play positively, and you know Shannon Rodrigo is already exerting his uh, influence. Ten off six. Dylan has got the measure of this pitch. So he was fraction late to transfer his weight onto the back foot then. Beating for speed. Yeah, four runs from here on end will give them what, around another 100 and 20 runs, 260 will be par, wouldn't it? That'll be a very good score, uh, Gamini. Especially when you ask to bat first. Again, a flat bat shot through extra cover. Back for the second. Slight misfield there. Was that a catch? To see that pitch, Libanon. He, he, he had to time his dive. Got a good piece of that one. Not easy to. That has to stick in your hand. That's been pummeled. Talk about velocity, Michael. Again, very similar shot. Hammered through mid wicket for another boundary. I don't think you should be bowling that line and length to a batsman who is well set. Yeah, that kind of length is pretty easy on a track like this. It just sits up and you have enough time. That's what enough. made that shot so better was, uh, you know, his intention was to hit it in front. Better pitching it up to the batsman and trying to get him to drive. Dylan has moved on to 73 of 93 now. Boundaries keep coming 16 fours and four sixes in the 32nd over. We mentioned about a total around 260, but I'll tell you what, if these two batters, but the next 10 to 15 overs, Josephines will be looking down the barrel by the end of these first innings. They'll have a lot of pressure on when they, when they get the bats in hand. It'll be close to 300. Slower delivery. Very well executed from uh, Manasa. One, four, six for three. Gold Wild. Unleash the wild in you. Shannon on uh, 10 of just 6 deliveries. He'll run 73 of 95. Update from the test match. Sri Lanka 92 for 5 now at lunch. Janula is back into the attack. 
he still comes round to wicket Michael I've seen I saw the Royal St. Peter's game in the middle of the year and uh, or in February for that matter uh, when Rodrigo coming from around the wicket but that was at Reed Avenue and you know you could get a bite off the surface there so you know you won't mind coming around the wicket but here you're not going to get any turn it's you know it's it's a hard day at the office for a spinner and uh, I just can't understand the tactics uh, you're, you're taking the LBW out of the equation because you to hit the stumps you need to pitch outside the leg stump I think uh, what he's trying to do here is Gamini just to slow the run rate down going into lunch trying to you know get a few dot balls in but with the field they easily get in their singles he's bowling to a field three on the on side all are patrolling the boundary long on deep mid wicket and a deep square leg there are three fielders on the offside behind the crease short third man one at 45 and a backward point you can pretty much put a bl blanket over them three of them are so close to each other don't they yes. then there's extra cover there's a long off and then there's a sweeper on the offside so basically his line of attack and now there's one fielder comes that, that that's that makes it a bit better so he's got some protection to attack the stumps there's a short mid wicket in place now I think that should be the feel for him from the start of the ah, over. Ah, ah, ah. It's a loud appeal there. I know I've been uh, a player and a coach in, the, in these big matches. They, 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 they in their team discussions, they, you know, they want to appeal for everything because it's it's the hardest job for an umpire when it comes to these big matches. With the sound, do you mean? Yep, there are so many bands around. Ayo! And uh, so, you're trying to <laughs> play with the umpire. It's a, it's, it's a most difficult job. Uh, I was having a chat with uh, Ruchira Pali Guru. He said one year after he umpired the Royal Tommy, and um, at home he couldn't uh, hear his wife's vo um, uh, voice because it's that loud. And uh, Unless you see a deviation, uh, it's very difficult. One four eight for three. Am body kalle sarungale akya vandhi? No holim beeru ne. Na win na ba. Dawa samdaru ma pumma nagi. Na win na ba. Kova mona desiye. Apil angati na wa. Kanna pulam bi ma koi. Kona pulam kya ma koi. Na win na ba. Na win na pulam. Lankawe palavini matavata kannai bonai dekama ekama yoga tikakin anchor new deal shake shake kanna puluwan bima ponna puluwan kema one four eight for three manasa is going to continue from the tennis court end That's the length that you need to try and operate, uh, Michael. Around that five, five and a half meter mark. That nagging length, you call it. A batter is not quite sure whether to come forward or to press backwards. And especially batsman on 74, I mean, still finding it hard. I think that's exactly it. Earlier over, he was bowling it too short. Get him to play on the front foot, that's better. Make him leave it. Sometime or the other, he's going to want to play at it. Yeah, he's on 74, so... You know, when you come to a stage like this, when you're set and you're... You know, in the back of your mind, you're, you've got that 100 in, in, in... And then the options that you take whether to back yourself, there's a, there's a fine line between risk and reward and this is the time that will test you as a batter when you get to that 75, 80 mark. That's too wide. Very lucky to get away with that one. Yeah, I think he was lucky to get away with that. If you know, that's that's where the Peter scoring rate might drop. If he's thinking about that 100 gummy, that's what the Josephines want him to do.
we had some pressure. Few dot balls. Make the best one. Do the mistake. Yeah, very similar delivery. But umpire let one go. But, you know, this one, umpire would have probably thought, okay, he's going to operate that line deliberately and uh, those tram lines, the guidelines that the umpire has been given. I mentioned that last in 18 inches precisely from the middle stump. So you've got to be at the batter. That's a good idea, Kamini, just to keep it interesting. Don't bowl negative. That's much better. Keeping him quiet. Pretty decent over apart from that wide. Sure the Josephians will want to go in for lunch. Have a rethink of what they're gonna do. This probably we'll have one more over before lunch. In about 35 hours. Slow Again a slower delivery. Yeah, well, we, we've got four minutes out, of, out from lunchtime, uh, Michael, so one more over. Not a bad over rate either. We've had four minutes short of two and a half hours this session, and uh, considering the fact that, you know, half of the over's been bowled by the faster bowlers, so there are no excuse at this level. You only ra run 20 yards as a fast bowler, and uh, you've got to... This time he transfers his weight onto the back foot. You got to uh, try and keep up that over it. 34 overs gone. 149 for three. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm it's probably last over before the lunch break. Ideally, just feel looking at maybe picking up another wicket. Get that field in a little closer, Gamma. Don't think the batsmen are going to go for any runs. They'll just want to see out this over. As we say that, uh, trying to go up in there. What do you know about a modern day cricketer, Michael? There's one minute or four minutes or half an hour. It doesn't matter. He's going to back himself. Shannon Rodrigo, that's the only way he knows. He's a very attacking cricketer. He was very lucky to get away with that one, I'll tell you. That would have been a coach killer, that one. He saw the field coming up, so must have thought, okay, I'll get some. I'll, I'll get a few runs in this over. Yeah, like you said, I like that word, coach killer. <laughs> Plenty in these big matches. Bit disappointed in that field. I could have tried to get under that uh, ball instead of waiting for it to bounce. That looks like Dylan has thought, I'm hungry. I'm going to come out and then continue this. Yeah, Yenula is very quick to get through his overs and uh, that was smart batting from uh, Dylan. Took a couple of steps extra towards the square leg. Now he has removed his glove again, so that's that's been, uh, you know, awareness, the situation awareness. So, yeah, there you are, so you take another week, uh, 30 seconds there. He wants so to make sure that this is the last over, Kamini. That boy is hungry. of uh, time the boot laces have not come out as yet. It's 
So let's see, that should be lunch. Yes, the bales are coming off. So 35 overs in this session. Let's say Peter's in the driving seat, 150 for three. They were in a much better position about half an hour ago. At 108 for no wicket. Now yeah, in the same token, uh, you know, there was an opportunity for the uh, Josephians. They took three wickets quickly, but uh, the way Rodrigo and uh, Dylan has approached the innings since that third wicket, it's uh, commendable. Uh, so they've, they've uh, still looked to bat positively and, uh, you know, there's a nice little partnership brewing for the uh, Peter Wrights here. And, uh, you know, I would say probably, you know, a couple of wickets just after lunch will probably balance the scale but if these two bat for the next 10 or 15 overs it will be advantage um, St. Peter's yeah definitely I think even now we could say advantage St. Peter's at the moment depends on how they are going to approach uh, the balance 25 overs see the Josephians in a huddle maybe try to think of what they can do after lunch 25 overs remaining in this innings. And this is not a limited over game, that it's a two day game, but the rules say that you can only bat uh, 60 overs in your first innings. Ideally, the Josephians would have liked to have about five wickets down in this session. There we see the Peter at the batting card, Dylan not out on 74 of 108 for Vinsal Gadu. Another brilliant knock, 46 of 79. Vishen Alapagi just ran himself out after two beautiful boundaries. And Rosanda was out for four, just tipping one in the air. And Shannon not out on 12. Just six extras in this inning, so 35 overs, 150 for three. It's been a pretty hard day for the um, Josephian bowlers. You know, the, out of the three wickets, you know, there, there is not a batter that who have got a good ball and got out. Uh, you know, the first batter played across the line. The skipper ran himself out, and uh, there was a very expensive cover drive played towards extra cover. So, the wicket takers, Manasa, probably the pick of the bowlers to me. You know, going at four runs per over, but he, he looked penetrative enough to ask few questions. Uh, I wish I just bowled three overs. Uh, there were a few bad balls in it, but he was um, he's the one who broke the partnership. Um, just the six extras. Some of the highlights from the innings, that's the very first ball, thick outside edge. And there were some beautiful shots played equally on the front foot as well as on the back foot. Both these left-handers were very strong uh, to latch onto anything that was short. Both are very strong uh, bottom hand players, as you can see, most of these shots, how their bottom hand come, comes down towards the ball. That was another brilliant shot through that gap. That was a terrific shot. Had a good, very good base, used the wrist. Now, as soon as the spinners came, they were not uh, hesitant to go over the top. Dylan, I think, hit three or four sixers, and that was the first one. This was the second. He packs a punch, doesn't he, uh, Dylan? That's how he got to his 50. strong on both sides of the wicket. They have some death touch as well uh, in their package. That was 650, sorry. I stay corrected. And Avisha found a way that was the third six. There's a lot of flat bat shots, didn't we? That was the first wicket. Avisha found a way to breach the defense. 
hell of a gear. That was a magnificent cover drive. And that was his second boundary. In the very same over. And then this happened. You know, he got barbecued, didn't he? It was a big mess. Non-striker was ball, ball watching. There was no calling involved. And two hours later, Gamage went, got that extra cover. Rodrigo played a little gem of an innings, 10, 11 of 10. That was probably the shot of the match for me so far. Over extra cover, inside out. Definitely the shot of the match. Then a nice uh, touch. Uh past the diving slip fielder and then short balls were dealt with yeah we'll go for a commercial break and see you after lunch in about half an hour's time Trust each other. Yes or no? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window! It's up to us, so let's go be heroes. Eat your heart. Utu eke in pirono taranga hette hatarak. Lovata superi cricket taru piri kandayam dahaya. Ekama kusalania. मेवर आईपीएल तरगावलिए जायाग्रहणे काऊरुन हिमिकरगानी विदे डायलॉग टेलीविजन वितिन मुलु तरगावलिए मनारबाण्डे रुपियाल देसी हाथली स्नावयकते सुविशेषी दी मनावाक मेमदी मनाव एक्टिवेट करना उबटे आईपीएल मुलु तरगावलिए वागेम थवात क्वी डा तरगर रेसाक नारबाण्डे चैनल पाहक मा एक्टिवेट करेम एसएमएस हो Kali itu tiba mawat sama yang groom kere next captain kira itu macam itu. Di dalam nama yang warshe di jati kan dia main. Ibu tu dia nama. Obi itu nama Angelo Matthews ke family ni mana? Mereka itu naik kira. Mai dah ni saya mau dia mai Campbell beri dia batang kat tepi. Sangat tak iya mai dah ni kan dia kan dia mereka inna kian ni high agak. Ibuan, tawat legend Swedish runak turin, hari ini apa muan ni? Jati cricket kanda, kami turun ni dia awam muda skam dah kau, create cake. Oh, Farwis Maharu. Ibuan Farwis. Ibuan Rex. Farwis, over cricket kira awat peminen ni Westri Vidyalin. Apa dah nama Westri Vidyalin? Kian ni cricket kira awat paman aku noi. Semast kira sejat ni tu mah saya ni sejat kira kini perisak mah. Daya dengar pun vidualak, mahadevan, satasi, bim, pawa, pemi ni, wesli vidualin. Namun, wesli vidualik cricket kat tama punca ulat tiran ni, ob taham big match kat selang kran ni ni. Macam itu, ni perasaan mungkin kami, gula kuter di ladina, tamat mardi antin ni, atau macam itu, jam kisi pas lak kek kan, dia me paugi awal tu, atau tapi wes pasal wesli vidyalik, api cricket committee ke mami inno. Apik sakaccha kerja hidia, tapi uneh minda me covid dengan perasaan passe ayu ko pasar dia. Mata kian ne pulang subuh waran cetti na samar revita gudat dulu ata me ayur dini patangkan ne pulang. Namut manggaan kalle de mageng ayut rex mage cricket diwite mang gudak gudak rata walde kira selang kalle dina gudak cricket gahal dina mama gahal de cricket tetta ma i big match kerja. I think Dukkan na, namu aduak kaki teri na, mata ekut mama cricket kira awe, anak pulang mudhun na mama gie kene pashe. 
big match ek gahap nathike podi adu paduwa thiyena kiyala kiya athe washema kiyanna puluwa eliyen apata balana kota maatha kale pravanathawaya peenawa west vidwale cricket kridawata wada rugby kridawata pramukha sthanayak dena bawa me oba dakinne kese athe ma hari ekowatta man hitanne anu anu ganan sita anu ma hita anu highest wage sita ape kan ape paasale rugby rugby kandayam athrama hondai එදා පටන් හොඳට සෙල්ලම් කළා ගොඩක් තැතර ටීම්ස් හොඳයි ක්‍රිකට් වලින් බැලුවොත් අපි කාලයක් තිබ්බා නැතුනේ බත් හැබැයි පෞගේ අපි අවුරුදු 10 10ක් 15 අතර බැලුවොත් මං හිතන්නේ නැහැ අපි එච්චර හොඳට ක්‍රීඩා කරලා තියෙනවා කියලා හැබැයි අපි මං හිතන්නේ එක අවුරුද්දක් ඩිවිෂන් 2 එක චැම්පියන් වුණා මම මතක නැහැ අවුරුදු මොකක්ද කියලා හරියට ඊට අමතරව සබ්ස්ටෑන්ෂල් ලොකු දෙයක් අපිට කරන්න බැරලා තියෙනවා ඉතින් අවුලක් තියෙනවා නැතුනේ මේ ඉතින් අපි වැඩක් කරන් යන අලුත් පුණු කරුක පත් කරා එයාගේ යටතේ තව ඇසිස්සලා පත් කරා ඉතින් process එකක් යන ගමන් ඉතින් එක පාර අපිට results වෙන්න ගන්න නැහැ but කාලයක් යනකොට අපි හිතනවා මේ අපි යොදවපු ශ්‍රමයට මොනාරි දෙයක් අපිට ලැබෙයි කියලා වෙස්ලි විද්‍යාලේ ක්‍රීඩාංගණේ කැම්බල් පිටිය තමත් සුවිශේෂී ක්‍රීඩාංගණයක් අප රටේ තියෙන මොකද පාර යන ඕනම කෙනෙකුට ක්‍රිකට් මැච් එකක් යනකොට වාහන නවත්තලා බලන් ඉන්න පුළුවන් මම තාම මේ දේ කරනවා කැම්බල් පිටියේ ඔබගේ සුන්දර අධ්‍යක්ෂීම් ගැන පොඩ්ඩක් කතා කරමු මම හිතන්නේ සෑම දෙයක්ම මම කැම්බල් පිටින් දැන් පටන් ගත්තේ මම පාසල් ක්‍රිකට් පටන් ගන්නකොට මට අවුරුදු 8යි මම ඉවරනකොට මට දාන්න මේ මම හිතන්නේ ඒ අවුරුදු 11 මම හිතන්නේ මම අද වෙනතුරු සතිර සරයක්වත් ගීලා සමහර මම ඕකයක් දානවා වටේ කියලා ඒක තෙච්චර සුන්දර ගොඩක් ගොඩක් දේවල් මට ඒ ක්‍රීඩාංගණේ වගේම පාසල් ලබා දුන්නා ඉතින් රෙක්ස් කියුව වගේ ඇත්තෙන්ම හරි හරි විවර් ෆ්‍රෙන්ඩ්ලි ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එකක් වටේ මිනිස්සු ඉඳන් වාඩි හිට මේ වාඩි වෙලා බලන් ඉන්න තරඟයක් බලන්න පාසල් ක්‍රිකට් තරඟයක් බලන්න මම හිතන්නේ ලස්සනම ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එකක් ඉතින් මතකයන් ගත්තොත් නම් සෑහෙන තියෙනවා හැබැයි මම එකක් කියලා කිව්වොත් එක තරඟයක් මම මතක විදිහට වේස් කුමාර විද්‍යාලත් එක්ක අපි පළවෙනින් පළවෙනි නිමේ ලකුණු 60 පාට විතර අපි දැවී ගියා ඊට පස්සේ වේස් කුමාර මම හිතන්නේ දවසේ වෙනුන 250ක් විතර ගැව්වා දෙවෙන දවසේ අපි මැච් එක බේරන්න ගහන්න ඕනේ ඉතින් අපි අන්තිමට මට මතක විදිහට අපි 350ක් විතරකුත් කඩලු පහත් දුක විදි ගියේ මම ඒකේ සතකයක් ලබා ගත්තා ඉතින් මගේ මතකයට කෙලින්ම එන්නේ ඒ තරම් ගැයිකෝ අපි අමාර් සිටුවේෂන් එකක් වේල්ස් කුමාර හිටියා ඒ කාලේ හොඳ කණ්ඩායමක් ඒ වගේ ඒ වගේ ගොඩක් දේවල් තියෙනවා නමුත් මේ තරම් ගැය කැපිල පේනවා ඔබ පුංචි කාලේ ඉඳන් ඉතාමත් සුවිශේෂී ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් වැඩි දිනෙකුට අවස්ථාවක් ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ ලෝක කුසලාන දෙකක් ක්‍රීඩා කරන්න අවුරුදු දානමින් පහළ ඔබ ඒ අවස්ථාවට හිමිකම් කියනවා 2002 වර්ෂයේ සහ 2004 වර්ෂයේ 2004 වර්ෂයේ ඔබ නායකයා මේ කුඩා කාලෙම තමන්ගේ දක්ෂතා ඉදිරියට පැමිණීම ගැන සහ නායකයෙක් හැටියට අයිඩෙන්ටිෆයි වීම සම්බන්ධව අපිට යම් කිසි දෙයක් පවසලා නම් මම හිතන්නේ ඒක පාසලෙන් අපු දෙයක් රෙක්ස් ඒ වගේ මම කියන්න ඕනේ දෙයක් තමයි මම පොඩි කාලේ මම හිතන අවුරුදු 11 විතර මම ක්‍රීඩා හතරක් කරා රග්බි පාපන්දු බාස්කට් බෝල් සහ ක්‍රිකට් පස්සේ අවුරුදු 11 දී තමයි අපේ පාසලේ ඒකට හිටපු ප්‍රෙෆෙක්ට් ඔෆ් ගේම්ස් සහ විදුහල්පති සහ මගේ පියා ඒගලන් සාකච්ඡාවක් තියලා මට කිව්වේ ඒගලන් මගේ ක්‍රිකට් වල යම් කිසි දෙයක් වැඩිපුර දකිනවා. ඉතින් මට එකක් තෝර ගන්න විශේෂයෙන් ක්‍රිකට් තෝර ගත්තොත් හොඳයි කියලා. ඉතින් මම පියාගේ වචන කවදාවත් මම පිට දාන්නේ නැහැ. මම ඒ වචනය ගත්තා. ඒකට එතකොටත් මම අනිත් ක්‍රීඩාවලත් මම හොඳට කරන් හිටියේ. හැබැයි ඒ ගත්ත තීරණේ මම හිතනවා තාත්ත මට පෙන්නපු මාර්ගය. මම ගත්ත ඒ තීරණේ අදට මම හිතන්නේ ගොඩක් පල පල දුන්නා කියලා මට හිතෙනවා. ඉතින් නායකත්ව වශයෙන් බැලුවොත් මම හිතන්නේ මම කුඩා කලේ සිට අවුරුදු 13 15 සිටම සෑම කණ්ඩායමක වගේ නායකත්වය දරලා තිනවා. ඒ වගේම පාසල ශිෂ්‍ය නායකුත් එක්ක. ඉතින් මම මම හිතන්නේ මට ඒක නැචුරලි ආපු දෙයක් කියලා මට හිතෙනවා. දැන් ඔබ 2004 වර්ෂයේ දානමින් පාල ලෝක කුසලානයෙන් සති කීපයකට පස්සේ ජාතික කණ්ඩායමට එන්න වරම් ලැබෙනවා. ඔබගේ මංගල ටෙස්ට් තරඟය ක්‍රීඩා කරන්නේ සිම්බාබ්වේ වල. දැන් මේ දේ සිද්ධ වුණු ආකාරය ගැන පුංචි දෙයක් අපිට පවසලා නම් කවුද ඔබට කිව්වේ ඔබ ටෙස්ට් කණ්ඩායමට ඇතුළලා තියෙනවායි කියලා අරලා සහ ඔබ සිම්බාබ්වෙට යනවායි කියලා අරලා ඒ වගේම අවුරුදු 19 මේ තරුණයෙක් හැටියට ඔබ කණ්ඩායම දෙනකොට ජාතික කණ්ඩායමේ ප්‍රබල ක්‍රීඩකින් රාශියක්ම සිටිනවා මාවන් අතපතු සනත් ජයසූරිය කුමාර් සංකාර මහල ජයවර්ධන එතකොට චමින්ද වාස් ටීම් ඩිවිෂන් තිලාන් සමරවීර මේ අද්දැකීම ගැන යම් කිසි දෙයක් අපිට පවසලා මම හිතන්නේ ඒක සිහිනයක් සැබෑ වුණා කියලා කියන්න පුළුවන් මම මතක වෙන 2003 ඒ දෙසැම්බර් මාසයේ ඒ ටීම් ට්‍රයි සීරීස් එකක් ගැව්වා ඉන්දියාවල ඉන්දියා පකිස්තාන් අපි 
Maitan side of Freddy Gautam, Gamil Maitan ulang ulang ini rata rata dekat itu honda place lah. Ewak ini apa itu honda kandai magia. Eka tanya magai jiwite turning point agak eksmang kiu. Wede das tu ni eke eke paling tarung tu masa selang kerenai. Tu mungkin tarung masa selang kara. Marta mati itu eka kau tulah tu kau laba gatte. Hati ni tarung itu mang kardu hati rak laba gatta. Ini pasai awasan tarung ini api din na. Eke mang kardu hati rak karang tarung ini viri awal. एक तरह में मगे हाइलाइटेड लोगों में हेड कैन क्रिकेट जीवित है विनाश से नहीं हेड उगले मांगी था ना एक गील आप उगले मन तमाई देदार सत्रे लोकुसनाटे लोकुसनाने तरंगा वाले मनाए का दर लगी एक गील आड पास से आई नवसिलांते ए टीम संचार एक गया वन डे तूना कटा ए तूने देखा तमाई से लांग करे देखे मा� Eh, waktu itu pun Sir Ajit Jai Sekar, kan dah memperkarunia koru, u kata agalah mana kiri lah, mana elah, apa jangan jangan cecah satu orang mana baca orang kian nama orang. I think, eh, waktu matang satu anak tino, I think, eh, eh, waktu waktu yang nama tiga, loko nama, loko nama tiga, I think, mana pada bayat tiri, I think, I, mana biru, poli kali, ni lah, I think, mana iklan tiga selang kerana kita, eh, waktu iklan tiga turak labi, I think, ya, ya, mana labi mana, godak satu orang kau, I think, godak nervous lah, I think, itu mungkin buat eh, waktu, eh, waktu nama tiga. Loko nama tiak kek selang kan lebih cek mangi tena mage jiwit lapu loko daya dek kiri. Di dalam satu belas tahun yang lagi ane simba be orang kriket tiak gak ni tiak. Ini bagai macam rata itu amat suci esy. Eh, sathi atag paman digat tua eka. Ini bagai macam grounds dek tama ini am macam gahan ni gulu ayu sa arari. Arari ground ni dek aku tu berapa ina. Dah kuno beten tina presiden muka abe ke palace dek. Highly guarded. Mereka ada kira, sah mandan awal kandai mac kat itu ikatuila Victoria Falls pelan lagi ya. Ini ada kira. Cricket trida win obat si dulu, mereka ada kira mungkin ada yang kisah pasal mana. Mangitan ni kiu hari harare, tamai test kumala muli mamsel lang kat di pasi bulawa yo. Kian na bulan bulawa ini kor tamai api hara Victoria Falls ki dawasak spin kan, agut sathi hayamar kita sanchar agi ting loko kalya. Langka yang pita, itu kotak dawas, mana dawas ay, dawas dayak kita, api Victoria Falls kita lah hitiya. Ini amat teruk hari hari ground dek, para ni pete di ni, evakat itu pu, jangan di bawah tu mai gedera, ni la ni masa, ini yang samar la orang ni la ni masa yang udik udik helikopter renau itu gama. So, ini wat adya kini api dayak itu, tapi saman dah kini dayak, gedera ini dalam helikopter renau deh. Ini yang loko dayak kaya, evak itu kian nol dayak tamai. Eh, taranga valiye, mama mulim magi rex. मैं एक दिन तरंगा वाली भी तरह मामूली में सिलेक्ट किया थी बेथिंग कांड एक तर एक दिन तरंगा वाली पालिन तार के दे मांग गया हुई ना तुमने तार तुरंत हाथरा साहा पाह सिलंका डा पास से टेस्ट कांड टाइम हिट में थी माव इतनी दला माव थी आगत जब किसी बंग तान महोदर कर बुनी साबिन ना थी इतने एकत म Mutah yang mulai dengan mulai mewata awat lokwar ta bilai no, badi ma kadlu sangka awat test kerja kerja awi kadlu pan sesi ata kerjni walsh ita kaling warta awat ini. Ebagai ma obat itu orang kerja kerana sah, ekdina jahat yang tarik obat ke debi obat ke di, simba bikan dia ma ekdina jahat yang terkerja titi asa adu malakun sangka awat debi ano. Me ada dekim, gana mandi negara negara tu obat ini. Mai tarian kerja kita tiada pulang honda mana mata kasar tan tama eva test debut game murli aja record dekat dua kali kapi kodak bukti winda eda eva game one day debut game mai tarian tis hatra koi do allowed kira i think antima kadlu tu no malaba kat tim mama i tarang ke i think mai tarian meva tama i mata kasar tan api ilangat jiwat tena urus gant mai tarian mata kasar tan nama keng jiwit tera nikmaya ne kagna i think kodak satu na ए तारंगा वाली अत्यंत तो आपी तारंगा वाली होंदर में जायक ग्राने करा ये वक्त में जेस्टर के लिए अनसान नाम क्या है के लोगों मामा हितांग के लिए तारंग कांडा में डाना कोटल गैप पे करती है गिला ये मैं किसी में देखती बिना इको मटर होंदर में तक आई हमें जेस्टर के लिए के मटर गोड़ा दीर्घान हुआ � एक एक मामले में कांडा है मिटी उपकुमले उपकुमल जेस्ट चक्री देखो इतने एक के नेक्कत मटा एक ने वैटने भी दिल खाता है करना इनकरेज करके बता मैं करे इतने मामा इधर का तो मंगो माले वैटे कर ला पेन ना के लिए अबे ये वाके म मामले में पास से निपान दिया रही हाई निपान दर में ब्रेन ब्रेन टेलो दवा करता 
අපිට එල්ලා බැක් කරනවා කියලා ඒක පං විශේෂයෙන් පාස්ල අන්න ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් ඒක කාලේ මාව නතපත්තු අයියා ඔව් සනත් අයියා මහේලය කුමාය මුර්ලිය වාසය ඒ වගේ කට්ටි එක්කෙනෙක් එල්ලා කතා කරනකොට අපිට ලොකු දෙයක් ඒ කාලේ ඉතින් මට මතකයි හොඳට මේ තරංගාවලියේ පුරාවටම මට ඇබිච්ච සහයෝගයේම ක්‍රීඩකයන් සහ අනිත් සෙසු ක්‍රීඩකයන්ගේ මිල කරලා මේ මිල කරන්න බෑ ඇත්තම කිව්වේ එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් එක දැන් කුමාර් සංගකාර සමග අපි ලෙජන්ඩ්ස් වැඩස් රණ කරද්දී ඔව් කියපු දෙයක් තමයි මුරුලී දරන් කියන්නේ තරුණ ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් කණ්ඩායමට ආපුවම ඔව් හොඳට බලා ගන්නවා අනිවාර්යයෙන් ඒක මම හොඳ උදාහරණයක් කියන්න අපි සාමාන්‍ය හොටෙල් එකෙන් කනවා හරි අඩුයි එලියෙන් ගිහිල්ලා මේ ටේක් එකක් අරන් යනවා නැත්නම් එලියට ගිහිල්ලා කනවා තරුණ ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් ඇටිට තරුණ ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් ඇටත් කරනවා ඉතින් මුරුලී අය කොච්චර ජේෂ්ඨ ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් වුණත් අපි යන්න කලින් දොරට දට්ටවත් දාලා කැම් එකක් ගෙනල් දෙන්නද ඒ වගේ සාමාන්‍ය අපි පිළිගන්න තර අපි ගිහිල්ලා අහන්න ඕන දෙයක් ජේෂ්ඨ තරුණ ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් අවශ්‍ය නැහැ එයා අනිත් පැත්තට ඒ වගේ මුරුලී අය ඕන තරුණ ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් ආවම එයාව කම්ෆර්ට් කරනවා කියලා කියනවා ඒ කියන්නේ ත්‍රි අලුත් එන්වයිර්මන්ට් එකට එන්නේ කණ්ඩායම ඉතින් පොඩ්ඩක් කම්ෆර්ටබල් ඡෝන් එකක් එන්නවා කල් යනවා ඉතින් ඒ ඒ යන කල් ප්‍රමාණය අඩු කරන්න තමයි මුරුලේ බලන්න. ඒකොත් ඕන එක්කෙනෙක්ට රික්සා එක දන්නවා කොච්චර මේ සුහඳ වැඩ කරනවද කියලා. ඒකොත් අතර ඒ වගේ මිනිස්සු එන්නම් පතන්න අපිට ආයිත් නම් හම්බෙයි කියලා. මම දැන් අපි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට මොකද කතා කරන්නේ ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩාවට ඔව් ලබා දුන් දායාදය ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩාවෙන් ඔබ්බට ඔහු කරලා තියෙන දේවල් තමත් අගතනයි. අනිවාර්ය මම හිතන්නේ ඔහුගේ ෆවුන්ඩේෂන් ඔෆ් ගුඩ්නස් මේ චැරිටි ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑමින් කරන දේවල් මම හිතන ඊට අපි අගය කරන්න ඕනේ දේවල් මේ ගොඩක් දුප්පත් පවුල් වලට මේ මේ يعني ලාබල් ක්‍රීඩකයන්ට මේ උතුරේ සහ නැගෙනහිරේ කරන දේවල් මම හිතන්නේ ඒ කරන ඔහු සමග කරන තව ක්‍රීඩකියොත් ඉන්නවා ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ ඒ ඒ කරන දේවල් අපි අගයන්න නෙමෙයි අපි අතරම අපි වාසනාවන්ත ඒ වගේ ඒ වගේ පුද්ගලයෙක් ශ්‍රී ලාංකිකයෙක් වශයෙන් අපිට මේ මේ ලංකාවට ලැබීම ගැන ඔබ ඔහුගේ පන්දු යැවීමේදී කැච්චක් එක මතලා තියෙනවා අපොයස් හරියම ඒ වෙලාවේ අහන දරුණු ටික අහලා අතුල් ටික යාම ඔක්කොම හරියනවා ඒ එකක් අද ලොකු වෙනකොට එමම් ගොඩක් වෙලාවට 2006 දකුණු අප්‍රිකාව ලංකාවට ආපු සංචාරය ගැන කතා කරද්දී ගොඩක් අයට මතක තියෙන්නේ කුමාගේයි මහලගේයි ඒ සමන්තාවේ නමුත් මම කැමති ඔබගේ මතක අරන් යන්න දෙවෙනි ටෙස්ට් තරඟයට ඕවල් එක දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවන් කණ්ඩායම ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට දෙනවා ටාගට්ටයක් ලකුණු 352ක ඉතමත් අසීරු ටාගට් එකක් නමුත් ඔබයි මහෙලයි හොඳ පාර්ට්නර්ෂිප් එකක් ඉන්වොල් වෙලා ලකුණු 11ක් ජයග්‍රහණයට දෙනකොට මහෙල දැවියනවා ඊන් පස්සේ ඊළඟ පන්දු වාරෙම චමිදවාස් මුතයි මුල්ලෙදන දෙපලක් දැවියනවා අවසානයට ලසිත් මාලිංග පන්දුවට පහර දෙන්නට එන්නේ ඔබට තව පුංචි ලකුණු ප්‍රමාණයක් අවශ්‍ය වෙලා තිබුණා ඔබ තරඟේ ජයග්‍රහණය කරනවා මම හිතන්නේ තියුණුම ටෙස්ට් තරඟ ජයග්‍රහණය කරන එක කඩුලකි මේ තරඟයේදී සිදු වුණු මේ සිදුවීම් මාලාව පොඩක් කතා අපිට පොඩ පැහැදිලි කරොත් මම කිව්වොත් තරඟාවලිය ගැන කතා කරොත් රෙක්ස් පළනි තිස් තරඟයේ එස් එස් සික වල ගහපු ඒ තරඟේ මම සෙල්ලම් ගන්නෙම හිටි අන්තිම මොහොතේ වාස් අයියාගේ ඉන්ජරියක් නිසා මං ගැව්වා ටෙස්ට් මැච් එක ඊට පස්සේ ඒකේ තමයි මං හිතන්නේ කුමාර් සහ මහේලගේ අර සම්බන්ධතාවය කියලා අපි ටෙස්ට් තරඟයේ මං හිතන්නේ පස් වෙනි දවසේ ලන්ච් වලට දුකොත් අපි ජයග්‍රහණය කරා දෙවෙනි ටෙස්ට් තරඟේත් මම සෙල්ලම් ගන්න මිටියේ ඒකෙත් වාසයේ ෆිට් වෙලා මම ඉල්ලට යන්න හිටියේ ඒතර දිල්ලාර සහ මාලිංග සහ වාස් තමයි ඉස්සෙල්ලම් ගන්නේ ඒත් දෙවෙනි ටෙස්ට් තරඟේ උදේත් ආබාධයට පත් වුණා දිල්ලාර ඉතින් ආයි මම අන්තිම මොහොතම තරඟේ ගැහුවේ මම හිතන්නේ ඒ තරඟය ගැන කතා කරොත් අපි මට මතකයි අපි අතුල්ට ආපිලාවේ හතරවෙනිම ක්‍රීඩා කරන්න කලින් ඇත්තටම තුන්සිය පනක් කියෝ මේ කාලේ ෆෝ තිරිංගෙන් ලොකු දෙයක් ඒකොත් විකට්ටුව දන් කැවෙනවා හොඳ පන්දු යවන එක හිටියා නිකී බෝ ඒ ඩේල්සේ නොතරම් පන්දු යවන කාලේ ෂෝන් පොලොක් මකායි නෙක් හොඳ පන්දු හොඳ පන්දු මේ බලයනි බලයනියක් හිටියා ඇන්ඩ්‍රු හෝල් හැබැයි එදා යම්කිසි හේතුවක් මත ඇතුල්ට ආවම හොඳට මතකයි මාර පොසිටිව් එනර්ජි එකක් තිබ්බ මේ ඩ්‍රෙසින් රූම් එක ඇතුලේ කලින්ම කැප්ටන් මහල වුණත් කිව්වේ කෝච් ටමුත් කිව්වේ අපි ලෙට්ස් ගෝ ෆෝ ලෙට්ස් ගෝ ෆෝ ඉට් අපි මේක එළවමු කොහොම හරි පස්සෙ කිව්වා වගේ මම යනකොට මට මතකයි ලකුණු 80ක් 90ක් විතර තමයි ගහන් තිබ්බේ. පස්සේ මම මහලයේ ගාගෙන ඇවිල්ලා කිව්වා වගේ ඊට පස්සේ මහලයේ අවුට්නට පස්සේ තව එක අඩු දෙයක් ගියට පස්සේ ලසිත් තාව. හොඳම කතාව කියන්නේ මම මන් හිතන්නේ මකුණු 29ක් විතර නොදවි ලබාගෙන හිටියේ බෝල 112ක් විතර. මට ගහන්න බෑ. ඒ කියන්නේ මම අවුට්නොත් මැච් එක ඉවරයි. ඉතින් මම පැත්තක්
මේ අමාරු වුණා මට ගන්න. ඉතින් ක්‍රිකට් කියන්නේ ඒකයි. වසිත් ආ පළනි බෝලිම කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැතුව අර කිසි ප්‍රෙෂර් ගන්න නැහැ. ගහලා මැච් එක දින. ඉතින් ඒ වගේ මම හිතන්නේ මගේ ක්‍රීඩා ඉන්ටර්නැෂනල් ක්‍රිකට් වල ගත්තොත් ගහපු හොඳම සීරීස් එකක් කියලා කියන්න පුළුවන්. අයිකොත් මතක සටහන් ගොඩක් තියෙනවා මේ සීරීස් එකේ. වගේම සනත් ජයසූරිය කියන්නේ ටෙස්ට් ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩකින් සැහෙන්න ප්‍රමාණයක්ගේ කැරියර් සවසන් කරපු කෙනෙක්. මනෝජ් ප්‍රභාකර්, ෆිලිප් ඩිෆ්‍රෙටාස් विक्रम सोलांकी कबीर अली ए तारंग यदि मत मत का ओ वेलगर ना शॉन पोलप समार पहरवाल एयरफोर्स फैक्ट एकरा उडिंगीला बैठेन अवसान दी पोलक ए तारंग ऑफ स्पिन पम दिया वनो सनात गेना पुटक कथा करोत ते मैदान ने लोके क्रिकेट टल शॉन पोलप कियाने मैदान ने ए वेलावट लोके इनु प्रबल एक बंद ये होतरम पम दियोना काल मनोत ए सनात ताई एके भाग 70 वक कितर गेहुआ ओपन कर ले गापु 70 इन तमाई मोमेंटम में अपिट आवे अत सनाता कथा रोते मैदान ने सनाता मैदान खंडा मेक इन्ना के अने हई आगे पंद अभी बोल मारी कर स्पीन का शार्ट फाइन लेकिन रन अवट कर पितिहार पिति कर स्टार्ट गत्ता के अने अलू पंद पुलांत इक मंट पर पुलांत इक मंट पर्नो गहन गल अंड गहन विधि अट अतु रेसी रूम मेट ना मार मोमेंट मैं अंतिम කරන්න ලැබීම ගැන මගේ පොඩි කාල අනුහයි අපි බලන්නාස සනත්තයි නිසා මැච් එකක්. ඒ ගාන ගැහිල්ලට ඉතින් ඒ වගේ පුද්ගලයෙක් එක්ක මම අවුරුදු 5ක් වගේ කාලයක් එක දිගට සෙල්ලම් කිරීම ගැන මම හිතන මට මම ජීවිතය ලැබුව දුක දායදයක් කියලා. ඒ වගේම මේ රන් චේසස් ගැන කතා කරද්දි ටෙස්ට් මැච් වල තවත් මතකයේ දෙන ටෙස්ට් තරගයක් තමයි 2007 වර්ෂයේ ඕබර්ට් නුවර ටෙස්ට් තරගය. මම තරගයේදී කුමාසන් කාර් ලකුණ එක සියනු දෙයක් ලබා ගන්න ඕබර්ට් එම තරගය ක්‍රීඩා කරනවා. अवसान दी लखनऊ आणु आयकिंग श्रीलंका में तरह परदीन फंसी टागट आगे ये मैच के समारक कुमार औट नो तिबुन नांग तरंग प्रतिपाल मे चांस तिब्बे मेघ कुमार मैं लसित गेव मैदान हतलिया हाईवटी के श्रीलंका अनुहायक लघु प्रमाण नमु कुमार बैटर विधियट चांस तिब्ब अवसनावंत वशे नुदवी अन नुदवी देखट विन ऊट दून नमु ऐवेला हिटिया ना मट हितनवा चांस तिब्ब लेते मुरली कड़ो लेसी दुंडे दिल माली अटिंग कटे विकटे लेसी दुंड अभी तरंग अक्की मैदाने एक दिंदन मैदाने अपे लंका इतिहास गलभागत लुक मजा मैदान ऑस्ट्रेलिया जयग्रहण कर अंत असर पत्थर मे एक दिन तरंग पलवीन तरंग इतर तरंग अतर क्रीडा कर सह कड़ू लागत मे ओब सहभागन अमृत को नोन तरंगावली अमृत को नोन गेम गे लोक मट दिगम मैदान मस दून का तरंगावली तरंग पलिन टेस्ट तरंग लॉर्ज गापू अभी तरंग जयपाल जी तो निमक समत्न अभी देवनी निमें मैदान अभी पंदुआर एक अणुद पिता वेदना अर्ध शतक हतक सा शतक मम ते नईट वाचम गिया नुम्बर पहाटी अट गी मम मैदान से शन बैक बैठक मैला इवेम दिलशा खुमा उपोल मैदान अर्ध शत हतकुले वासी मैदान ये तरंग ये तरंग मोमेंट मे पंदुआर एक पिता वेदना के पंद अटैक इंग्ला अभी फॉलो अभी फॉलो दूना इत पास देवन तरंग अभी गिया अच्छा परादूना बर्मिंग अभी अभी हर क्रीडा करना तुंग तरंग मुरली कल 
අපි ජයග්‍රහණ කරලා ටෙස්ට් තරගයේ නොටින්ගම් වලදී ඊට පස්සේ ඒ මොමෙන්ට් එකේ තමයි අපි දිගටම අරංගේ වන් ඩේස් වලට ඉතින් මම වන් ඩේ ක්‍රිකට් එකේ මම හිතන්නේ අපි ඒ කාලේ පීක් ෆෝම් එකේ හිටි අපි යන්න කලින් කොත් මට මතක නැහැ සීරීස් එක මොකක්ද කියලා ඒකත් අපි දෙන්නලා හිටි ඉතින් අපිට ගිහිල්ලා මම හිතන්නේ ඒ තරංගාවලිය අපේ පිටිකරුව විශේෂයෙන් දක්වපු දස්කම් අති විශිෂ්ටයි ඒ වගේම ඉංග්‍රීසි තරංග පහ සෙල්ලම් කළා පෙන් පෙන් ටිකත් අපි දෙන්නලා අපි ගිලිම ගියා නෙදර්ලන්තය නෙදර්ලන්තය අපි නෙදර්ලන්ත කණ්ඩායම් සමග එක දින තරංග දෙකක් සෙල්ලම් කරා ඒකේ පළවෙනි තරගෙම අපි වර්ල්ඩ් රෙකෝඩ් එකක් අඩුවා හයස්ට් රෙකෝඩ් රන්ස් එකට 430 ගහනක් ගාලා ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ ඒ 2006 7 8 කාලේ රෙක්ස් මම හිතන්නේ අපි ගොඩක් පහේ මැද මැද භාගය වගේ ඉඳලා අපේ මම හිතන්නේ අපේ ඒ කාලේ තිබ්බ සුද්දරම කාලයක් කියලා කියන්න පුළුවන් ඔව් දැන් ඔබ කියන 2006 2007 වර්ෂ කියන්නේ ස්වර්ණමය යුගයක් ශ්‍රී ලංකා ක්‍රිකට් ඉතිහාසයේ මහල ජවාදන ටම් මූඩි මේ සුසංයෝගය මොහුන් මේ කණ්ඩායමට ලබා දුන් දාය දේ ගැන යමක් පවසනවා මම හිතන්නේ ටම් මූඩි මගේ මගේ පෞද්ගලික වශයෙන් කිව්වොත් මගේ ක්‍රිකට් දිවියේ ගොඩක් මම ඉගෙන ගත්ත මගේ දේවල් හදපු පූර්ණකරුවෙක් මම අදත්ත ඔහුට ගොඩක් ස්තුතියි අන්තනේ ඒ වගේම මම ගොඩක් සුවඳව ආශ්‍රය කරන එක කෙනෙක් ඒකොත් ඔහු ලංකාවට ගෙනාපු ඒ එනර්ජි එක මම හිතන්නේ ඊට පස්සේ කවුරුත් ගෙනල්ලා ඇති නමුත් ඒ තත්ත්වෙන් ගෙනාවද කියලා මම හිතන්නේ නැහැ. ඉතින් ඒ සුසංග යෝගේ මහේලස ටොම්ගේ මම හිතන්නේ හරිම ට්‍රාන්ස්පෙරන්. ඩිසිෂන් එකක් ගත්තත් අපිට දන්නවා මොකද්ද ඩිසිෂන් එක කියලා. ඉතින් අපි දන්නවා අපේ ජොබ් රෝල් එක මොකද්ද කියලා. ඒක තමයි මම හිතන්නේ ඒ කාලේ තිබ්බ ලොකුම ලොකුම මේ තිබ්බ ට්‍රාන්ස්පෙරන් ගතිය නිසා අපිට ගොඩක් තරඟ ජයග්‍රහණය කරන වගේම අපේ හොඳ කණ්ඩායම කිට. ඒක ඒ කාලේ රෙක්ස් වෙලා බැලුවොත් 2005 පහේ ටොම් පටන් ගත්තේ ඉඳලා දෙදා සතේ ලෝකුසානෙන් පස්සේ අපි අබිඩා බිඩෝරයක් ගිහිල්ලා ඉවර කරා අවුරුදු තුනක්. ඒ කාලය ඇතුළත මම හිතන්නේ ලොකු ප්ලේස්ලා වගේක් ලංකාවට සෙල්ලම් කරා කියලා. මම හිතන්නේ වැඩි මොනොත් ක්‍රීඩකයෝ 25ක් 28ක් වගේ ප්‍රමාණයක් තමයි ඔය ක්‍රිකට් එක දිගටම ගැව්වේ. ඉතින් කන්සිස්ටන්ට් එකක් අපි තරඟ දින තරඟ දිනද්දී අනිවාර්යයෙන් කන්සිස්ටන්සි එක දිනකොට ප්ලේයර්ලා ආදේශය වෙන්නේ නැහැ වැඩි. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ ඒ කාලේ වෙච්ච ලොකුම ඒ කාලේ වෙච්ච තිබ සක්සෙස්ෆුල් सक्सेफुल लुक मे हेतु मंगितने अपे तीब कन्सीस्टी पर्फॉमस ऐ थिंक ए किंग वेडिय एलीन क्रीडक अंट ए काल वेडिय श्रीलंका हम उन्न ए क्रीडक विशी पाक पितरता मैं ए काल दिगट मे मंगित एक मुनि की स्वर्ण युग का निवार बहु विदेश पूर्णकर्वाटते क्रीडा कर लती पूर्णकर्वाण टम मूडिद टफ म कौच टफ सह ले ඉතින් වංගි බුලින් කිව්වාගේ ටොම් හරි ට්‍රාන්ස්පෙරන්ට් එයා කෙලින්ම කියන්න කියන්න ඕනේද කෙලින්ම කියන මං කියන්නේ අනිත් අය කිව්වේ නැහැ කියලා නමුත් ටොම්ගේ යම් කිසි දෙයක් තිබ්බා නැත්තම් අපි ඒ කාලේ එච්චර සක්සස් වෙන්න දෙයක් නැහැ ඊට අමතරව ට්‍රෙව බේලිස් මං ඕකනත් කියන්න ඕනේ ඔහු ඔහුත් ලොකු සේවයක් කරා ලංකාවෙන් හැබැයි මගෙන් ඇහුවොත් මගේ පර්සනල් එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් ඇත්තේ මං හිතනවා ටොම් තමයි ලංකාවට ආපු හොඳම කෝච් කියලා ඔබ IPL තරංගාවලිය ක්‍රීඩා කරන්නට වරම් ලැබුණු මුල්ම ක්‍රීඩකින් කීප දෙනෙක්ගෙන් කෙනෙක් ඔබ 2008 වර්ෂයේදී IPL තරගාවලිය ක්‍රීඩා කරන්නේ මුලින්ම පොඩක් අපිට කියනවද IPL ක්‍රීඩා කිරීම තුලින් ඔබගේ ක්‍රීඩාවට ලැබුණු රුකුල කොහොමද කියලා මම ඉතා විශිෂ්ටයි මම හිතන්නේ මගේ මගේ ක්‍රීඩා දිවියේ මගේ එක ආසාව තමයි මගේ මගේ පොඩි ගායනලා මගේ කවුමේ අයිඩල් වීරයා ග්ලෙන් මැග්ග්‍රා ඉතින් ඔහු සමග මට අවුරුද්දක් ක්‍රීඩා කිරීම ගැන මම හිතන්නේ මගේ ක්‍රීඩා දිවිය ලොකුම ජයග්‍රහණයක් කියලා මට කියන්න පුළුවන් ඒ වගේම ඉගෙන ගත්ත දේවල් ගොඩයි ඒක මගේ වේග පන්දියවන්නේ පාට්නර්ල දෙන්න ග්ලෙන් මැග්ග්‍රස් සහ මොහොමඩ් ආසිෆ් ඒ කාලේ මොහොමඩ් ආසිෆ් කියන්නේ හොඳම පන්දියවන් ඉතින් ගොඩක් දේවල් ඉගෙන ගත්තා ඒ වගේම අනිත් ක්‍රීඩක සෙසු ක්‍රීඩකයෝ සමග ඩිසිෂන් රූමින් ඉන්නකොට ක්‍රිකට් ගැන කතා කරනකොට අපි නොලෙජ් එක ෂෙයා කරනකොට ඉගෙන ගන්න දේවල් වැඩි මම හැමසෙම කියන දෙයක් තමයි අපේ වුණත් ලංකන් ප්‍රීමියර් ලීග් එකක් ගැව්වොත් මම හිතන්නේ අපේ කණ්ඩායම අපේ කණ්ඩායම විතරක් නෙමෙයි නව කියෝ ක්‍රීඩකයන්ට ගොඩක් දේවල් ඉගෙන ගන්න පුළුවන් හොඳ ෆොරන්ස් ලයිල් එකලන්ත වැඩ කරා ඒකොත් දනුමෙන් දනුම ෂෙයා කිරීමෙන් ගොඩක් දේවල් ඉගෙන ගන්න පුළුවන් ඒක මගේ පර්සනල් එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් එක මට කියන්න පුළුවන් ඒක මම ගොඩක් විභුක්තින්ද ඒ අවුරුදු තුන තුල හොඳ ක්‍රීඩකයන් සමග සෙල්ලම් කරනකොට තමන් මුත් කම්පීට් කරන ඒ ක්‍රීඩකයන් එක්ක තමන්ගේ ෂෑන් වලට තමන් උස්ස ගන්නවා ඉතින් ඒ වගේ ඇතුලේ තියෙන කම්පිටිෂන් එක හොඳ වෙනකොට තරම තමයි කණ්ඩායමේ පර්ෆෝමන්ස් උත් වැඩි වෙන්නේ ඉතින් IPL එකෙන් කරපු හොඳම දේ
मट कल गहल मैदान अंजी मैदान ये सीरीज हो मगर पंद सह पिथिहार ने अनिवार्य थिंक ए वेच ट्रांसमिशन मुल मुगि इन पास पापी मट मत न्यूजीलैंड का टेस्ट सीरीज आगे लंक आए थिंक अंजी के लिए टेस्ट सीरीज तीन एक काले आल रौंड के दिब्बे स्पॉट गए थिं मैदान दास नमे दहाय कुला अंजी दिगट मे गुडक टू अस्ट एक काले तनिय मंगिता से मम एटीन तरंग एटीन खंडा सह मे डोमेस्टि क्रिकेट गगा है मम कने दे आर एंड दे आर अबउट आपर्चुनिटी खम बुना गुडक आल रौंड से थिंक अंबे लिमिट लिमिटे लिमिटेड आपर्चुनिटी मगे करा पुल उपरी मम कर नमो अंजी अंजी के पेफॉमस मट इतर मे खंड बरूना का कम बैक् सीरीज प्लाने खंडा मिसे सुखी मनवाई तरंगा कथा ऐशिया कपे कोई कथा कर कम बैक् सीरीज मत हम पलनी तरंगे अभी मैं क्रीडागर पाकिस्तान समय एक मंदर कर दिव्य तरंग बांग्लादेश गाब खंडा मम एलिए गया अभी पाकिस्तान बांग्लादेश दिख मत दिन निशा अभी फाइनल थ्रू निशा इंडिया तिब्ब तरंगे आप कुलशेखर सह मालिंग रिस्कर पुनि मटे तरंग हम बुना थी मैं एक क्यूवा हट्रिक का कडल पाक लगा थिंक हट्रिक बोल के कथा करो तत्र मम मम्मी की सारे कीलती नो मम दाँडी योगर बंधु मे उलिए तिब्बे दाम की जाहिर का महिला मैं मठ इला की मुना दाने की मन को मैं मई मन दाने इतना बल पड़े या तेग बंदी ऐसे मट मेक हिता इन सब कपड़ा कल बड़ा मट इधी डिशन मट गण दुन अब पड़ी अदास दुन इत महिला पुद्गले चमकी दिया क्यों सा मम गुडा गुडा हितने थिंग थिंग रईट एला मगे हम मगे स्ट्रेंथ बॉल के उसे दोस्तम नॉर्मल दिन लेंत के दाले मैं दम ऐ थिंक जाहिर का मैं तुम योग एक्सपेक्ट कर रंगी ऐ थिंक कपूल के लिए आगत ने बैठे आगे वैदी मैं तुम विशिष्ट उड़ बंद रग्गत कुमार विशी नी थिंग पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस पर्सनल पौदलिक मत के अन्न बला मैं ते ये तिब्ब फीलिंग मैं ते मगे क्रीडा दीवी गाड़ी लोक फीलिंग Welcome back uh, to uh, the Papar TV. As we are bringing you the live action here from uh, the SSC grounds in Colombo, from uh, the 90th Battle of the Saints between St Joseph's College and uh, St Peter's College, and uh, we're coming to the com box uh, to take you through uh, the first half an hour of uh, the second session. Uh, good afternoon, Paulinus. Good afternoon, Rishwan. Well, definitely St Joseph's College won the toss in the morning and invited the Petrites into bat. There you see the scorecard of the Petrites. Dylan Damchara 74 not out to one Sagar to 46 Vishen Halabage was run out for eight and Rosan the Gamage was out for four Shannon Rodrigo is not out on 12 6 extras 150 for three after 35 overs Remember first innings of this game is played for 60 overs and uh, the bowling card uh, from uh, the St Joseph's uh, bowlers uh, not the best of uh, bowling coming in uh, from uh, the new ball bowlers uh, Dunik Perer and uh, Dinuk uh, Sera Singh uh, But uh, Lairo Amrasegar and Manas uh, Madhubasan uh, managed to pull it back towards uh, in the favour of uh, St Joseph's, and uh, then uh, Abhishek Samash was brought into the attack, brought into the attack, and he got uh, the first wicket of uh, Obin Salgado, and his uh, figures of one for 22 has uh, been the pick of the bowlers uh, for the Josephians, and uh, one run out as well as uh, the keeper from Peters uh, was run out, uh, Vishen Halamigi. 
Yes, 108 run partnership for the first wicket between Owen Salgado and Dylan Dimsara. Dimsara is still there on 74. Definitely batted uh, with a lot of aggression towards the latter part of the innings. They started off very slowly but settled down very well. Now the run rate is uh, 4.29. Remember, 60 overs been played in the first innings of this encounter. Yes, Paul, I think uh, going into that uh, lunch break, St. Peter's would have been the happier side. 35 overs done, 150 on the board. Just losing uh, three wickets, but uh, the manner of uh, the way those wickets uh, were falling, they wouldn't uh, be happy. And uh, as you see, Dilna Damsara, 74 not out of 108 deliveries. Five fours and four sixes consist in that innings. And with the held strike rate as well, 68.52 at this level, I think uh, Dilna Damsara has done extremely well. Well, Rich one, 25 overs remaining. If the p tries can go at a five runs per over, that's a that will be a very good total of 275. They have the wickets intact, seven wickets intact to bat this 25 overs. So the p tries will be looking at a rate of five pound uh, five runs per over from here on. Off we go for the second session. So, so we tickles it down to uh, the final league region. Uh, Shannon Rodrigo gets the first runs in this uh, second session. By far, Manas Badubasan has been uh, the pick of the bowlers uh, from the pace department for the Josephians. Dunik Perer and uh, Dinuk Sera Singh have been a bit wayward and uh, expensive as well. Shannon Rodrigo, the other batsman. 13 not out of uh, 12 deliveries. Uh, two fours consist in that innings as well for him. A lot depends on these two batters, how they get on with this partnership. Well, the last wicket fell at 123, and they have now put on about uh, a 28 run partnership between these two. Dylan Adamsara has been striking the ball well. So is uh, Shannon Rodrigo. Yes, keep a light around the Sekhar and the Josephians uh, will uh, want to break this partnership. Both left handers in the middle. Well, I think Rashwan, the Josephian missed the tri trick. At the start of the innings, they didn't attack, they didn't try to get the wickets. They were happy bowling dot ball after dot ball, but that was not the way to go. I thought they should have attacked and tried to get a couple of wickets early. Yes, indeed, Paul Ness. Uh, Josephians didn't show that uh, hunger to get the wickets. But uh, from the uh, Pete Wright's point of view, they, will, they would have been really happy in that uh, morning session. 108 run partnership for that opening stand will give a boost to the batsmen uh, coming as well but the Josephians as well will be happy to see the back of uh, the two uh, experienced under-19 campaigners Sri Lanka under-19 campaigners rather well yes the two batters the two opening batters they settled down well they took off the race they batted extremely well at the start of the inning settled down quietly and then started to prolong the innings and uh, get a uh, more aggressive style especially the Leonard Damsara got four sixes in this 74 and uh, he was well supported by Owen uh, Salgado yes Paul is it's uh, been an attacking inning uh, coming in uh, from Damsara he was well supported as well as you said he will want uh, the other batsmen around him uh, to do what uh, Salgado did as well support him as uh, long as you can because as you said it's just 60 overs in this uh, first inning so uh, Beatrice will want to get a move on will want to uh, up that uh, run rate as well close upon five runs per over It'll take them to 250 Oh, that looked like a chance for me going off the hands of Vahiran Jasundara. He get, couldn't get hold of it. We'll have to wait and see the replay of that. And that is the end of that over. 36 gone. It's 151 for three. The reaction uh, from uh, the bowlers and the fielders uh, say that it was, uh, yes, indeed an edge. An opportunity gone begging. Joseph Yans, uh, Hiran Jasundara making a mess of it. And uh, you can see uh, the emotions coming out uh, from uh, Manas as well as uh, 36 done. St. Peter's uh, 1 5 2 for 3.
heels crest nai mere sausage the bite that bites back big match fun prima kotmi tiyana ka dil nadam sir survives he's got a life here stopped on 74 by hiranja sundar well that was definitely a takeable one at this level they should to held to hold on to those catches especially dilan damsara on 75 looking for many more things got two centuries to his credit this season for st peters been very consistent performer yes and uh, the trophies will be kicking themselves you have to grab those opportunities you can't give uh, a life uh, to a batsman who's on 74 looking very good uh, so once again you know devatusa keeping that offside uh, off uh, line uh, writing a uh, dumb sir to drive that ball you know devatusa bowling a good line good length that time again a bit of misfielding there by the josephians Josephians have been giving a couple of runs uh, for misfields too. This ball is if you talk about uh, the fielding uh, aspect uh, from uh, the Josephians it's been below par. We are just into this uh, 37th over. We have seen uh, plenty of misfields and a drop opportunity as well. Last ball of that uh, previous over. General Devatusa keeping that line uh, intact. Yeah, 154 for three. That's a loud appeal, but uh, umpire is not interested at all. They let them start on 77. Shannon Rodrigo on 13. clean decent over coming in uh, from uh, Devatus uh, to end the 37th uh, St Peter's uh, 154 for 3 gold hair body wash shaker ഫോർ <laughs> they got a bad a couple of overs after lunch and then they will go for the attack just uh, another 23 overs remaining in this innings but they definitely going to look for a total of around 275 yes sir uh, from uh, where they are at uh, right now they will be really disappointed if they are not able uh, to get up to 275 But Rishwan, if they get 275, definitely they're going to put the Josephian batsman. That's nicely played, but there is a sweeper cover right down on the boundary. Well, if they get 275, they're definitely going to put the Josephians under a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Yes, indeed, Polly. Because 275, the scoreboard pressure will be on the Josephians. Uh, batsman as well uh, from St. Joseph's. Uh, not high on confidence, except for the likes of uh, Hiran Jaisal. There has been among the runs. but uh, in this big occasion you never know well i get to mention hiran jasundra is the only josephian to josephian to score two double centuries in one well, season he got uh, 202 against royal in 2023 and 212 this time against trinity college this season has been really among the runs there was a loud appeal 
for the umpire not interested having a chat with the wicket keeper umpire Abukwala says that he has uh, the last say umpire's uh, call uh, is uh, the last uh, decision you can't go above that well the old saying, uh, saying goes umpire's word is law that's beautifully hit but this time straight into the hand so that's the end of uh, Shannon Rodrigo he goes for 14 and St. Peter's have lost their fourth wicket. That's a good bit of bowling by Manasa Madhubash and I thought that was a slower delivery, uh, Rishwan. He tried to hit it over the extra cover fielder but didn't get hold of it and went straight into the fielder. Yes, and a brilliant uh, catch coming in uh, from uh, Devathus as well. Kept his cool, calm and collected and uh, Manasa strikes. And the Josephians uh, will uh, be happy with that uh, breakthrough as uh, Shannon Rodrigo walks back to the pavilion after scoring 14 or 15 and St. Peter's uh, 156 for 4. Yes, definitely that is the uh, breakthrough the Josephians are looking forward for at 156 for 4, 37.4 overs. Pete Rides are losing an early wicket uh, in the second session. Well, the Josephians got to get those wickets if they got to get back into this game. So remember, they gave a 108 run partnership with the first wicket. Lashmika Pereira walks into the middle, another left hand replaces uh, another left hand. 17, uh, 12 matches, 17 innings, uh, best score of uh, 35, uh, 247 runs uh, with an average of 13.79. Not the best of uh, numbers uh, for Lashmika Pereira. Yes, definitely not much to talk about him. But uh, this is a different inning altogether. There could be a mix up there. A direct hit would have uh, caused a lot of problems for Damsara. Suddenly, uh, the beat rides uh, look uh, very uh, much off color here. He had an opportunity, uh, Manasa, in that uh, previous over as well. Another run out opportunity, yes. Uh, if that was uh, directed, it would have been uh, curtains uh, for uh, Dilina Damsara. Well, the beat rides 156 for 4. Being put into bat today. The Josephine captain Lyra Amrasekara won the toss and uh, asked St. Peter's College to take first lease of the wicket. They got a very valuable start of 108 between uh, Dilanand Damsara and uh, Owen Salgadu. Vishen Halabage, their captain, came into bat at number three got uh, two beautiful boundaries before he got himself run out yes uh, it was all for him uh, blame himself uh, as uh, Manasa Madhubasana ends uh, a wicket over as uh, St. Peter's uh, 157-4 after 38 Heels Crest Naimiri Sausage the bite Radials. The road is yours. One fifty-seven for four St. Peter's after thirty-eight overs. Twenty-two overs remaining in this innings, and they got six wickets intact. Definitely looking for a good score of around two seventy-five, think possible. 
which is really possible. That's nicely put away down the leg side and uh, going towards the fine leg. Batsman get two in that. Uh, Lashmi Kapraira and Dilindam Sara must be wanting to steady the innings up now because just uh, a couple of 20 overs remaining in this innings, 21 to be precise. Is an, uh, after that uh, big partnership uh, front up uh, from the Petrets, they haven't uh, got to one, they haven't uh, settled in the middle. The batsmen uh, coming after that, especially the likes of uh, Rosan the Gamagi. It's uh, quite a brilliant bat. Unfortunate uh, not to uh, get a big one here as uh, Lashmika getting a move on, cuts one for a single. Rishman, the two Josephian spinners, uh, Yenula Devthusa and Nairu Amrasekra, their main strike bowlers have gone wicketless up to now. Yes, that's uh, quite surprising, uh, Paulus, but uh, in a wicket like this, uh, for spinners, uh, it's going to be a long, uh, hard day for them. That's nicely played, but straight to the fielder. Because of that, you can't keep... Uh, those two bowlers out uh, for a long time. I'm sure they will come and chip in with uh, a wicket or two. Likes of Lairo Amar will fancy his chances uh, bowling at uh, the left-handers as uh, once again an opportunity goes begging as Dilna Damsara gets another life. Looks like it was Abhishek Jaiveer in this occasion. Well, the Josephians got to hold on to those. That's what is needed. Oh, another takeable one. Messed up. Completely messed it up. Dilna Damsar, he's been uh, really fortunate. After that lunch session, he's uh, well and surely really fortunate uh, to not uh, find himself walk back to the pavilion. Swung beautifully hit. That's going towards the cover boundary. There is a fielder there. Just a single. That's the end of that over. It's 39 gone. It's 163 for four. Nikam Boru at a risk a gun, eh? NDB Neos Theatre, risk a gun, Nadu, kick a fund transfers, Karana, a game, a chill like a bill speaker. One sixty-three for four. Thirty-nine overs gone. Twenty-one overs remaining in the Pete Wright first innings. They need to get at least another hundred of those. Well, we see Sri Lanka one hundred and fifty-five for five in the first Test match against Bangladesh in Bangladesh. Yes, sir. Uh Sri Lanka were in uh, deep trouble uh, when they were 92 for 5 uh, at lunch in Silet. But uh, skipper Dananjit Silva and uh, Kamdu Mendis have uh, studied the innings, uh, but a long way to go in uh, Silet as well. Manasa uh, Madhubasana, he's been uh, bowling well post uh, lunch session. It's again beautifully driven away from. Uh, Lashmika straight to the field. A packed uh, offside field. Well, there too, Rishwan, you saw it was not a clean collection. Didn't collect it properly. But the batsman hit it firmly into the field. Uh, unable to get a single there. This Polly, as we uh, spoke, uh, feeling has been below par from the Josephians in this uh, morning session and uh, the post lunch session as well. It's short and wide outside the Austin and a wide given. That's definitely a wide rich one. It's nothing to worry about that. Six wides bowled by the Josephians. 
in this innings. That's an additional over. Yes, that uh, won't help uh, the Josephians as well. They need to somehow restrict uh, the beat tracer to uh, below 250. Well, I think this one, if P tries to get 250, they'll be happy. But they want something more than that. That's what they're looking forward for. So 260 to 270. Yes, from the start they got uh, Polly. They would uh, have expected uh, 275. But uh, Josephians have managed uh, to chip in uh, with the wickets. And uh, keep that uh, score rate uh, down uh, as well. So, uh, the Josephians... Uh, I think they have started well here in this uh, second session, except for those uh, fielding efforts. As uh, Lashmika against uh, the run of play, he goes uh, for a big heave as uh, he gets his first boundary. That one too short by Manas Madhubashana and gave Lashmika on the back foot and pulled it away towards mid wicket boundary. There yeah, you see the replay of that. Short and not much of speed. He gave enough time for Lashmika to get onto the back foot. And he did very well to hit it hard and firm towards the mid wicket boundary. Now, from that shot, uh, we can see that uh, the beat drives will show some aggression. Got uh, more batting to come as well. You see 17 fours and four sixes in this innings. All the four sixes coming off the bat of uh, Damsara. Who is on 81? And uh, Dilna Damsara was dropped on 74 and uh, 78 as well. He's uh, living a charm life out in the middle. Joseph so will be kicking himself, kicking themselves rather. Uh, both those chances were given after lunch. Had they held on, Joseph Yance would have been having another wicket or two. That is the end of the 40th over, St. Peter's 169 for 4. TV stand TV 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 LED Full HD UHD Smart. This is the Yenula to continue from uh, the with them of the end. With the new batsman out there, Lashmika Pereira. I'd like to, uh, to see uh, this keeper Lairo Amrasekar coming into the attack. For General Del Tusa's intention is also to keep the batsman under check. That's nicely driven. Going down to the deep mid off area. But the beat rides uh, really want, want to add some runs to their total. 20 overs remaining. Well, if they go at five runs per over, that's a hundred runs. That will uh, get the beat drives into two, 269, 270. That's the target they're aiming at. They got the wickets in tag, uh, Rishwan. Six wickets in tag for these uh, 20 overs. They got to look for it. They will, uh, well and surely, the beat drives uh, will want to get up uh, the 275 run mark not the best of uh, overs coming in uh, from uh, generally he's been a tad bit short in uh, heading into his uh, ninth over well the Petrats are looking for those singles well, five to six runs
That's it, Apishle. Hiranja Sundara getting underneath it, and that's the end of uh, Dilina Damsara. He's out. Lashmi Kapreira, sorry, correction there. Lashmi Kapreira is out for eight. Went for a big uh, swing at it. Got the top edge, went straight up, and Hiranja Sundara did the rest. And uh, just as we spoke a uh, few hours ago, uh, Polly, that Yenula Devatuza will. Uh, Come into the game uh, with uh, a wicket. Easy take uh, for Hiran Jai Sundar as uh, the Petrites uh, half uh, the batsman back in the pavilion as uh, Lashmika Pereira walks back. And uh, St. Peter's uh, 172 for 5. Heels crest nine sausage. The bite that bites back. St. Peter's half of the batsman back in the hut. Well, this is what the Josephians got to do, get wickets at regular intervals to curtail the Pete rides. otherwise the Pete rides will be looking for a big score. Yes, Polly. Just uh, 22 runs as a new batsman, uh, right-hand bat. We didn't see that very often in these innings. Uh, Nathan David walks to the middle. 338 runs in the season, best score of 74. Average of 18.24, so he can handle the bat. Now the likes of us, this De Silva still in, uh, still yet to bat uh, for uh, the Petrides as an appeal uh, comes in uh, from uh, Yenula to end uh, the 41st uh, St. Peter's College, uh, 172 for 5. Introducing Sri Lanka's biggest Google TV collection from Singa. Endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore. Millions of shows, movies and games, plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place. Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa. It's uh, Nathan David, the new batter. <coughs> Got a half century in the last uh, one day encounter. Must be wanting to repeat that performance today. Once again, Manasa Madhubasana keeping the line, that uh, sixth stump line, and inviting uh, Dinla Damsara to go for the big stroke. And he's making Damsara do the mistake, Polly. But his feelers have to back uh, as well. Two opportunities gone begging. It's exactly the Josephian bowlers have done well after lunch. They got those breakthroughs, but the fielders have definitely let them down. Couple of chances going up again. Otherwise, the beat rats would have been in some kind of problem at this stage. Yes, Polly. Just uh, the 22 runs in this uh, post lunch session, and uh, the Josephians have managed to get uh, a couple of wickets. So. Sure, the Josephians uh, will uh, be high on confidence. It all comes down uh, to this uh, wicket of uh, Dilna Damsara. If he goes on to bat, uh, he holds 60 overs. Josephians uh, should be in uh, some sort of trouble. Driven away once again straight to uh, Kapru Bandara. Well, he's on 83. Must be thinking of his 102. Yes, that can... Uh, bring down the run rate as well because he'll be nearing that century and he will be cautious will not go for those expensive strokes well the Josephians uh, should take advantage of that they should try to bowl dot ball after dot ball for him Damsar at this time turns it around there is a long chase but uh, it's gone into the boundary four more runs to him
the boss and it just not uh, giving that much of pace slower delivery on that occasion uh, easy pickings uh, for uh, the likes of uh, Dilna Damsar sure he's seeing uh, the red cherry uh, like a uh, football now well there you see I thought as much you know this Kualik bound the boundary they should bring him to the mid wicket because most of the runs have been going from there and now they have done the adjustment Cut away on the offside, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Packed offside fielder for Manasa. The arms are not afraid to go for the strokes as well. Yeah, Manasa's line of attack has been outside the off stump, so definitely he's been given an outside off stump, offside field. Thumbs are on 88. 12 runs away from his 100. Pitch more on the midland leg and stroked away nicely towards the squalic area. Gets a single. Single uh, to end uh, the uh, 40 second over as uh, St. Peter's uh, 176 for 5. 177 for 5, rather. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z. WKYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing! Introducing the Digital Youth Account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Big match fun. Prima Kotumi Tier Account. So welcome back to the SSE. As, uh, St. Peter's not making any great progress after lunch. Had a beautiful platform uh, just as lunch. Was unfortunate to lose their skipper run out after two beautiful boundaries. But ever since that, it's the Josephians has taken control. But St. Joseph's has been very crappy on the field to drop uh, Didina Gamsara, the highest run scorer so far for St. Peter's. You can't afford uh, to keep dropping catchers, whether it's the high score or it's the uh, new batsman. You just need to keep picking up pickets. And out of that two catchers, that makes it uh, more painful for the Josephians. Yeah, it's much more harder. You know, you need to get 10 wickets. Now you're trying to get 12 wickets here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Nathan, the new batsman for St. Peter's, uh, just averaging around 17 this season. Peter is batting average is not the greatest this season. I think they have depended a lot on their top order. The openers, uh, captain and the vice captain doing most of the scoring and uh, together with Shannon. I think the top five have basically done a lot of scoring for them. Whenever they fail, St. Peter's have not scored much. Yes, so that's the thing that uh, should be in the mind of the Josephians. Uh, still, this there's a long way to go in this game just uh, the end of the first session and we have started the second session St. Peter's were I think at one stage aiming to get over 260 to 70 now must be thinking of how they can get 220 yeah I think uh, the main thing is uh, if they can uh, they have to plan to bat uh, the 60 overs without throwing it away I don't think there's much of batting here after this pair you are exactly correct. Uh, the main objective should be to knock down the 60 overs. Keep the strike rotating. So after 43 overs, St. Peter's won 80 for 5. Heels crest, nine sausage. The bite that bites back. Radials, the road is yours. We can see uh, 
supporters with uh, both school flags around the grounds motivating their teams indeed st peters will be very happy how they got through the initial stage of the game a very very solid start i don't think anyone dreamt of a partnership of a 100 run partnership for the opening wicket very unfortunate way to get out at 46 and uh, dinan ramsar is still holding uh, the cards for st peters now at 90 he should really try to make maximum out of this and been dropped twice uh, i think uh, that's what the petrites will be looking at what would you think of uh, the score that St. Peter's would be looking at Michael now? Well, as long as uh, Dylan can continue without throwing his wicket away, still 250, 270 is gettable because you need you have 17 hours left. Just that they have to you know bat together, maybe support Dylan and make sure that he is there, right? Maybe Nathan can uh, also stick around with him. But 260, anything about 250 is going to be a massive skill. Especially after being asked to bat 108 run partnership, opening partnership. Definitely. There we see easy pickings. Just dropping it short, helping uh, it on its way. It's all about placement and finding the gaps, Michael. So, and, and this ground just runs as you find the gap. So, it needs to be good fielding at any given moment throughout these entire two days for a side to come out on top. Yeah, definitely. Now we see that ball shot just helped it on its way into that uh, vacant uh, area. Placement was perfect. Again, down the leg side. Looks like uh, the Jasper is trying to go with a leg side field for Dilana. With six fielders on the leg for the left hander. Yes, some very interesting field settings by the Josephian skipper after lunch. Uh, we have seen some uh, aggressive uh, fielding uh, efforts apart from those two chances uh, which we cannot forget. Sun has come out very well now, Michael. Sun beating the bat. Appeal from the wicketkeeper and the bowler. A good spin bowling here by the Josephians. Keeping the Pete Wrights guessing. Nathan. Just uh, still one to his name faced four deliveries that one kept low so after 44 overs and peter's 185 for five Nikam Boruata risk a gunny, eh? NDB Neos theatre risk a gunnatu, kick a fun transfers karanama game, chill like a bill speaker. The sky, just a light cloud, it's not really rain threatening, but just you know, gloomy. It's gonna be interesting to see whether we can get uh, all the overs in. Yeah, you're correct, uh, Michael. Yesterday, uh, the Colombo weather was very gloomy from around 3.30 in the evening, but it started pouring around 5.30, and uh, at that time it was really dark. So this uh, particular game, which is a compulsory declaration at 60, and the other side has to bat uh, close to 45 overs within the first day, uh, there is a lot in the day's play and the progress for a result of this game. And remember, St. Joseph's will have to bat, uh, if so, the first uh, 10 to 15 overs tomorrow as well. Yeah, it's going to be tricky, but it'll be interesting, you know. That's why they bought in this 60-over uh, format. 
make it a bit interesting or else sometimes you just pet on and on yes definitely very interesting format and uh, very positive thinking as well otherwise uh, the crowds were also just getting tailing off the Josephine and Peter at big bench but now we see crowds in the first day itself and second day we might have more crowds and we all know the 50 over is the biggest uh, 50 over encounter in the school circuit uh, the Joe Pete being the first school uh, to host the 50th encounter this year a lot of tradition a lot of rivalry and I think uh, like you said the Joe Pete 50 over is like the main event for the Joe Pete uh, cricket calendar more than the two day you get a lot of crowd the most of the crowd that come take any other schools 50 over game you don't get that much definitely uh, Michael and the tens been so glamorous. So after 45 now, St. Peter's 186 for five. Gold hair and body wash shaker. Kiri Atir is superior. I think one of the most crucial passages in the game, Michael, the last 15 overs to go, uh, how St. Joseph's will try to restrict St. Peter's lowest as possible. And if St. Peter's can cut loose and get over that 250 mark, I think that's where the game will be changed and that's where the game change is going to happen. So at the moment, both sides are equally poised. Yeah, now looking at that uh, field and the strangest thing look at where the wicket keeper is he's keeping down the leg side yes i just noticed after you said my god yeah, that's quite unusual it's very unusual yes well normally you might see that in a two-day game when you're trying to bowl negative lines and you know but this is they're just trying to keep dilana put some pressure on him and not give him the single there we see oh my god that was was that a plan as well a tape put up stamping but he was too slow uh, let's see that replay but he was padding at it no and i think dilina thought uh, the kiwi could keep a mr ball and did he try to take off interesting replay to watch well even if he tried to run there wouldn't have been a run because he was not playing a stroke so he has to be careful you know if he had left the crease correct he would have been out I'm still wondering why why aren't they putting attacking field in front of short leg silly mid off just a batsman on 95 now 96 well 97 it, now eh? yeah so 97. 97 so that really puts a pressure on a batsman edging towards a century or a half century or whatever milestone interesting to see how long they can you know prolong this hundred Right, okay, that's another good delivery, but very well played, equally well played, uh, and ball running towards the boundary line, a valiant effort there, have they got, no, they just got two, so the Petrite running in between wickets also has not been the greatest Michael throughout the game, I think they have lost easily, without any exaggeration, 15 to 20 runs with their running from the beginning of the game. So in the beginning we can think uh, it was trying to keep the wickets intact but after lunch it was all about placement. Yeah, you're correct. Uh, singles are on a big ground like this there are a lot of gaps so it's easier to get the singles you know you don't need to get boundaries every over. Still if you're getting four to five runs in the over you'll end up getting a decent score definitely it's how you pace your innings it's how you manage how you manufacture your shots that is very important because like i said the format of the game is different though it's a two-day game the first 60 overs and how you make maximum out of it will make the side uh, pay a big price so that's a very welcome boundary not very intentional where he wanted it to of course that and uh, that also brings up his hundred a very well deserved hundred uh, we can give all credit to him though he gave two chances but uh, super 100 uh, by uh, Damsara 
Uh, Dilina, he took control of the game from start. Nice to see the crowd coming in just to get that atmosphere in the big match. The Pete Wright supporters uh, trying to come in all over. But the security and umpires getting rid of them because the time is very, very important. And uh, now uh, we will see some different type of batting by Dilina or will he go the same way? Well, let's, let's see what their plan is. I'm uh, sure a message came out uh, in the bottle of water there. We see trying to get that false stroke, getting it over. To the, and a very well played 100. Well deserved, battered really well. Up till lunch, there were no chances given. Just after lunch, maybe a loss of concentration, but the Josephians also may have not been concentrating. Definitely. I think they underestimated this uh, player in their uh, team chats, maybe, because the way he cut loose uh, in the first innings uh, when St. Peter's were in their 40s was beautiful. He got two great, great sixers, some super placement when the St. When St. Peter's was at one stage struggling to get runs. It was Dilina Damsara who came dancing down the track and gave the Josephians a heart attack to say, hey guys, we can play. So I think a uh, lot of credit should go to this young man for a great innings and I think he made uh, the first day, definitely, he's the man of the match on the first day. So well played, uh, young man. Definitely. And, uh, they were asked to bet, you know, no one would have thought that uh, the openers would get a 100 on the partnership going. Yeah, definitely, Michael. No one expected that and everyone thought that the initial moisture of the wicket would have been taken advantage of by the Josephians. And I still think that uh, the Josephian camp must be kicking themselves for not attacking in the morning session. Yeah, definitely. It was a pathetic to see uh, after the first ball was edged to the boundary, a third, third man coming in. That was, that was a very sorry sight uh, to see. You win the toss, ask your opposition in. First ball, edge, pass the slip for four, and then you put a third man and you take out your slip. That is not attacking cricket at all, Michael, definitely. Not sure whose plan it was, but that was not uh, on the cards. You just uh, just one boundary, right? See how it goes. But the third man stayed right along after that. Yeah, and that also made uh, inroads for the Pete Rides to make their runs, get that 25 steady runs in. And also I thought the Josephian skipper brought himself too early. Uh, and the spin with the new ball just uh, not even 10 overs to 12 overs old. Uh, he had himself coming in, I think again, which uh, dropped the pressure a bit uh, to the Pete Rides. I think that uh, was done with the reason of uh, trying to curtail the runs, not let them break free. After the first few overs, uh, no wickets came. Just and he managed to, you know, cut it down together with Manas from the other end. Brought the score down till, like you said, Dilana went, took the spinner on, and then from there onwards, it was a different ball game. All credit to the Pete Wright batting. Amazing batting track, uh, Michael. I think I would, I really like to see St. Joseph having such a good batting lineup. How they will take the approach and how the Pete Rides will attack. Let's get, we'll get back to that. Uh, 47 hours gone, 196 for 5. So with Russell's tea head going, I think it's a nice time for a cup of tea as well, even in the commentary box, just after a heavy lunch. Well, uh, hopefully we should have something coming very soon. Harita was longing for a cup of tea from morning. Well, we did get our tea in the morning session. A long time more for the tea break. It's rather humid outside, uh, Michael, and uh, becoming a little gloomy again. If you see the skies, uh, you know it's uh, 
uh, it's fluctuating and that's the worry here because if you're going to lose time for bad light you're going to kill the game like you said getting back to how the Josephians will bet on this I would say they have a strong betting lineup just that the score board pressure if the Peters manage to get close to ab about 250 260 that pressure is going to tell on you if you don't get a good start you know you're playing catch-up cricket that is where the mindset will have to change you know forget about six years just continue batting looking at singles spot on Michael the score of 220 and 260 will play a huge role because if it's a lower score I'm sure the Joes will target to get something within 50 overs and maybe make an early declaration get the Pete tries to bat again and see how things will go so all depends on what St. Peter's is going to host and Didier Gamsara already uh, got his 100 so we are in the 47th over so maybe they'll still continue bat till about the 54th 55th over and then maybe go all out if they don't lose anymore because I think that's the sensible thing that the Pete Wright should do because they know their lower end betting is not very very strong to be very honest uh, with all due respect to the great uh, effort they have made today we have seen that happen so they should uh, keep that in mind and really look at this 250 mark uh, Michael this is a good bowling I would say bowling to his field Six fielders on the off. We saw the river sweep coming out as well. And again, uh, can't pierce the gap. So dot balls also creating a bit of pressure. So another one, and the end of uh, just another over gone. So 48 gone. St. Peter's 197 for five. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing! Introducing the Digital Youth Account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Gold Hair and Body Wash Shaker. Main spinners in attack, uh, Yenula in operation now and the skipper that high in there. We got keeper getting under it, and yes, that's a wicket they needed. Till the Damsara has thrown it away. Yenula there was also getting his second in the thick of everything, taking catches, runouts, and now getting wickets as well. Yes, so the all-important breakthrough has come finally for the Josephians. Uh, every run he made after that 74 being dropped uh, would have been kicking on their mind, but he managed to add 20 more to his personal score and his personal best as well at a big match. And uh, the Josephian wicketkeeper might be delighted after sending him back to the hut. So, a uh, super knock uh, comes to an end by Dilina Gamsara. Good. Super oh. innings, super innings, and I think uh, a game-changing innings for the Pete Wrights to stand tall today. So, 48 overs gone, 48.1 to be specific. Joshua, the new batsman. Well, I think uh, this could be a turning point in this game. The, if the Josephians can run through this uh, balance four wickets, or whether the Peter is going to, you know, bat positively for the balance uh, 11.5 overs. Joshua Sebastian, just five games, nine innings, best score of 70. So he can bat just 151 runs. Strike rate of uh, 56.7, average 21. So this boy can manage the bat. Just 16 years old, so we're going to see a lot of him the next few years. Yeah, seems to be a very promising cricketer. Just five games, and I think must have come uh, during the last uh, few games in the season. 
and uh, produce some good results and uh, he can prove a point here 16 year old playing his first big match what a mark can he make for his side today like you said uh, michael it's uh, the most crucial time of the game uh, after that wicket 11 good overs to go not easy 16 year old not like coming in just at a two day game when there's you know just a few spectators this big match you know big game a lot of pressure on you and lot huge sound around you a lot of focus you know sometimes you're not used to batting with that sound you know you, you won't be hearing what your partner is saying exactly michael it's totally different environment different ground international stadium that you're playing at Pratik, boy, don't the Petrites have a lot of left-handers? One replaces oh! another. Exactly, I was observing that as well. That was, that was a like it. It must be a record uh, set of left-handers uh, playing for Saint Peter's uh, this season. I heard Damit earlier saying that there were six in the playing eleven. Nicely worked again. That's pretty good batting. He knows what he needs to do. Mature way to get out of the mark uh, for a 16 year old. Pressure game. I think uh, St. Peter should look at how they are going to bat 60 overs, uh, Michael. Nothing else. I think they should not try to do anything fancy now. I don't think uh, they should try to use the long handle at all till the 55th over. But they should not lose a wicket. it down bowler thought he had his man but the wicket keeper was uh, not very uh, supportive see no wicket keeper knew straight away that missed the bat because he was stepping down the track all deviates from the noun striker Unfortunately, but uh, St. Peter's will take that. So, so, the boundary to end the 49th over, St. Peter's 202 is up for 6. We'll see. Uh, Dil Nadamsara, 100. It was brilliant, started off brilliantly with that straight drive. Then a few cut shots. Those were the shots that uh, got them uh, really going of the speeder these were the two shots that cut loose and got uh, st peters and damsara both on the way and then there was no looking back after that always a great uh, feeling to get uh, two or three figures in uh, well in any game right and when it's in your big match in front of all your mates and uh, a lot of supporters no better feeling definitely this might be his most memorable moment in his life so far and maybe in his entire life as well when he comes back for a big match open the souvenir and show here i am in the centurion list of the battle of the saints we have a Suni right now in front of us with all centurions all who are represented sri lanka a lot of history in this book uh, michael it's a very interesting to have a read Go back, go, down, go back down memory lane. Since the 50th hours are still continuing to bowl down the leg side. I thought it was a plan only for so the Damsara, but uh, looks like they're still continuing to bowl down the leg side for the left hand. It's interesting to see why the umpire did not call it wide, he just gave it by. I thought he touched something because down the leg side. And the wide rule is quite strict in the first 60 overs, uh, Michael. Yeah, but I think, uh, Pradeep, there are two lines drawn there. 18 okay. inches from the middle stump. So, it's not, they're not going according to the one-day rule where anything down the leg side is a wide. But if it's if they feel that they're bowling too negative or it's too wide, then they will call it a wide. Well, this is what Garmini was talking in the morning. I think that's a good indication for the umpires also. Yeah, and it doesn't uh, take the aggression from the bowlers to bowl sensibly as well. Because we saw St. Joseph doing something really great. 
when the batsmen were going at them they were just bowling a little outside the off stump giving the invitation if you want slash right so that is not possible if you become realistic like you say in a one day i think even the even the previous wicket of dilner ram sir was created because yenula was bowling wide outside the off stump with a packed off side field so dilner was trying to go to the leg he had to take it from outside off so he couldn't connect it and it went straight up correct that's why we saw the wicket keeper also standing more towards the leg side so it was a good plan then let me see again the wicket keeper based himself uh, outside the leg stump and the bowling at the pads well that's a good ploy trying to you know keep the runs down make the pit rides make the mistake Yeah, now Saint Joseph really making Saint Peter's run their runs. Really tight uh, field set up as well. There we see trying trying to manufacture a shot. So get a single. So uh, again a leg by. Yeah, in early of the innings, it's very very difficult to manufacture shots, uh, Michael. Even we saw the batsman who was in form was finding it difficult. So it's interesting. That's what I said. It's very interesting to see how Saint Joseph still bat in this wicket, having such a good lineup. That's nicely bowled, and I would say nicely played. Extremely nicely played. Th that was a very well nicely played uh, manufactured shot, uh, Michael. So end of another over. Saint Peter's at 209 for six. Introducing Sri Lanka's biggest Google TV collection from Singa. Endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore. Millions of shows, movies and games plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place. Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa. Ten overs to go in this speed ride innings. On the left arm, spin a yellow. It's a nice beautiful uh, play shot, uh, Michael. Hope it carries. No, but very, very well fielded by the Josephians. Good combination there, cutting uh, two runs definitely. Nicely played. They've been fielding in patches. Their ground fielding has been good, but just that the two catchers after lunch. Let's see that again. How he pulled that back. nicely done but it may be that they had some good lunch and they forgot you know when they came out they were just relaxing or thinking about the dessert or the tea <laughs> and and forgot to <laughs> catch the ball other than that the fielding has been good yes definitely the fielding was good they complemented each other quite well with chips were down even without taking a wicket initially i think the josephians in a great position right now from where they were before lunch If you now really take I, we can even say that Josephians are on top of the game, uh, and the second session after lunch belongs to the Josephians. Yeah, definitely. Well, if they held held on to that catch, it may have been even worse situation. But still, they're doing pretty well. And all credit to the Peter and Batsman trying to work it on the leg. So we can leg side position, back to off side field here. lot of school boys around nice to see from both schools waving their flags cheering their heroes well, we need to make a small correction it was not uh, joshua who was who came out earlier it was isru ayupala apologies uh, for that so ayupala is on uh, four now nathan on 13 Ayupala Ayupala Kerala Kerala Nathan has been batting pretty smartly nudging it here nudging it there you need to just you know bat out you don't need big uh, scores sit and do that get 3 4 runs over Yeah, now the Peter should make the effort of frustrating the Josephians to take this game to the 60th over. Saint Joseph will be licking their fingers if they can get 
just get run through the tail enders now. So this is again a very close uh, battle within the last 10 overs. I think now it's about being smart and uh, you know running smart, trying to you know put it into the gap and get that single. Maybe you'll get the overthrow or the misfield and you can go back. Now we see again working it on the leg. Very true, Michael, because we saw some waiver throwing, and that brings the end to the 51st over. St. Peter's 214 for 6. St. Peter's College 214 for 6 after 51 overs. 9 overs remaining in this innings. Well, Jodhapians have fought themselves back into the game after lunch, grabbing a couple of wickets. As I say, good afternoon to Gamni Pereira, who's joined with me. Gamni, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Polly. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, interesting pace, this. Heave that over mid wicket. Yeah, Josephians have climbed their way back, haven't they, after lunch? None of the teams uh, have been able to. So, again, hit powerfully. Um, to stay in control of this game, it has been seesawing from time to time. Ideally, Pete Wright would, would have loved to have a set batter batting at this stage for the last 10 overs. What you're looking for is around that runner ball, Mark Polly, to get close to that 270, 275. But they've got relatively two new batters, haven't they? Uh, Nathan obviously have done a bit of work, 30 balls. You see, uh, 5 of 12. They need to. Um, up the ante. They can't just prod and prod because the 60 overs needed to be finished by about 10 past 2. Otherwise, they will go on till 2.55. Well, company, I thought uh, at lunch uh, St. Peter's were 150 for 3 with uh, 25 overs remaining. And I thought uh, St. Peter's will easily make that 270 mark. That's 52 gone, it's 214 for 6. These two have been doing the bulk of the bowling uh, since lunch time, Yanula and uh, Lahiru Amara Sekara. Yes, the Josephians are getting uh, a couple of wickets at regular intervals and fought themselves back into this game. They might be able to curtail the beat trance somewhat like 250. They'd be very happy with that, uh, Polly. From 150 for 3, 156 for 3, effectively. Yeah, but at one stage, uh, we drive for 108 for no loss, and then suddenly they were 123 for 3 and 156 for 3. None of the teams have been able to hammer this with their superiority in key moments, really. Again, fielders being that far back in a, in a limited over game, you could say they're at the edge of the circle, won't they? They're, they're, they're far away behind, but we haven't seen any, well, none of these batters looking to drop the ball in front. 
Yes, they're thinking of going for big hits rather than getting those singles and twos. That's what the Pete Wright batter should do at this moment. There you see a couple of runs there. Because the scoreboard will keep on ticking once you get the singles and twos. You don't need to go for those boundaries or sixes. You keep your wickets intact. And you have uh, four wickets remaining by the last five, four to five overs. Then you really can go after them. Like I said, ideally, Peter would have wanted to have a set batter, but uh, they've lost wickets at regular intervals since lunch time. So. Just, that's been punched nicely. It's in the gap too. That's a very, very good shot. Just shows how good this wicket is. Hitting down the line, hitting through the line, all along the ground. Yanula had an opportunity to get a hand to it, but um, Midoff was very wide. Folly, have a look where uh, Midoff fielder is, or long off for that matter. There's a very straightish, like a mid on just behind the bowler's arm. Good piece of batting. Just work behind. So suddenly, six of the last two, the 53rd became a very effective one for St. Peter's. Two, two, two for six. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Well, Nathan David on 22. Nathan David Kamini is a very capable batter, has a 50 to his credit against the Josephians. He got a half century in the one day encounter last year. Yeah, he looks a player that uh, he's pretty busy on his feet. He wasn't afraid to use his feet in that last over. Well, the Petrides definitely want him to be there till the close of the innings. Seven hours remaining. Yeah, if, if Nathan have to be efficient, Isira will have to play his part. Right now, Lahiru is bowling a foot outside the off stump. And there are three fielders behind the crease on the off side. So he'll have to think out of the box here, Isira. There's a lot of uh, space on the on side. What he can't do is to keep Nathan off strike. Yes, he needs to get Nathan David on strike as much as possible because he has been stroking the ball well. Do you want to get up to 270? Still achievable. Seven hours remaining. The Pete Trides want a total of a 270, 275. Well, if we get a total of 275 Garmin, definitely the Josephine batters will be under pressure. That's a very good innovative shot. Got a good piece of that one. Very good thinking. Like I said before, he looks very busy on his feet and uh, generally, he's, I mean, he's not the tallest batter you'll ever see, but generally shorter ones are very quick on their feet and very quick to transfer their weight from one leg to the other. And uh, this was a very good premeditated lap shot. It's very well played by Nathan David. Really looks a busy player. Has a half century to his credit against the Josephians in the last one day encounter. He's on 26.
that's been called a wide so he'll have to re-ball that one interestingly uh, David just see where he's batting he's batting at least six inches outside the stumps outside the off stump so touch and go that one but umpires are very very severe on anything that are outside that line genuine edge again a boundary in that over two to eight for six Heels crest nine is sausage the bite that bites back gold hair and body wash shaker So six overs to go, Polly. It's 50 years the 1974 team, and uh, a lot of your teammates are here today. And so the uh, Pete Wrights, 1974. See, I, I was still in the court then. I was born in '73, but uh, yeah, brings back a lot of memories, obviously. Definitely, Kamini, uh, no doubt about that. A lot of cricket had been watched and played during that time. I already spoke to our master in charge, Mr. Angelo Raya. A very knowledgeable person. I'll tell you what. Those three or four minutes that I had a chat with him and uh, he seems like he knows his onions. He, he knows a lot about cricket. And uh, some of the names that he has, you know, the players that he has molded, you know, they are from uh, top of the list. Yes, definitely. He was the uh, master. Uh, he was the manager of the Sri Lanka schools team in 1970, which was captained by Mitra Vettamuni. Went to India and drew the series one all, which included Bandula Varapura, Ajit De Silva, Rangoda, some of those great players who passed. He was definitely a very, very respected uh, person among the schools during that time. Again, got a hand to it, but couldn't prevent the single being taken. Yeah, I asked him the, uh, you know, he was talking about Rajiv Benedict, and uh, he has seen both his 10 wicket holes, and he spoke about Gary Melder, and uh, incidentally, Polly, I asked him who the best, best batter he saw, and he said Lalit Diaz Vijayaratna. Of course, definitely, Lalit Diaz Vijayaratna was a fantastic player, fantastic player, no doubt about it. Company. I can remember him uh, at the Sarah Stadium uh, getting a 50, just a half century, 60 odd he got on a, a like a paddy field. The wicket was like a paddy field. You know, those days no covers, rain. Then he went on to bat and got that 60 odd runs. And uh, we were just walked into the wicket to see after the wicket after the game. And the ground secretary at the time was uh, Padmanabhan or someone. He said, That left hander is a future Sri Lanka player. Was such a class player, Lali T.S. Vijayaratna. Was the schoolboy cricketer of the year in 1969. And um, also, Mr. Raya spoke about the emerging of Arvind De Silva at the time, and he was uh, at early 80s. And Arjun Ranathunga, those names. Again, okay, beautiful use of the feet. Yeah, I mean, he was involved in uh, cricket in various schools, not only St. Joseph's. He knew the cricketers from other schools too, respected him a lot because uh, he was in, involved in Colombo North, the Colombo, I mean, the Sri Lanka schools teams, Colombo North teams. So he knew most of the players in New actually. Yeah, one thing he was disappointed to uh, with the current system, he said they have got into the zonal cricket. Zonal cricket was existing even uh, during my time. Nineties, we had zonal cricket. So again, there was a three and a three singles in that over. So six of the fifty fifth over, 
5 to go, 2, 3, 5 for 6. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Well, talking about Mr. Angelo Raya Gamni, you know, he also played for college during his day and also during that time we had uh, Piali Dalpadado as the coach. So two Josephians in charge of uh, college cricket. Definitely college cricket was uh, really coming up during that time. Yeah, both St. Joseph and St. Peter's had very good talent at that time, didn't, didn't they? Uh, 70s, even early 70s, uh, late 70s. Yeah, of course, 74, 75 and 76, three consecutive years, we became the 50 over cricket champions. Proud to be part of it for the Josephians. That's what I like to see. Drop the ball in front, keep the fielders guessing. You've only got 29 balls left. Or 35 balls left, I should say. And yeah, they got to get those singles and twos, Gamni. Well, you get that odd four here and there. Well, got to keep the scoreboard ticking. That's what is needed by these two batters. Nathan David on 28. After 40 deliveries, Isra on 12. These two are put on a close upon 40 run partnership. Very valuable for St. Peter's. Yeah, indeed. Because when these two got together, it was looking like the Josephians were right back in it, and uh, suddenly all the good work that was done by the top order batters were beautifully timed again. We're all in vain uh, at that point, 6 for 190 all at that stage, wasn't it? But this Nathan David, I'm very impressed with the uh, police. He looks like he's got good hands and good feet. It's the Pete Wright wicket keeper, Nathan David. Been a very good wicket keeper too, Gamni. Well, when your movements are quick, uh, you've got to be a good wicket keeper behind the sticks. You've got to have your movements very quick. Again, very well played and very well responded by the non-striker. It's, it's, you know, quite easily when you take these quick singles right in front of your eyes and one batter can hesitate and that, you know, it's all curtains after that. But uh, nice to see these two are having good chemistry between uh, them and uh, suddenly the fielders are under a lot of pressure. Yeah, exactly. You've got to have a good understanding running between the wickets. Got to respond to your opponent's call. That's nicely played. Get another quick single. That's exactly what they got to do. Get those singles and the twos. Bhadu Pashana has a long spell. This is his 13th over. 
most of them bowl after lunch. So Peter's been put into bat at 239 for six. We're in the 56th over. One more delivery remaining in this over after that four overs remaining for their innings to come to an end. Nicely worked away again. They get a single. End of over number 56. It's 240 for six, St. Peter's. Gold hair and body wash shaker. Kiri Atir is superior. So 240 for 6, 4 overs to go, those who have just joined us, St. Peter's, St. Peter's were invited to bat first this morning by St. Joseph's skipper, whether it's a correct call or not Polly, we'll probably see at the end of the day really, this wicket has got better and better and uh, it'll it'll stay the same it's not going to deteriorate much and um, it's pretty hard work especially for the spinner there's not a lot of turn you're going to get some bounce but outfield is lightning quick well, yes company but i thought the josephians missed a trick early in the day they didn't attack they were on the defensive they got they were thinking of bowling dot ball after dot ball that was not going to happen that's why the beat runs were given up to a good start, 108 run opening stand, but the Josephine should have been attacking a bit more. Yeah, I think it has been spoken by many during the day today that Josephians got into a bit of a shell, didn't they? Uh, that's a fantastic shot again. A boundary. This is a handy little innings, this from Nathan. He played some very good cricketing shots, Garmini. Didn't go for big swings. Just watched the ball into his bat. Nicely put away. Yeah, like I said, he's not the biggest batter you'll ever see, but you know, he's got good enough feet and good enough hands, so he's playing the field. Playing a lot of helping shots, using the speed of the ball. Both these spinners uh, from uh, St. Joseph's, Yenula and uh, Lairu, they're darting in. That's the first time we've seen an unorthodox shot from uh, Nathan. In the sense, um, from wide out to the off stump, he was looking to heave it towards mid wicket. Straight away, the mid wicket fielder drops back to the fence. This time he was going to go up and over, extra cover. Just got the inside part of the bat. So, 246 now, Polly. 265, 270. You know, runs on the board end of the day, don't they? Uh -huh. Definitely, if they get 270, that's going to be a definitely a good score for 60 overs. And if the Josephian lose a couple of early wickets, then they're definitely going to be under real pressure. Because the Josephian two top order batters, Hiran Chasundara and Hirun Kapur Bandara, the main uh, stage of the Josephian innings. They got to get some runs. In fact, uh, Hiran and Chasundara, the only Josephian to score two double hundreds. I was told that uh He's the only batter ever to score two double hundreds in schools cricket. Well, possibly yes. But he got a 200 against Royal last year and 200 oh, against Trinity, oh, two oh, of the good schools this day. And that's an LPW given out. So that's the end of Nathan David. Well, he played a wonderful innings, no doubt about that. 
He's gone for 35. Yeah, to play that reverse sweep or the um, switch hit, you need to get into position very early. He was fractionally late. It's, it, it comes with that premeditated category, that shot. But uh, like you mentioned, uh, Nathan David, gem of an innings from where they were, the uh, Peter Wrights, 190 odd for six, 35 of 46. Nice little contribution. St. Peter's, 247 for 7. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z? Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the Digital Youth Account, NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. New batter Joshua Sebastian, uh, top score of 70, average 20 plus. So he could bat 50 partnership for that uh, seventh wicket. Gave uh, the Pete Wrights uh, a lot of respectability. Uh, definitely, Harita, I think one of the most uh, crucial uh, partnerships in this entire game, uh, where we saw St. Peter's uh, dipping down. I think they rescued, I think a lot of credit should go to Nathan, the youngster. The partnership uh, produced uh, 50 runs and uh, most of them very well run, good understanding between them. They, they had almost uh, a runner ball attitude which was very encouraging to see the direct result of uh, the overs restriction of 60 overs in the first innings that uh, provided that uh, enthusiasm for the batters when the captain and the vice captain simply threw their wickets away this is a splendid recovery from the rest of the team yeah, definitely one of the best recoveries I think they had in the entire season uh, could be Harita. Another loud shout there for leg before. And the last three wickets uh, have been claimed by Yenula Devutusa. Who's also held on to two catchers. So he's had a tremendous uh, outing on the field for the Joes. So it's good to see how uh, St. Peter's will end up uh, their innings. Few more overs to go. Oh, he got that one. Played across the line. That's good cricket. And a beautiful way to get the 250 mark on the board. Uh, Harita definitely a great uh, cross batter shot. Uh, went right across and uh, got the end result which uh, St. Peter's uh, Wanted and that's Joshua, the 16 year old. Uh, very uh, useful looking player. We'll see a lot of him uh, from this commentary box in the coming years to come. Uh, Harita. Yeah, he seems uh, a fairly strong lad for a 16 year old. Again into the gap. This time uh, behind square. Couple of boundaries. This is what they need. To get to that 260 mark, anything else could be good. Yes, and again it's uh, from the bat of Nathan, uh, from the bat of uh, Joshua, Sebastian. So, eight runs for him uh, in three balls. Stiff, stiff breeze uh, blowing across the ground from west to north, which is uh, very good to go. The 
the light is good and um, the excitement is there crowds have come he definitely the crowds have come in their numbers and increasing and uh, good bowling so it's wide a wide team. but it was good bowling we saw joshua come out that's uh, the third victim for hiran jasundar the wicket keeper yes uh, you can't blame joshua that's what he had to do a few more overs to go and uh, he just came down the track and uh, a wide delivery bahu in result was a wicket been stumped uh, and uh, one more run adding to the petri total making it 256 for the loss of seven uh, two more deliveries to go in this over chili chili rasa ka mai to mix ka hita ka sanava chili to rasa yen kollu kellu the spice of sanava hadu madina alut to maki savory rasa ya chili to biscuits Welcome back to the CC. we are waiting uh, the new batter to come for st peters as a this this selva well he has um, done well with the top score of 89 700 plus runs see that average oh, almost 34 and again 70 year, 17 years of age So some good youngsters uh, down the line uh, for St Peter's uh, Haridha. Yeah, just take a look at him. For a 17 year old, he's tall, he's strong. Another couple of left-handers out in the middle. Yeah, a string of left-handers. Uh, Haridha nice to see. But uh, to maintain the combination of a left and right hand I think is very difficult for the Peter Rides. Field is running all over the place. They'll be looking at 265 minimum. It's really humid outside, Harita. Yeah, just just take a look at uh, Iran Jasundara. Yeah, he will eventually end up keeping well outside the line of off stump. The batter should be smart enough to know that. Two dot balls. That's well bowled. To end uh, over number fifty-eight, uh, Pete writes, put into bat two hundred fifty-seven for eight. The Papare team uh, is a very professional uh, outfit. Uh, they have uh, planned well, executed well. They have uh, people at uh, very, very important uh, functions who are very experienced. They have worked as a team together, and uh, their commitment and uh, their execution of uh, the live coverage aspect has been uh, commended. the world over that's why the papare coverages are always at the forefront and why they are sri lanka's number one sports hub indeed harita amazing team a very young team who brought sports in sri lanka to the next level i remember still uh, how they started uh, maybe with two cameras before a long time back and yeah it all started at the royal tomian today they are a big force and giving an example not only to sri lankan sports but to international sports uh, seeing some uh, individuals uh, going international level today it's amazing and proud to be a sri lankans everybody is contributing ishira ayupala has played a key role with the late order 
Uh, Asad is a Tejan and De Silva. Can he get one over? That's good. That's the way to get about. Your sensible batting. Uh, true, it's only a few more deliveries to go. But uh, same way, after losing eight wickets now, I think uh, St. Peter's should try uh, to go past uh, 275 if possible. Some good blows can help them get there. Three wickets for Madhubhashan, three wickets for Devutusa, three victims for Jasundara. But uh, St. Peter's have uh, been competitive enough. I think this uh, is a de decent total, especially when you consider that uh, Vishen Halambage and Rusanda Gamage contributed only 12 runs. Amongst them. Definitely, Haritha. Indeed, a super performance by the Pete Wrights. The first uh, session uh, belonged to them. Then, just after lunch, the Josephians gave a very strong comeback. But that 50 run partnership where Nathan uh, contributed 35 really pulled things back for the Pete Wrights. So, I think they will be very happy where they are now. That's what I was looking for. He won't clear the field uh, straight down uh, the throat of uh, Long On. It's a comfortable catch uh, for Dinuk, I would believe. Dunik, Dunik Pereira. I thought it was him. It's a fourth wicket for Yenula Devutu, sir. Mishira Ayupala looking to clear the Long On boundary won't do that nevertheless uh, he made his contribution a quick fire 20 so 263 for nine now st peters with their last uh, two batsmen to play the last uh, over where it comes to the compulsory declaration after 60 overs the format of this game Yes, a very, uh, very valid 20 there by Ishira. Nice knock. Gave good company to Nathan, who got 35. Rithil is the new batsman in. Yeah. Rithil Suravira, 13 games, 18 innings, 169 runs. Average in 17 with a strike rate of 37.23. Best score of 21, a 19 year old. Uh, mainly a bowler. St. Peter's uh, batting their last over before their compulsory uh, declaration. So they will be very happy where they are right now. But if they can get uh, past that 270, would be another psychological barrier, Harita. For that, uh, they have to be careful. Last five balls, minimize the dot ball composition. Don't lose a wicket. Just gets a single. The field has been well, well spread. The thing to do right now, Josephians will try to minimize the runs as much as possible. Standout player has been uh, Yenudo Devutusa. Four wickets, two catchers. He's fielded well, he's bowled well. Well supported by Manasa Madhubhashana, who is bowling. He's got three. Maybe he can uh, chip in with four with this last wicket. Another dot ball. That's what they need. You can get a psychological advantage. You don't let uh, the opposition uh, hit you for a boundary. Yeah, that's what St. Joseph's need and that's what St. Peter's don't want. Uh, last three deliveries. So three more deliveries left. The last pair in for St. Peter's, 264 for nine. 
Ah. Oh. He's off the mark too. Suravira. Two sixty five is there. So two more deliveries to go, Harita. For the first session uh, to end. What do you think the weather will be like in the evening, Harita? Uh, I thought initially it will get dark, but I get the feeling we can go up till five thirty. Oh well, hit. It should. Uh, get that run very easily as uh, Amrasekar comes in feels Amrasekar wicketless Josephian skipper as a this uh, bat to ball okay will they go for a single will they Lose the wicket. All boundary. Out of six. Rithil Suravira. Be imaginative. I told you, be imaginative. They got to 270 with that last ball boundary. Rithil Suravira, well done. Really well done, uh, Harita. Amazing stroke. He was really innovative because everyone thought he would try to go over the top, but he really beautifully placed that one and uh, got a very, very important boundary for the Pete Wrights. And uh, St. Peter's move up to 270 for nine as they are compelled to declare as per the rules of the game. So, Harita, I think a challenging score posted by the Pete Wrights in tough conditions being put into bat first. Everyone thought it was a Good toss to win. Everyone thought it was the one of the best toss to win. Yeah, I think uh, I maintained that it was a good toss to lose to. Um, I think St. Peter's, uh, in the end, would be very happy with uh, what they've got here. Um, almost um, four, four and a half runs and over. And T will be taken according, according to that. The entire ground staff is out in the middle, led by um, KG Kamalsari, the head groundsman, under the watchful eyes of Mahesh Bopage, the ground manager. The ground secretary is Mind the Halangoda. He is not here. He is with the national team in Bangladesh. So the work is being overlooked by Samantha Dodangwala, who is a SSC member and uh, chairman of uh, Sri Lanka Cricket Tournament Committee. Discussion. Uh, by the Josephians, they know it. this is a challenging total uh, by the Patriots after being sent into bat. But um, it is a situation where you have 45 overs remaining for the day. Even if you go at three runs and over, that's a lot of runs to be made for the rest of the day, provided the weather stays fine. I think uh, play will go on till 5:30 without any problem. I hope. Yeah, let's all hope for that. So it has been a super first session, and St. Joseph spending a lot of time for a team discussion in the centre. Uh, See, after. in the in this session, 25 overs after lunch, 120 runs, six wickets lost. That's uh, 4.8 uh, run rate maintained, which is uh, a lot of good cricket uh, after lunch. Yeah, definitely. After losing a couple of wickets, uh, two chances being dropped. Uh, I think St. Peter's will be very happy where they are today and uh, now it's up to St. Joseph to come and uh, put a bold performance, build a challenge and uh, keep the Patriots on uh, their toes. It's very interesting to see how St. Peter's will uh, attack and how they will start the session. You could see the uh, sky is clearing up a lot. That's the Pete Wright innings, uh, helped by a 108 run uh, partnership for the first week at uh, Dilana Damsara. He was a little bit lucky, but richly deserving century for him. Uh, Owen Salgado, 46. Um, and uh, Nathan uh, David, uh, 35. And Ishira Ayupala, 20 at the bottom. Um, 
scored the runs and gave Peter Wright's uh, a hill the first innings total. 14 extras. The big disappointment, Vishen Halamage and uh, Rusan the Gamage, the captain and vice captain uh, at the top of the order. Shannon Rodrigo, I thought uh, was too hasty. He made 14, should have batted on well. Lashmika Pereira, 9. And um, Joshua Sebastian, uh, two hits to the ropes to get to 8. Asadisa Tejana and Rithil Suravira, unbeaten on 4 and 5 respectively at the end of 60 overs. The maximum number of overs permitted in this big match for the first innings. Yeah, the Joes bowling. Pick of them, Yenula Devtu is a 4 for 74, did a lot of overs, 18. Manasa Madhubashan a 3 for 68, good support role of 15. Lairu Amarasekar bowled 17 overs, none for 67, he will be disappointed with that. And um, Abhisha Samash is a little bit expensive, but 1 for 22. He took that uh, important wicket at a, at a crucial stage. And the top three bowlers, Dunik. Uh, um, Pereira, Dinuk Serasinghe and Lahiru Amarasekar are going wicketless. A little bit uh, surprising under the circumstances. That uh, 50 run partnership for the 7th wicket really resurrecting uh, St. Peter's to this healthy total of 279. After the lunch break there was some exciting play with uh, Thumbs yeah. around 74 and uh, Rodrigo on 12 coming out to the middle. Yeah, that was the wicket of Rodrigo and then we have some cracking batting and some chances uh, which was taken and some chances which went to begging and but some all-round super cricket uh, by the Pete Wright batters. Uh, whenever they got opportunity they got on to that and just made sure that the Josephians pay for it but must give credit to the Josephian feelers as well this was that wonderful century which came during uh, tough conditions gave a good start and uh, finally that was the wicket that Josephians was waiting for and they thought they had uh, the pit rides down for two around 210 to 22 but then came this partnership which uh, took them by surprise with uh, Nathan making 35. Yeah, he batted very well. He left his crease uh, the first given opportunity. He played uh, those sort of paddle shots that unsettled the bowlers. And uh, the running between wickets between uh, Ayupala and uh, certainly David was a treat to watch. Definitely. They really changed gears. Uh, uh, for the Pete Wright's uh, running between wickets because I thought before that uh, the Pete Wright batters could have done better running between because I think they lost a few runs also by not making those singles and then we saw that uh, swing and uh, miss with the wide delivery and that was another wicket and that was that cracker of a uh, boundary that ended the innings which got St. Peter's cross the 270 mark Harita. Yeah, I think uh, that was uh, very useful when you think uh, of the psychological aspect of it. Um, session 2 for the Joes because they picked up uh, 6 wickets uh, during that uh, session uh, in 25 overs but they did concede uh, a fair amount of runs too. Yeah, some beautiful stats here by the Papere team like they always do. So, so equally balanced uh, session and then uh, the session shared. So now the final session. Yes, uh, it's a long session. 45 overs will have to be bowled after the tea break. Uh, and uh, the Joes, they have a strong batting line up there. Top order has scored runs and uh, the Petroids will be uh, looking to contain them. 45 overs out of 60 is uh, two thirds of the number of overs to be bowled today. I don't know whether all the overs could be bowled. Uh, play can go up till six o'clock. We'll take a break and uh, when uh, Joe's come out uh, to bat uh, after the tea break, we'll be with you.
ಉದ್ವೇಗೇನ್ ಪಿರೋನು ತರಂಗ ಹೆತ್ತೆ ಹತರಾಕ್ ಲೋವಟ ಸುಪಿರಿ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ತರು ಪಿರಿ ಕಂಡಾಯಂ ದಹಾಯ ಇಕ್ಕಮ ಕುಸಲಾಣೆಯ ಮೇವರ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ತರಗಾವಲಿಯೇ ಜಯಗ್ರಹಣೆಯ ಕೌರು ನಿಮಿಕರ ಗಣಿವಿದ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ವಿತಿನ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯಮ ನರಬಾಂಡ ರುಪಿಯಾಲ್ ದೇಸಿ ಹತಲಿಸ್ ನವಯಕತ ಸುವಿಶೇಷಿ ದೀಮನಾವಾಕ್ ಮೆಮ ದೀಮನಾವ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕರ ನೋಬಟ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯ ವಗೇಮ ತವಾತ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ತರಂಗ ರಸಾಕ್ ನರಬಾಂಡ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪಹಾಕ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕಿರೇಮ ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಮೈ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಆಪ್ ಮಗೇನ್ Дайте крупний план. Ніно, в тебе все добре? Ти якась зелена. Гремер, подивись, в тебе зірка зелена. Ой, ти не треба нікому нічого казати. Я сама чудово з усім справлюсь. Що передачу закриють? Ні, ти що зачем? Марагатта меде марагана. ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ದಿನ ಅಹಮದೇ ಮುಗರ್ನೇ ನಂಬರ್ 1 ಹಿಟಪು ಟೀಮ್ ಮೇಟ ಟಿ20 ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ತೊಂದ ಬಿಂದು ಅಗ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಐತಿ ಸೀರಿಸ್ ಸೇಕ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಕರ ತನ್ನ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅದ ಕೋಚ್ ಕಿ ವಾನ್ ಲಿಸ್ ಐಗೋ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಗಾನೇ ಸ್ಪಿನ್ ಗದ ಅಮಗೆ ತಾತ್ತ 3 ವೀಲ್ ರೀದರೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಗೆದರೆ ಹಿಟಿ ತೊರ ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಪೊಡಿ 3 ವೀಲ್ ಲಕ ದೂನ ರಕ್ಯಾ ವಕ್ಕರ ಮನುಸೆ ಕಿದಿಯಟ್ ನಿಮೆ ಸಲಕುವೆ ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇ ಅನೌನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಲ ಪೆನ್ ನ ಪೆನ್ ಹೋ ಪಾರ ಅತ ಕಡುನ ಹೆವಿಲ್ ಮೇ ವಿಡಿನ್ ಗೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಮಾರ್ ಬೇಸ್ಲ ಇನ್ನೋ ಬ್ರಾಂಡು ಇನ್ನೋ ಅಣಂ ಅಣಂ ಹೇಮ ಏತ್ ಅರ ಮಿತನದಿ ಗುಸಲ್ ಸದೀರ ಕಾಪಿ ಕಟ್ಟಿಯಮ ಮಾರ್ ಯಾಲು ಟಿ ಅಕ್ಕ ಮಮ್ಮ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಕೆ ಅಕ್ಕರ ಅವನತ್ ಅಡ ಬಣಿನ್ನೆ ಮುತ್ಕಾ ನೆನ್ನೆ ಯಾಲ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ವಲಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಕ ದೇವಲ್ ಕೀಲ ಎತ್ತನ ಏಕಾಲಿ ನೆ ಅಪಿಟ್ ನೆತಿ ಒಂದ ತಿಬ್ಬಿ ನೆ ಅಪಿಟ್ ತಿಬ್ಬಿ ದೆ ಲಬಾ ಗಾನ ಇದರ ಅಪಿ ಇದಿ ಗೆ ದೆ ಲಬಾ ಗತ್ರ ಬಸೆ ಇನಿ ಸುಂಡ ಓನ ದೆ ಹಮೋ ಕಿಯನ ಬುಳ ಏಕ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ದೆ ನೆ ಅದ ದೆನ ಗಮ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ನೆ ಮಗೆ ಪೇಜ್ ಗೆ ತರ ಇದಿ ಮೆಚ್ಚ ಗಿಡ ಬೆಸ್ ಮೈ ಗುಡ್ಡ ಕಟ್ಟ ವೆಡಿ ಮಂ ಕೀವನ ಗುಡ್ಡ ಮಗೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಆಯ್ತು ಅತ್ತ ಈಗ ದಿನ ತರುಣ ಕಾಲ ಕೆಪ ಕರ ಮಂಗ ಮರಣ ತುರ ಆಯ್ತು ಮಂ ಇದೇ ಇಷ್ಟ ಕರ ಆಯ್ ಭುವನ್ ನೊದಟು ಮಿನಿಸ ಓಹು ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ತುಲ ಇನ್ನ ದಾಕ್ಷ ಕಡುಲು ರಕಿನ್ನೆಕ್ ದಾಕ್ಷ ಪಿತಿ ಕರುವೆಕ್ ಇತಾಮ ಕೂಡ ಕಾಲಿಕಿನ್ ವಿಶಾಲ ಜನಪ್ರಿಯತ್ತ ಲಗಾ ಕರಗಾತು ಕ್ರೀಡಕೆ ಅದ ಅಪೇ ನೊದಟು ಮಿನಿಸ ವಿನೋದ್ ಭಾನುಕ ಆಯ್ ಭಾನ್ ವಿನೋದ್ ಆಯ್ ಭಾನ್ ಇದಿಂಗ್ ಮೇದಾಸಲ ಮುನಾದ ಇಮಿನ್ ತೀನ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಇಸಲ್ಲಮ ಆಗೇನ ಅಪಿ ವೆಡಿಟ ಐ ಮೇದಾಸಲ ದೆಂಗ್ ಡೊಮೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಟೂರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ಪಟಂಗನ ತೀನೋ 3 ಡೇ ಟೂರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ಏಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ದೆಂಗ್ ಹತರಕ್ ಕ್ಯೂರೈ ಇಲ ಹೆಟ ಮೇ ಹೆಟ ತಾವ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಪಟಂಗನ ಏ ಮ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ಟಿಗೆ ತಾವ ಮೇದಾಸ ಓ ವಿನೋದ್ ದನ್ನ ಇದನ್ನ ಐ ತಿಂಗ್ ದಾಕ್ಷ ಕಡಲು ರಕಿನ್ನೆ ದಾಕ್ಷ ಪೇತಿಕರು ಏಕೆ ವಗೇಮ ಕಾಲಕ್ಕೆ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಟಿಕಾಕ್ ಪಲ್ಯ ತತ್ತಿಗೆ ತಿದ್ದಿ ಈಟ ಟಿಕಾಕ್ ಜವೇಕ್ ದಿಬು ಕಡಲು ರಕಿನ್ನೆ ಮುಲಿನು ಮಡೆ ಇತ್ತು ಏಗೆ ನಾ ಹಣ್ಣು ದೆನ್ ಒಬ್ಬ ಕಾಂಡಾಯಮ ಟೆನ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ಕಾಂಡಾಯಮ ಟಿಕಾಕ್ ವೆಟಿ ಲ ತಿವೋನಿ ಮೇ ವೆನ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ಆಸಿಯಾನ ಕುಸಲ ಜಾಗ್ರಹಣೆ ಕರಲ ತೀನ ಐತಿ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ ಕಾಂಡಾಯಮ ಇತಿ ಏಕಾಲೆ ವೆದ್ದಿ ಮೊನೋಗಿ ತತ್ತೆ ಆಗ ತಿಬುನೆ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಗಾರ್ಯ ಎತುಲೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಕಾಂಡಾಯಮ ಟ ಅಳುತೆ ಎಂಗೆನ್ನೆ ಮೊನೋಗಿ ಪೀಡನೆ ಆಗ ತಿಬುನೆ ಓ ಎತ್ತರ ಮೈ ಮೇ ಏಕಾಲೆ ಕಾಂಡಾಯ ಮೇ ಹಿಟಪು ಏ ದಸುನ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಏ ವಗೆ ಮದ ಆಸಿಯಾನ ಕುಸಲಾನೆ ಜಾಗ್ರಾನೆ ಕರಪು ಕಾಂಡಾಯ ಮೇ ಸಿಗಟ ಅನುವಾಕ್ ವಗೆ ಮ ಏ ಕಾಂಡಾಯ ಮೇ ತಿಟಿಯ ತಿಂಗ್ ಮಟ ಇದಿ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಲೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಂ ಕರಲ ತಿಬ್ಬ ಗಟ್ಟಿ ಮದ ಮೈ ಹಿಟಿ ಏ ಕೇಸ ಇದಿ ಅರ ರಕು ವೆನಸ ತೇರುನ್ ನೆ ಏ ಬೇ ಬೇ ಪೊಡಿ ಪೀಡನೆ ಅತ್ ತಿಬ್ಬ ಮುಕದ ಜಾತಿ ಕಂಡಾಯ ಮೇ ನಿಯೋಜನೆ ಕಾನ ಲೆ ಲೆಬುನ ಪಲನೆ ವಸ್ತಾವ ಇತಿ ಏ ಕಾಲೆ ಮಟ್
ඊට පස්සේ ජෝස වාසේ 2008 දී දීර සුරිස දැකලා මල්ලි දෙ 13 ඉන් පාලා පුණු කරු දැකලා අපේ ජෝස වාසේ ඊට පුණු කරු අනිල් සර් එක්ක කතා කරලා මාව ඉල්ලුවා ක්‍රිකට් වලට ඊට පස්සේ තමයි මම මල්ලි දෙ Uh, from uh, the SSC grounds here in Colombo we're at the, the 90th uh, battle of the saints uh, between uh, St. St Joseph's College and uh, St uh, Peter's College uh, first two sessions uh, well and truly keeps this game uh, in a balance as uh, you see uh, the Pete Wright uh, batting card top scores uh, from uh, the opener Dilian Adams sir 103 from 151 deliveries and uh, his partner in uh, the opening uh, pair Ovin uh, Salgado 46 of 79 delivery supported him uh, very well and uh, not much to speak of about the other batsmen except uh, for Nathan David who uh, came out on top and uh, played a brilliant knock uh, down the order and uh, the pick of the bowlers uh, for the Josephians will be the season campaigner Yenula Devathu is a 4 for 74 in his uh, 18 overs and uh, Manan Samadubhasan a 3 for 68 And Avisha Samas just a solid here. We got a one for twenty-two. And uh, the biggest surprise is uh, Lairu Amra Sekar, a skip off St Joseph's, goes uh, wicketless in uh, that first innings. And the two openers uh, from St Joseph's, uh, guided uh, from uh, the prefects, have walked uh, to the middle. A big score. ahead for them speed rights have uh, put on a mammoth score of uh, 270 inside their 60 overs 270 for 9 uh, josephians uh, will be in uh, some bit of pressure the openers are uh, for uh, josephians uh, will be uh, Abhishek Jayavira Jayavira will be uh, the non striker. And uh, to start off uh, with the new ball it uh, looks like it will be uh, the experienced uh, Shannon Rodrigo. He is uh, been among the other wickets uh, for uh, the Petrites. Skipper Vishen Halamage going in uh, for his trump card straight away with the new ball. Here we go as uh, Shannon Rodrigo gets things off for this second innings and uh, the last session of uh, this uh, day one of the 90th Battle of the Saints and uh, so well and truly will want to get a good start here. We tried openers put on 108 run mammoth total mammoth partnership up front to put the pressure on uh, Josephians as. Uh, to so uh, get things underway Shannon Rodrigo left a mother dog sir 13 matches 66 wickets highest wicket taker from uh, the Peter Wright uh, outfit a best of a uh, 6 for 39 and uh, that economy rate of 2.71 is uh, quite impressive A lot will be expected uh, from uh, the Pete Wright camp that uh, Shannon Rodrigo can uh, get the Pete Wright's early breakthroughs as he's been given the new ball. Yeah, the Pete Wrights are playing with uh, four spinners and two seamers and not a surprise that they've started off with the spinner. This session is very important for St. Joseph's College. especially the likes of uh, Abhishek Jayavira and Avish Samash the two youngsters opening the batting for St Joseph's Now they got a penalty and Chana 
Beautifully swept there from Javier. Good bit of fielding, just a single. Left hand, right hand combination. Top of the order for the Josephians. Right hand, Avisha Samash. Got that first wicket in the beat red innings. Bold Salgadu. Yeah, Samash is highly regarded as a future star for St. Joseph's College. This is good running between the wickets from Samash and Jai Veera. End of Shannon Rodrigo's first over. St. Joseph's 4 for none. Z? Z, Z. We KYC. Easy. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Easy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Heels crest nine sausage. The bite. Right, uh, from uh, the tennis court end, it will lo looks like it's uh, Joshua who will uh, be uh, handed uh, to share the new ball with uh, Shannon Rodrigo. So they cut away to that uh, point fielder, run away for a single. So uh, good running between the wickets. Uh, the opening stages of uh, this uh, just a few innings, as you see, uh, Avisha Samash, nine matches, uh, 278 uh, runs in the season, best score of uh, 96. Yet to get to that three figure mark, the youngster just uh, 16 years old, long uh, way ahead in his uh, school career. Avisha Samash, Nathan David up to the stumps uh, for uh, the fast bowler as well, medium fast, uh, you can see. Uh, joining me in the com box to uh, take you through. First half an hour of this uh, last session is uh, Garmini. Good evening, Garmini. Hello, Rashman. Hello, everyone. Perfect conditions for batting. I know it's during the um, year the school uh, cricket, uh, Rashman, out of the first 18 overs. 12 overs have to be from the fast bowlers, but I don't think that is applicable for this match, is it? So I don't think because it's a 60 over, restricted to 60 overs. But uh, as of I heard uh, that it is uh, mandatory to bowl uh, 8 overs of uh, pace up front uh, in that opening 12 overs. The Treads have gone uh, with uh, the Trump card, Shen and Rodrigo from the other end. It's a hint of sh movement away from the right hand for Joshua. We could keep his up to the storms. Yeah, what the Pete Wright needs to do here, uh, Rishman, is that the 206, 270 runs, that's a lot of runs. Abhishek Jayavira is a centurion this year. Again, a bit of shape into the left hand. One thing I know is that uh, Josephians are not going to die wandering. They, they are naturally good stroke makers and um, both these uh, batters, Abhishek and Avisha, we like these conditions, uh, Reshwan. Ball is coming onto the bat. A little bit of moisture that was there in the morning that has disappeared now. So. 
It's an easy pace wicket. Oh, there is a chance and he's gone. He was in two minds whether to have a go at it or not. Or to shoulder it, uh, his arms. And caught the outside edge. And that's a good catch. When the wicket keeper is up to the stumps. It's not the easiest thing for the first slip to watch the ball all the way. Wow, ball caught the field there, didn't <laughs> Yes, uh, sharp work coming in uh, from uh, Lashmika Pereira. St. Joseph's a loser. They are first as Avisha Samash takes the long walk back to the pavilion after scoring four of seven as St. Joseph's uh, inside. Two overs, uh, seven for one. He's been a popular event in the bar. That's because he's sicker than a bar. Six so wooden at the bar. Hot and spicy puppies in a bar. Prima, good to me. Fanta mai. Walks to the middle, uh, Hirun Kapur Bandara. Under 19 uh, national cap. Uh, didn't uh, have a much uh, play during this uh, school season. 8 matches, 11 innings, 310 runs. The average of 28.18 and a best score of 91. And a lot will be expected uh, from uh, the Josephian camp uh, from Hirun Kapur Bandara. Side losing an early wicket. Yeah, this is something that I still try to figure out. You got 270 runs on the board. You picked up an early wicket. And there is not a single fielder to check the batter's defensive skills in front. Yes, we tried, sir. We would like to see some fielders under the lid. Short leg, maybe a silly point to put some uh, pressure on. Uh, Abhishek Chaivira. Some dark clouds hovering uh, the SSC uh, above us. Yeah, they're pretty high though. I don't think there's any uh, immediate threat of rain. Certainly the sun has disappeared. Shannon Rodrigo is very similar to Yenula from uh, St. Joseph's. He's not a big turner of the ball. Now four balls, dot balls, now the mid-on goes back to the fence. This is not a limited over match. So they are looking to um, obviously contain the batter rather than having a red hot crack at him. Round the wicket this time. Nearly yoked himself. Seven for one. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Joshua, the wicket taker, will uh, continue from uh, the tennis court end. Iron Kapur Bandara yet to face of delivery. Made no coming in uh, from Rodrigo. There you are, Rishwan, one of your college mates. He is expecting rain. He's putting the rain dance. That time of uh, the day where the party begins uh, in the tents as uh, Kapuru Bandara pushes one to that point region uh, and crosses over for a quick single to get off his mark. A lot will be expected uh, from this pair in the middle. Early wicket of Samash has uh, put uh, Josephians uh, in the back foot.
Yeah, certainly over the last 15 minutes or so, it just got darker. Suddenly it looks gloomy. I don't think any of these two teams uh, wants to have any stoppages, even for the crowd who have come in numbers today to watch this encounter. Certainly we've got an intriguing battle on display. Pete Wright getting 270. Now they've got an early breakthrough. Sheikh Jai with a sweet timer of the cricket ball, so he will want to uh, get his uh, groove back. It's 3 of 13, it's been a, a good start uh, from uh, the Pete Wright bowlers. Nathan David uh, behind the wickets. Uh, telling and a wayward delivery coming in uh, from uh, Joshua. That's uh, the very first uh, bad delivery in this innings. Uh, as by is given as well. And also, when you're having that kind of movement in the air, I think you'll be a lot more dangerous if you come from over the wicket. So your release will come away from you and then swing it into the right uh, left hander's pads. Here it's one dimensional. It's just going to slant in towards the pads. But at some point in time, if Joshua can switch the angles, that will give a few headaches to the uh, left-handed Abhishek. And uh, dot ball uh, to end uh, the fourth over. St. Joseph's in reply, uh, 12 for the loss of one wicket. Spin to continue uh, from uh, the Vidya Mouth end as Shannon Rodrigo. First delivery uh, to the right hand. He will uh, like to have a ball at uh, the right hand as uh, Shannon Rodrigo. He can uh, create uh, some menace. The most vulnerable time for a batter, Rishwan, is when he, as you come in and just after a break. When you resume from a break, that's been swept in front. Got enough bat on that one. Hirun Kapur Bandara's first boundary. Pitching around that leg stump, but showed very good technique. Hands coming down high to low. Head coming forward. Beautiful shot coming in uh, from Kapur Bandara. To give him a whole heap of confidence. Don't bother running for that. Half volley from uh, Rodrigo. And Kapur Bandar is a genuinely class act. He's not going to miss out on these half volleys. He's got me. He's uh, an under international cap as well. Experience uh, is backing him and he's uh, on to a good start here. Taking the attack uh, to uh, Rodrigo. A 
quick single uh, to end uh, Shannon Rodrigo's uh, third over as uh, St. Joseph's in reply uh, 21 for 1 after 5. Introducing Sri Lanka's biggest Google TV collection from Singa. Endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore. Millions of shows, movies and games plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place. Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa. Joshua to continue. It's again driven away for a single. Pandara getting on with the things they need to uh, score faster. They need to get up uh, to 270 in uh, 60 overs. He tried to have put on a big score on the board earlier up. After asked, after losing the toss and being put in, I think they'll be really happy, Garmini, with the score that uh, they have uh, put on the score board 270. Yeah, they would have taken that uh, at the start of the innings, 270. I think Josephians contributed to that as well, to some sort of degree. They didn't attack really, they ruled the chance of using that wicket very early when there was a bit of moisture on it. But they've got 270. Now they need to um, try and take control of the game, the Peter Wrights. 270, like you said, a lot of runs. Whether it's 60 overs or this time works off his hips. Yeah, you know, obviously the two senior batters from Pete Wrights didn't fire, did they? So the others had to work around that brilliant hundred from. Uh, Damsara, but the Josephians will be relying heavily on this man who's on strike here and Hiran. Yes, they are the backbone of uh, this batting lineup. They will have to fire, as you said, and it was uh, kudos uh, to uh, the Pete Wright batsman after seeing their senior statesman. Uh, not being able uh, to put on the runs. Uh, they all uh, batted around uh, Dilna Damsar and supported him well to go on and put up uh, a good score on the board. At the moment it's easy pickings for these two batters. A bit right bowlers have got their angles wrong. They need to be a bit more proactive now that they've got the runs on the board. 25 for 1. The road is yours. So it's going to be Vishen Halamage to come from Vidya Mahavathan. Sri Lanka tour of Bangladesh. You can live uh, watch the live action on uh, Dialog TV channel number 63 live on uh, the Papara TV. Day 1, uh, session 2, Sri Lanka 259 for 5. From uh, Kamala Mendes, 102 not out. And uh, skipper Dananja De Silva, 98, not out. A good recovery from uh, the Lions uh, down in uh, Silet. And uh, kudos to Carmen the Mendes as well, getting a century. It's a maiden uh, test century. He's having a good time uh, in uh, the Sri Lanka colors as uh, Sri Lanka have uh, steadied their innings. And uh, skipper Ovishan Halamage brings himself into the attack. Yeah, he comes under the wrist spinners category, but he's also another bowler who gets a lot of overspin rather than side spin. So his ball is just going to slant 
away from that left hand as off stump. They've got a first slip in place. But apart from that, it's a pretty conventional defensive field, really. Only two fielders on the leg side. Like I said, for a wrist spinner, normally you would find a lot of fielders towards the turning side, which is the on side for the left-hander. But it's the, it's the other way around. He, he's like a, it's a bit more like a skidding type, isn't he? Um, Halambage. So you need to keep your front pad away if you're a right-hander. Yes, Garmini. Let's keep a Halambage here. We want to uh, continue the good work uh, done by uh, Rodrigo. But after that expensive over from Rodrigo, when uh, Kapur Bandar took uh, Shannon Rodrigo for a couple of boundaries in that over. So, as skipper Halam again makes himself on. Uh, drives it once again uh, to that uh, long of region. Uh, Kapra Bandara for another single. The light has surely improved uh, down here in SSC uh, Garmini. But the sun uh, is uh, still trying to creep uh, through the clouds. Appeal coming in uh, from Halamage and uh, the wicket keeper has uh, that uh, goes uh, to the fence uh, in that phase of play. As by call as well uh, from uh, umpire Vimala Siri. Very close call, I'll tell you. Wow. It's definitely the wrong length. It's too full. Did it pitch in line with the leg stump? Would have been the question that Ravin the Vimalasiri, the umpire, would have been asking from him. He's not the bowler that you can sweep easily. He's very quick through the air. Beat Abhishek outside the off stump. Nicely bowled. 31 for 1. Steady uh from the Josephians, uh, other than that uh, wicket of Avish Samash, much of uh, terrace coming in uh, from the bowlers to Abhishek Chaiveer and Hirun Kapur Bandar as Isuru Ayuapala has been brought into the attack, right arm pace, we like these conditions, a bit uh, gloomy, we will uh, Want to uh, swing that ball uh, around as uh, Kapur Bandar looks in uh, quite good nick. Looking good uh, for his 13 runs. This coverage brought to you by the Papare TV, powered by Dialogue. It's going right around the world, uh, Rishwan. A lot of uh, Pete Royce and Josephians have turned their screens on, and a uh, few of my mates are watching from down under. I can mention a few names Mario Rodrigo, Ross Bulgens, Seniviratna Brothers, Damien and Jetta. They're all watching. They're all um, very distinguished Pete Rights, Diane Holsinger. So with, from the outswinger, we've got an in-swinging bowler. Good 
good uh, warning changes coming in uh, from Bishan Alamigit. Attacking uh, changes. Taking uh, that wicket taker off. Me and I will in these conditions, uh, he will uh, fancy his uh, chances. Oh, well, for a moment, I thought that fielder at square leg was in. It didn't get up that high, it was a flat six. But got a good piece of that, of that one, didn't he, Hirun? That was a close call, Reshwan, I'll tell you. Fielder at deep square leg wasn't the tallest, but for a moment I thought, well, well, just travelling that quickly, he had to time it. He's got me standing to deliver stuff from a couple of Bandar, but his uh, heart would have been in his mouth till that ball uh, crossed away that boundary line. Kapur Bandar showing some aggression. 19 of 14. That's a beautiful extra cover drive. Out of the top draw that. Bowler did the right thing. After the previous delivery, when he dug in short, he went for the fuller line, fuller length rather. But the experienced batter like Hirun Kapur Bandar, he would have anticipated that. That's what he called being cricket smart, uh, Reshwan. Expecting that ball to be fuller and just pressing forward and beautiful presentation through the line the full face of the bat still the most delightful shot in cricket is that extra cover drive when you execute that i mean i'm from the left-handers club they look better than the right-handers but that that was out of the top draw wow that one didn't get up but got good that's that's oh brilliantly feel the but did he touch the line then you would have uh Technology uh, to see if that uh, touched the line. It's up to the player. Yeah, although we've got all all of these cameras, uh, they are not in play as far as the umpires are concerned. So, umpire will have to solely rely on his eye. Well, and the honest opinion of the field. Well, you are sitting on your couch. You decide. We will show you the pictures. That one. Uh, surprise delivery coming in now uh, from Mishra Ayapala. To end uh, quite an expensive over. A 12 run over comes to an end as. Uh, As uh, St. Joseph's after 8, uh, 43 for 1, and we have uh, uh, one of our co workers uh, down there with uh, the 2007 skipper Rajiv Veera Singer. We're here at the 90th Battle of the Saints, and with me I've got the senior Veera Singer brother who captained St. Joseph's College in the year 2007, uh, Rajiva Veera Singer. Rajiva, how is it to be back? Hi, um, good afternoon. So it's nice to come back uh, and witness this uh, Battle of the Sands uh, after about a decade and a half. Uh, so basically uh, most of the youngsters, I mean it's a Friday, so most of the young, you, you can see a lot of the school children are enjoying the game because probably it's the first time they are witnessing uh, Joe Pate for, uh, this is only actually, it's an annual event. So. Uh, from since school days, when we have this big match, when we start playing, uh, when we start the school season in September, we wait for this game for, for for more than like five months. So we prepare for this to beat the Peters. So <laughs> actually, uh, unfortunately, during my time, we couldn't win the big match. Uh, but one day, of course, it is different ball game. So uh, 50 over, you get a team who will win or lose. So, but. This two-day format also has changed uh, uh, since our, our, our era. Uh, it started uh, for, the, for, for, for the first innings, uh, 
per team only get 60 over so still uh, during our era because the teams were so tough during that time because they have a lot of uh, national players who are representing now and while we were playing um, uh, for college also I used to play for under 19 Sri Lanka along with me this are Dimut, Roshan and uh, Angie. Uh, so Angie and myself we were since we were playing since uh, grade 6 I think that is under since under 13 so those are all good memories back then and it's nice to come and see the small children playing actually they are very small to me now so it's nice to come back for a big match and witness this uh, game actually yeah so Rajiv as you said uh, it has been a decade and a half and uh, we see your teammates uh, represent the national team and how do you feel about it yeah i'm really happy about it um, because uh, they, they they started their career actually from college and then went on to their professional level to play club and now they have excelled uh, up to the national level so I can see a lot of people doing well and uh, Tisar of course is retired but he's in the other leagues uh, formats, his uh, T20 format he's doing well Angie of course yes so he's still playing he's old but he's still playing he's good fit and uh, glad to see him because uh, whenever there's a Sri Lanka match I go to watch because Angie is playing so it's something because I like to see him performing I like to see him playing so we are close in touch uh, before games and also uh, yeah that's I'm, I'm really happy about it and uh, Dimuth also he's in the test and mostly Dimuth we, I used to play for uh, I mean when he's playing for SSC we used to meet at games when last year I had to uh, play a game with Angie so it's nice being teammates since school days in under 19 level I have played club with Angelo also even in with Roshan so it's nice to uh, be against them also uh, I mean in club levels but now uh, this is uh, something uh, really uh, uh, I'm really privileged that uh, they are in the uh, national level and doing well uh, also for the country Rajiv a few words for the current team um I wish uh, Lahiru and uh, the team including the coach Rama just uh, go there play your natural game be positive about it and uh, actually keep the flag uh, flying and uh, get, get us some uh, glory to the college and just capital win that's it nice thank you Rajiv cheers and enjoy the game Forty-five for one. Josephians are going at five runs per over. I'll tell you what, Rishwan. After I mention some of my mates' names from down under, I'm going to get thrown some stones at me if I don't mention this name. My former boss, Cedric Kasit Anthony, had made the trip down from down under. He's at the members, and uh, so I will mention his name and be safe. Playing it safe, uh, Gamani Pereira. Very good. A lot of people around the world are watching the live action through uh, the Papare. You all the live action here from uh, the SSC. That's uh, the 90th Battle of the Bro uh, Battle of the Saints. Let's shoot. Left alone. Well, uh, from uh, Kapur Bandara. Shirari Vipala mixing it up uh, really well here. There's a bit of tactical battle going on here. Like I mentioned before, Hirun Kapuru Bandara is a very experienced customer, member of the Sri Lankan under 19 team. So, two balls being dug in short. It'll be interesting to see what the follow up ball will be. There are two fielders. On the boundary line three in fact long leg deep square leg and a deep mid wicket he goes for that one even with the those three fielders back on the fence 
He threw months. the kitchen sink at that one. I'll tell you what, Rishwan. Had he connected that, that field wouldn't have come into play. That would have gone over. End of the day, they, they played that Under-19 World Cup in South Africa, didn't they? And so you would expect that some of these Under-19 guys are quick to transfer their weight onto the back foot. They would have practiced a lot of high-hand shots. Because you need that skill if you are going to play in countries like South Africa, Australia. So this is an interesting battle here. The double bluff, the fuller one. Skapro Bandara won't be afraid to uh, play shots. He's a quite uh, the aggressive player and uh, the positive one. He will not be afraid uh, to express his uh, shot-making ability. Forty-five for one. Uh, good. Uh, Recovery from uh, that early wicket. Uh, once again, Padlet uh, to uh, the onside uh, for a single to end uh, the tenth over. St. Joseph's in a reply, forty-six for one. एक खाले का टीवी बालना मिनी सुनता हरी हरी खारा दर रोना लोगों टीवी स्टैंड वर्ल्ड पॉली टीवी आवा टीवी आह कब लगा था मिनिस्टर टीवी के नाम दाह साथ आए रिया इतिंग में देंगे आराम देने द टीवी एलईडी फुल एचडी यूएचडी स्मार्ट इस तरह इंदा पानस पाने में हैटा बहाने का अंगल में देंगे आने ना यामु माते का सिंगर ओने में माध्यम लेकर ओने में टीवी का टिका टिका के बन में देंगे आरागन टीवी ने पूरा सिंगर शाखा बेटे इन्� These pair have added 39 runs. They've come at a good rate too. 4.6, the current run rate. Halambagi versus Hirun Kapru Bandar. They won uh, that uh, recently concluded the under 19 World Cup together up in South Africa. Sure, they know. A lot about each other. Mission Halamige will uh, fancy his chances to be bowling at uh, the right hand. The call coming in uh, from uh, the non striker Abhishek Jayavira. A risky single. Uh, it was uh, taken. I think Hirun was a bit disappointed that his partner didn't respond. It went to the right side of that field at mid wicket. But the non striker was not ready to run. That will be his stock ball around that middle stump. Try and see whether you can breach through the defence of uh, Hirun Kapoor Bandar, or he's hoping that one will hold its line and hit his front pad. This time, Abhishek wanted a single, no ball. I watched the um, St. Peter's Royal game in somewhere in February, and uh, one problem that Halabagi was facing. Is his front leg? He bowled a lot of um, no balls. He's got a huge stride. His delivery stride is pretty long, isn't it? Well, as you said, uh, came in uh, February against Royal College at Reed, Reed Avenue. A lot of no balls were bowled. A lot of extras. Uh, because of that, it was conceded by the Pete Reds. Gee, no matter how well you bowl, uh, Reshwan, on an absolute belter like this, you're only hoping that when you take a wicket that your front leg is inside that line. 
Yes, uh, we got like this. Uh, it's not going to be easy to get through the defense of a batsman. And Halam again, once again, uh, oversteps. Second time in this over. In, uh, okay. Getting some trouble uh, with the, the tram line here. Yeah, apart from that uh, front foot fault, he should be encouraged uh, by that last shot, Halamage. Get, get a bit of bounce, but there's whether he's brave enough to have a fielder under the lead and try and check that batter's uh, defensive skills. Top ball to finish the 11th, 48 for 1. The news uh, from uh, Bangladesh in uh, that uh, first test is uh, both the same batsman uh, Dharanja De Silva and Kamala Mendes both have uh, been out uh, for 102. Dananjadi Silva 102 of 131 deliveries and Kamala Mendes 102 of 127. Sri Lanka currently 265 for 7. Sri Lanka would like to have around 350 on uh, the scoreboard. Two Josephians uh, playing that game uh, in uh, Timut Karna Ratna. And Angela Matthews. Uh, Ishira Aryopala to continue uh, from uh, the tennis court end. Bowled uh, quite an expensive over in his first over. Went uh, for 12. And also, Reshwan, this is, will be another interesting battle here because Aryopala's stock ball will leave the left hander's outside edge. Can he get one to there you are? That's his natural angle and that's because he's being a front on bowler, ninety percent of front on bowlers tends to get that ball coming into the right uh, right hander or going away from the left hander. We saw that from Manasa when he was bowling. He was getting that kind of movement off the track as well as some in the air. So he's got one slip to support uh, that length. But I still can't believe having that many runs on the board. You're still trying to protect the boundaries from a very early piece. So just into the 12th over. P-Treads uh, look like they're back in uh, the defense. Uh, they have 270 runs. That's a big score. When you take the context of 60 overs. We would like to see some... Uh, Attacking uh, field sets uh, from uh, skipper Vishen and the beat rights. Josephians who are chasing uh, chasing the trophy. Oh, Reverend Father Maurice Legock trophy. Last one in uh, the year 2008. As Abhishek Jayaveira drives it. Yeah, again, not very convincing. You get that kind of movement and Getting a bit of zip through the track, uh, Reshwan. I'll have a few more catchers behind the bat, I'll tell you. If there was a conventional gully fielder, that would have been in his throat. In conditions like this, uh, a fast bowler like Ayu Apala, we will uh, want to expect a, a gully fielder, maybe two slips in as well. Just one uh, solitary slip in that first slip region. Four fielders in the offside for Kapur Bandara. Probably inviting him to drive it. I mean, obviously, 
at this level, the schoolboys level under 19, uh, race one, they are still learning their crafts, and you know, some will mature obviously once they go to that next level to the club level. But you know, to be a top-notch cricketer, you need to be. You have few attributes uh, like reading the game, to be cricket smart, awareness of the situation, what what the opponent is trying to do to you. So you need, you need to keep your nerve and uh, try and keep those attacking instincts on. That's been hit again, firmly towards that deep square leg fielder. Prabandara uh, got himself into a shell. It's 26 of 19 deliveries and uh, after that after 17 deliveries he has just uh, scored the two runs uh, cautious uh, start from uh, Jai Vida as well 8 of uh, 30 de deliveries Once again a quick single uh, to end the 12th over as St. Joseph's College in reply, 51 for 1. Ampodikale sarungale akke vannagi hing, nolim beru ne. Ne, vin ne ve. Dawasam beru ma pun vannagi hing. Ne, vin ne ve. Kova mo naadha siye, api langa tiye na ma, kanna pula am bima kui, ponna pula am kema kui. Ne, vin ne ve. Ne, vin ne pula. Langkawi paling banyak mata awak kan? Nai bo nai dek mak? Ikan mayu kat dekat game. Anchor New Deal Shake Shake. Kan na puluan bi mak? Bo na puluan ke mak? Big match fun. Prima kot tu mesti ada kan? Good evening, Pauli, and I think just after tea, just feels except losing that early wicket. The captain Hirun motoring on easily, getting runs freely and uh, make him batting look so easy uh, on the other hand uh, Abhishek uh, still uh, on nine runs facing 31 balls I think Peter should look at this positively and start attacking and trying to get the wicket of the captain which can create a lot of pressure on the Josephians but uh, I don't see that happen but very ordinary well uh, you don't cover Bandara the main stairs better for the Josephians well, uh, Pradeep is not the captain actually, captain is Lahiru Amrasekra, but uh, Hirun uh, Kapur Bandara is uh, a Sri Lanka 19 player he and Hiran Jayasundra together with uh, Vishen Halbagi and Rasunda Gamage went on the Sri Lanka 19 tour to South Africa for the Youth World Cup. So he has been one of the mainstays of the Josephine batting lineup. A lot depends on him and Hiran Jayasundara, but they've done well up to now. Yes, Josephine's lost uh, an early wicket, but they have uh, recovered to a certain extent at 53 for one. I can say recovered well, uh, Polly. I think uh, no uh, risky strokes. Uh, have been batting very, very steadily. Yeah, sorry about that, Hiran. Yeah, he's the national player. And uh, very elegant bat. Again, uh, just pushed uh, on the offside. Uh, no chance for a single. But 12 overs have gone so far. We're in the 12th over. Uh, St. Joseph uh, 53 for 1. And uh, Hirun on 28. And Abhishek on 11. Yeah, St. Joseph have batted positively, uh, Pradeep. Definitely uh, runs coming quite easily at 4.18. A good start. They lost an early wicket. That is of Avisha Shamash. Who got out early. But uh, these two batters have put on a good partnership. Close to about a 50 run partnership. Yeah, well, the way things are going for the. Uh, me, okay, 30 no was gone. We'll talk about it later. It's 53 for 1. Hey, have you heard?
that about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking crazy. Education loans and salary advances amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. The way things are going, as I was talking earlier, Pradeep, the P trades uh, might be able to bowl about 40 to 45 overs, and that's exactly what they got to look at. We have to bowl 110 overs today, so that's nearly 50 overs they got to bowl today. And uh, if they can do that, then the Josephines come tomorrow. They got just only 10 overs of batting, and a couple of overs might go for them to settle down. So they must try to bowl much as possible overs today, and that's what I feel. Yeah, so there's a bowling change. Uh, Rithil Suravira has been brought into the tag. 13 matches, uh, 145 overs, 460 runs, 14 wickets, economy rate of 3.17. Promising bowler for St. Peter's. Uh, and uh, getting the spinners in makes the over rate faster. Pauli, and I think that's a sensible thing done by the Petrites as well. They are trying to push through their overs quickly. Uh, without uh, our knowledge, already 13 overs have been bowled. So, the Josephians, uh, like you said, have been very positively batting, especially Hiron not letting uh, any lose there. And the way they have been taking the single and making the ones into twos have been beautiful. They are again a uh, big hip. It's gone all the way for six. So, very, very positive batting here by Hiron. Brings his score to 28. It's a pleasure to watch a youngster bat like this, Pauli, on a super batting track. Yes, uh, normally Hirud Kapurubandara is considered as a very attacking player. Playing some good shots all around the wicket. There is he going on one knee and hitting it over mid-wicket. That was a good shot. He moves on to 34. Irun Kapur Bandara. A lot is expected from him today. Josephians have got off to a good start. They lost an early wicket but have recovered well. Yeah, definitely probably that wicket didn't affect them at all, their momentum or anything to do with uh, how they get got going after that. Just like uh, the opener Zain, they just started pushing the runs and getting the scoreboard moving. Hirun re leading the way all through, showing his experience, maturity class and why is he a uh, pick for the Sri Lankan uh, tour as well. He's been a very consistent performer during the season. Hiran Chasundar is the other Josephine batter. Very busy. He's still to come in. A lot is expected from these two for the Josephians. Of course, there have been valuable scores uh, right throughout the season coming from the bat of uh, Yenula Devthusa. The so Josephians have a strong batting lineup, no doubt about that. But the Pete Rides put up a very good score of 217, they are 60 overs. Yeah, indeed, uh, Josephine's coming on a very high note this season, being unbeaten, while St. Peter's lost to Royal uh, by innings uh, initially in the season. So ever since that, I think the Pete Rides gave a good comeback in their rest of the games, but they have not been consistent when it comes to their performance. But uh, on the other hand, the Josephians have a better track record on card but the Petrides proved everything wrong the way they started today and they really showed how a big match can change the game for them as well. So that's the end of that over, 14 gone, it's 60 for 1. Gold Wild, unleash the wild in you. Nikam Boruata Riske Ka Ganni Hai NDB Nios Thier Di Riske Ka Nandu Kik Kek Fun Transfers Karan Na Vagi Ma Chill Leke Bills Pay Karan Na Seat Car Radials The Road Is Yours
So we are back uh, at the SSC. So Hirun uh, Kapurbanda has only played three games this season. I think since he was on national duty, he must have missed most of the games. So St. Joseph, uh, without him, have uh, been throughout the season, uh, Pauli. I'm sure he would have played more than that, but uh, yeah, the record says he's played three games. Yes, it says uh, three games, four innings, 142 runs with average of 30.35.50. Well, that's the uh, batting lineup is also very unpredictable, Pradeep. They got all out for 43 against Trinity, but came back very strongly in the second innings. They were 379 for four. With uh, Hiran Jayasundara getting 212. That's a gutsy performance after being bowled out of 40 Pauli. So, a lot of guts in these young uh, players. A lot of maturity shown because this season would have not been easy with the humidity, heat, and a uh, lot of uh, dehydration. It's definitely pretty hot out there, no doubt about it. We're talking from inside AC rooms, but they are playing there. It's not easy. The heat as well as the humid conditions out there. The humidity is the killer, uh, Pauli. I think that brings a lot of uh, pain on players. St. Joseph's College 61 for one. We are in the 15th over. They're keeping up to a good run rate of uh, above four runs per over. The peat rides were quite slow at their start, but the recover did well to recover. Coming up to 270, a very good score in 60 overs. Indeed, that was a good recovery. They, in patches, I think the peat rides produced good results. First was that opening partnership, and then in between came that 50 runs quick partnership uh, so those two really steered their innings and kept their run rate going and managed to post 270 it was always looking tough at one time but a great performance of batting by the Pete Wrights as well that's again uh, beats the batsman outside the off stump Shannon Rodrigo left arm orthodox the highest wicket taker for the Pete Wrights this season has been among the wickets for St. Peter's this season. Shannon Rodrigo and a very senior player playing so his fourth season. Yeah, fourth season and I think uh, Pete Rice must be counting on him a lot uh, to pick up a uh, wicket here. Pete Rice really need a breakthrough now if they want to put some pressure on the Josephians. On the other way, if the Josephians bat like this uh, the way comfortably they are just pushing the runs 15th over, 63 for 1. Heels Crest Naimiris Sausage, the bite that bites back. It's becoming a bit gloomy, Pauli. Well, 75 overs gone for the day. That's uh, a minimum of another 30 overs remaining for today's play. So that will be 45 overs of Joseph in batting if the innings go on that far. But of course, 56 run partnership coming out of 81 deliveries between these two batters. That's nicely played by Abhishek Chaiwira. But there is a sweeper cover fielder down there in the extra cover boundary. Abhishek nicely complimenting Hirun, just rotating the strike, giving his star batsman more of the strike and uh, just keep watching from the other side. Very sensible move uh, in the stage of uh, a game like this. Not trying to go for any unwanted shots. Getting the man who can do the job faster and he's making maximum out of it. 36 or 41 deliveries. Yeah, his job is to hang around there and give the support to the other two batters, especially Hirun Kapur Bandara and Hiran Jayasundara. 
the main two batters. Of course, then we have Yenula Devthusa coming in after that. All these three batters have been among the runs. That's nicely paid by Kapuru Bandara. Off his sip. Worked away nicely and that's gone into the boundary. Four more to Kapuru Bandara. Takes him on to 40. Yeah, beautiful stroke uh, off his hips, like you said, to take him to his 40s. Very interesting to see how he will approach his 50 and then move on. So far, seeing the ball like a football, he's so confident. Each shot he has played, not played any risky shot so far. Yes, he nicely played that one. Short is delivery. Again, once he worked away nicely to the square like region, gets a single. Watching that ball very carefully here in Kapur Bandara. Nice to see uh, some positive cricket by Kapur Bandara. 43 deliveries, 41 runs. Maintaining the best uh, strike rate for the day today. On the other hand, Abhishek playing a good role, supporting him. And uh, Peter is pushing the overs through. So it's a very good batting track. Uh, probably must feel for the bowlers. How much they bend their back, the fast bowlers or spinners. There's nothing coming out of the wicket. It has to be a sheer mistake by the batsman. If you see even the fall of wickets for the Peter rides, it was most of the mistakes made by the batsman. There's still another two and a half hours, uh, two hours at least, play remaining. So 30 hours to be bowled. Uh, where Patriots are doing it, they can achieve it. Over's got to be pushed and that's the end of that over. 16 gone, it's 69 for one. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. After T, Abhishek uh, unbeaten on 13 of 49 deliveries. Avishka the batsman out of the bowling of Joshua for four. And Hirun uh, Kapur Bandara blazing the innings and uh, delighting the crowd here, especially the Josephian supporters with 41 of 43 deliveries. That's the highlight of uh, the match so far in the session after T, uh, Pauli. Yes, definitely he has taken in the attack to the bowlers. 41 runs coming off, 43 deliveries. And the Josephines too maintaining a good run rate because of his batsmanship. They see the Pete Wright bowling card. Joshua the only wicket taker, three overs, one for nine. All the other bowlers have been economically good, but still they need uh, that wickets column. That's what they need. First wicket falling at 7 and now 69, so that's a 62 run partnership between these two batters Kapuru Bandara and Abhishek Jaivira. I think the biggest concern for the Pete Rides must be more than Kapuru Bandara 
being uh, 40, the speed is uh, scoring the runs. That's a huge threat uh, for them. Here we have Gamini Pereira down there with an interview. Over to you, Gamini. I've got a very interesting personality with me. All the Dusafians who played during 60s, 70s and 80s would know him. He's a very, one of the favorite sons of uh, St. Joseph's College. His name is Mr. Angelo Raya. You can, he, he has held many roles while he was at St. Joseph's. He was, basically he was a father figure to all the players who played for St. Joseph at the time. And school, Sri Lanka schools cricket. He, has been, he was the master in charge from 1963 to 1984. He was the manager of Sri Lanka schools team twice. And uh, he has come to this event after 40 years, Mr. Raya. It's been a long time between rings for you. For how the game, 37 years, how the game has evolved and how this event has evolved for that matter. Exactly. It's much different in the sense the crowds are very poor. Other than that, the cricket is of the same standard or even better, I would say that. And uh, this limiting the uh, number of overs on the first day is very wise because that's a better chance of getting a decision in this match, which we didn't have those days. Yeah. And also, uh, you mentioned uh, these overs uh, regulation has been included. Obviously, during your time in 60s, 70s, there, there were some fantastic cricketers, but the conditions were not as uh, good as like this, was it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a normal sort of session of play, three sessions we used to have. And uh, it uh, generally peters out into a draw most of the time. But now I think it's a little more challenging for the two teams that are participating. And I'm uh, very happy that this has been brought about in this uh, form of cricket. During those years when you were the master in charge, and uh, how many results do you see? did you see that, uh, that time? Not many results, not many results. When you had world beaters like Rajiv Benedict, and Gary Melder and people of that caliber, you see, decisions are there. They come very quickly. But most of the time, it was a question of uh, the games uh, getting into a draw. I'm going to put you in your spot here, Mr. Raya. From 63 to 1983, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Who was the best bowler you saw and who was the best batter you saw? There were, you could have, uh, you could mention names till the cows come home tomorrow, but yeah. uh, you know, there were so many, but who was your favorite or the, uh, the most talented you saw? Well, as far as the batting goes, I, Gary Melder was my best. Uh, very closely followed by Lalit Vijay Ratna. And as far as the bowling was concerned, uh, it was wide open. There, there was nobody who was exceptionally good with one left-arm medium pace bowler, Rajiv Benedict. He was truly outstanding when the wickets were helping him. And he did well on the Oval and also at Royal College. But he was a really good fast bowler, Rajiv. Incidentally, he took 10 wickets twice in this match. Uh, so you witnessed both of that? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, you were the manager of Sri Lankan under-19 team, captain by Bandula Vannapura, uh, and went to India and beat the mighty Indians at the time. Yeah, that was in 1970-71. In fact, that team was captained by Mitra Vettimuni. Bandula was in the side, Jayavira, Jagat Panando, a host of top schoolboy cricketers. And uh, we had five test matches, three days duration, and five zonal matches, three days duration. We won uh, two tests, we drew three. Of the five zonals, we won four and drew one. So it was unbeaten side. And that was um, absolutely an amazing era of cricket. That's because, you know, we brought the age limit uh, first 11 cricket from under 20 to under 19. Because when we were at the group age of under 20, we couldn't compete with the other national teams. So we had to bring it down to 19. So we brought it down in our schools cricket association, brought it 19, and then we started this. And that was the first occasion. Then on the second occasion, I think that was in 81, 82, with uh, Wesley uh, Captain De Silva, and uh, yes, we had a very good tour of England and that was also very successful. Aravinda's uh, baptism, he was 14 plus and there was Arjuna also in that side. It was a really good side. We didn't lose any matches, but we didn't play as many as the earlier ones. 
Ji, some of the names that you've mentioned uh, right throughout the, this uh, interview, you know, some of them are uh, Hall of Fame uh, inductees, really. And so, one final question. What is your advice to the Karan cricketers? Because you have given yeoman service to this uh, school cricket, mm -hmm. and uh, there were some changes that made during your time to benefit uh, the school cricketers in this country. Just one final advice to the current modern-day cricketers. It is uh, hard work, more hard work, and still more hard work, and also keeping fit. The vital factor is to keep fit. If you keep yourself fit, then you are able to do the hard work. You see in the mornings you do a run somewhere closer to your home and keep yourself, you know, active and good, eat good food given by your mother. So, and uh, th I'm sure they will really come up. Our standards are quite good. We have not gone down. We have kept the standards as it was then. And I'm sure they will improve as time goes on. Mr. Raya. It's an absolute honor to have a couple of words with you and uh, we thank you for being here and thank you very much for the service that you have rendered to Sri Lanka cricket and uh, you said keeping fit, you are looking very fit and all the very best sir. Thank you very much. There you are, Mr. Angelo Raya. Former master in charge of St. Joseph's College cricket. Yes sir, as Garmini said. The players uh, at St. Joseph's 60s, 70s and uh, early 80s will remember him very well. What a strict disciplinarian he was. That was something Gamini missed. Actually, a very, very strict disciplinarian. Was in charge of uh, Sri Lanka under-19 teams too. Whereas meanwhile here in the game, Hirun Kapra Bandara has reached his half century. As that one edged down towards the third man boundary. Abhishek Javira. Yeah, definitely a beautiful half century by Kapur Bandara just in 49 deliveries. On the other hand, Abhishek Bandara has faced 52 deliveries for 13 runs. So it shows the combination and the understanding between the partnership. Strike being rotated as per the will. And uh, St. Joseph's cruising steadily so far after the when we talk about Angelo Raya, we must also talk about the p -tried master in charge during that time, Mr. Austin Fernando. Another person who great human service for the Battle of the Saints as well as uh, p -tried cricket. It's definitely Austin Fernando was a legend. Very dedicated, the master and sports all around him. Uh, made sure that things were in place at St. Peter's at all time. 82 for 1, uh, St. Joseph's, and that's the end of the 18th over. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Big match fun, Prima Kotumi Tianakan. So 82 for one after 18 overs. Well, Mr. Rai was mentioning about uh, De Silva Vessel College, that is uh, Navin De Silva. Captain Navin De Silva led the Sri Lanka schools team. With Arjuna Ranathunga and uh, Arvind the Disilva in the team. That's what Mr. Rai was telling about. Well, during the same era, only uh, Pradeep, uh, Mr. Austin Fernando was uh, master in charge of Peter Wright Cricket. Yes, uh, Austin Fernando was uh, master in charge for a very, very long time. And like very correctly said, not only for cricket, for rugby and all sports. It's been a rock solid beat, right? So Abhishek, now on strike. Is that a chance? Yeah, definitely, I think that was a chance. And that was Abhishek. Let's see the replay. There was an effort. Wonder how difficult it was.
Yes, those have to be taken at this level if you have to make an impact. It was definitely a little difficult, but at this standard, should be taken. So, 82 runs on the board. Josephians steadying their ship well. 4.43 runs per over. Very good run rate. Well, the light is uh, fading a bit, uh, Pradeep. The problem is whether we'll be able to go on with till 5.45. And Bold is uh, remaining uh, 27 overs for the day. Good point, Pauli. I think it will be interesting to see if uh, the free tries will get their pace bowlers to, for, to the attack. Test the umpire's mind because it's really becoming gloomy. If it uh, goes down further, they'll have to take their monitors out. We had a little bit of rain last evening. Hopefully, it will not uh, be the same today. It's definitely. No one wants rain, but they want a good result to see good cricket. If we can remember the last game. Well, St. Peter's batted 57 overs for their 200. And the Josephians were batting only 55 overs for their 240. When rain interfered and uh, the game had to be called off. We don't want a similar incident this year too. Yeah, definitely. So it's 19 overs gone. St. Joseph's 33 for one. Abhishek on 17 and... So this is uh, that wonderful innings by Kapur Bandara. Shots all over the record. Clean shots coming down the track. And also that uh, trademark full shot of his. That uh, surprised not only the bowlers but also the fielders. Very, very powerful man on his own side, Kapur Bandara. And uh, very well deserved uh, 50 for him. And but that's one it. thing, Pradeep, you see, he's not frightened to go for his shots, playing them so well and connecting them well. Definitely. Getting the middle of the bat, no top edges, nothing uh, risky in it. Makes himself and people watching around also very, very confident. Prabandara on 51, Abhishek on 17. Abhishek's job description is to hang around there as much as possible, provide support for Kaprabandara and even the batsman to follow. Yes, sir. He's just doing that poly. Just not ending the strike. Making sure Kaprabandara accumulates the runs. St. Joseph's College still trailing by 187 runs. But just we are in the 20th over. 40 more overs remaining for their batting time. If they bat the full innings. Yeah, definitely St. Joseph should be looking to bat throughout the innings, get past the bit right score and give that psychological shake to St. Peter's. Kapur Bandara steady the ship for the Josephians. Another beautiful delivery. Just pushed in front of him. Don't even attempt a single. But Shannon Rodrigo being brought in from the pavilion end this time. That swept away nicely by Habishek Chavira, but there is a fielder there. Yeah, so. That brings the end of the 20th over. St. Joseph College, 84 for one. Introducing Sri Lanka's biggest Google TV collection from Singa. Endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore. Millions of shows, movies and games, plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place. Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa.
25 overs still to be bowled but i don't think uh, the light condition will uh, permit us to do so the eastern skies are getting grayer good reply going at a decent rate i think there we see the sky that's that's what i said on the background it's a lot more gray than what you actually saw i feel before the rain a little bit there might be a light yeah it's, light. it's 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 going to be the light issue i think uh, it's the western skies full of clouds if that is cleared we will have light it's heading towards the boundary it may probably reach it probably slowing down just inside three good runs abhishek has been uh, playing the tanker role taking his time 66 deliveries for just 20 now 67 deliveries 21 runs partnership is 79 uh, for the second wicket the then kapur bandara 51 or 52 batting really well it's actually 80 with that single this is a hard grind oh. that's not good just can't let those go That was the captain, Vishen Halamage. Little bit lazy there. He's feeling a bit of the pressure because uh, wickets are not forthcoming. Spinners, all just going on with them, and after 21 overs, those uh, 89 for one. Ampas uh, did discuss. They probably continue with another couple of overs, but uh, the light is dipping quickly. You can see how the cloud cover is uh, gathering beyond the scoreboard. That's the eastern skies. Not see the light meter come out as yet. Uh, so this in initial talk. See that sky again from the scoreboard, like you mentioned, Haritha, and see the patches of darkish yeah. cloud. Once that lightish uh, sky there, it's a solid batting track. Just going through the um, souvenir published. I realized that scores of over 300 have been recorded by St Joseph's this season. 350 for six declared against Malia Deva. 379 for four against Trinity after being bowled out for 41 in the first innings. That was one of the major comebacks. That's what we're getting a double hundred. There was another score of three hundred ninety-three all out against Saint Sebastian's Moro Tour. Not that they'll get that far because it's uh, limited to sixty overs. Not 
been able to win. There's any lightning. Matters. Last year, too, the weather intervened. Oh, that didn't rise much. A shot through quickly. 20. 22 overs completed. 90 for the loss of one wicket. Uh, St. Joseph's in reply. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Clouds are gathering over the venue. It's uh, that's a danger now. Get some uh, cricket in Harit. It's fast becoming dark. Abhishek Jayavir has uh, played a good support role, being opened uh, the innings. I don't see this game progressing up to 4:30. I thought it'll go till 5:30 today. Yeah, the spinners are operating, but still the light is dropping quickly. Don't see it clearing as well. No. It's been very gloomy. There's no threat of rain, no immediate threat of rain. With a yes. couple of deliveries, bold outside, off stump, the batter being beaten the umpires are still conferring experienced umpires I have a feeling that they'll send them off yeah almost two hours lost if the light doesn't uh, improve and it doesn't look like improving Very like the, uh, that will get any play there's a stiff breeze. No immediate threat of rain, Harita, but I think the light is... Uh... It's pretty unfortunate, though. You can see the light meters coming out, so just to have an indication. Light meters will come now with uh, the uh, third umpire, probably. But to the visual eye, uh, there it is. Checking the light because they'll have to make sure even on the second day that they fall off uh, play if it is uh, the same light. Experienced umpires, they know what uh, situation they are dealing with. Pragit Rambukwala and uh, Ravind Rimmel Siri on field and um, Shanta Fonseca, the standby umpire. Uh, runs may have come uh, easily suspended due to bad light play the worst part is uh, the covers also creeping on that's a clear indication because the ground staff know the situation maybe expecting that rain in there more than the rain that the play may not start today So we will uh, try to call about it, um, live coverage from uh, the um, Singley Sports Club ground uh, on the first day of this uh, 90th uh, Battle of the Saints between uh, St. Joseph's and St. Peter's. They pride themselves as uh, two leading Catholic schools in uh, the city of Colombo. 
the annual big match big story the umpires are conferring mahesh bopake and papare.com a team dedicated to live coverage uh, they have some uh, uh, very experienced individuals handling very specific jobs and um, they are committed they plan very well uh, they research and uh, their execution has been accepted uh, right around the country not only on cricket but uh, so many different sports it's just that uh, the team so many of them are very well organized they are well trained and uh, that's why this is uh, sri lanka's number one sports hub you can see those low um, gray clouds not a, a hurricane situation not a um thunderstorm situation but very low crowds it may just pour down quickly no immediate threat um, that's the reply from st joseph's uh, st peter's were restricted in their 60 overs to 270 for 9 abhishek uh, javed 23 and uh, with him is uh, hirun kapur bandar on 53 avish samash was the one dismissed for 4 Rusan the Gamage holding on to the catch of uh, Joshua Sebastian when the total was 7 11 extras 23rd over was being uh, operated from uh, the Vidya Mahavat end uh, when the umpires decided that the light was not good it is bad unfortunately if that's the peters uh, bowling card Joshua the lone wicket taker one for nine of just three overs Sharon going wicketless of eight Not for 23, uh, Vishen ball four for 12. Isuru three over 16. Dashmika 3.3 when the, when it was called off. And for 16, Prithil just the one over seven. So just losing their first figure at seven. Eleven extras in this uh, innings at the moment. 22.3 overs, 91 for one. I have a feeling that there is a thin drizzle at uh, the venue. because uh, the um, ground staff uh, brisk in their activity to uh, cover this is the highlight the first wicket uh, that fell to catch at the uh, first slip and then uh, hirun kapur bandara taking over there's some great shots uh, all round the wicket the one good thing was that he was not not afraid to use his feet to hit the spin Seems like there's quite a bit of breeze also on the ground. It was nicely driven there. He was very selective. He was very confident in his uh, shot selection. That's the hallmark of a good player, informed player. That was his half century. Sri Lanka youth player. That was what we saw last. Eighty-four runs uh, unbroken for the second wicket. St. Peter's uh, put into bat um, two hundred seventy for nine, maximum sixty overs in their first innings. Dilana, Damsar one hundred and three, Owen uh, Salgado forty-six. They shared a hundred partnership. Nathan uh, David thirty-five. Uh, uh, together with uh, Ishira Ayupala 50 partnership for the 7th wicket Yenula Devasudra 4 for 74 and Manas Madhubhasan 3 for 68 Yenula also held on to two catches Hirun uh, Jasundara Hiran Jasundara rather three victims Joseph Singh reply 91 for one with um, Kapur Bandara leading the way with 53 not out Jayavira 23 not out bad light stop play somewhere around uh, 10 minutes past 4 okay with uh, all this happening uh, out in the middle with uh, very little hope of uh, play commencing today we say thank you for your company and uh, take a bow from the commentary position
ಉದ್ವೇಗೇನ್ ಪಿರುನು ತರಂಗ ಹೆತ್ತೆ ಹತರಾಕ್ ಲೋವಟ ಸುಪಿರಿ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ತರು ಪಿರಿ ಕಂಡಾಯಂ ದಹಾಯ ಎಕ್ಕಮ ಕುಸಲಾಣೆಯ ಮೇವರ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ತರಗಾವಲಿಯೇ ಜಯಗ್ರಹಣೆಯ ಕೌರು ನಿಮಿಕರ ಗಾಣೀವಿದ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ವಿತಿನ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯಮ ನರಬಾಣ್ಣ ರುಪಿಯಾಲ್ ದೇಸಿಯ ಹತಲಿ ಸ್ನವಯಕತ ಸುವಿಶೇಷಿ ದೀಮನಾವಾಕ್ ಮೇಮ ದೀಮನಾವ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕರಣ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯ ವಗೇಮ ತವಾತ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ತರಗ ರೆಸಾಕ್ ನರಬಾಣ್ಣ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪಹಾಕ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕಿರೇಮ ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಮೈ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಆಪ್ ಮಗೇನ್ He's not just some observer. He's an assassin. I don't trust anybody outside of this room. You go rogue, he's been authorized to hunt you down and kill you. That's the job. Which way, Benji? Turn left! Go, 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 go! What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window! Mission Impossible Fallout. Trinity vs. St. Anthony's. 40-second one-day encounter. 20-second march at St. Anthony's ground. Live on the Papara, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. I believe the right house is like a soulmate. When the right one comes along, it's magic. Welcome home, Susan. <gasps> There's something in the house making it hard for us to sell, and we make it go away. Run as fast as you can. Is there anything else that I need to know? Real estate is exciting, isn't it? On Rock Entertainment. This March, Hollywood's leading men will take your screen by storm. Be they the good guys or the bad guys. Be awed by their action-packed performances. Catch these stars in all their glory. Every Saturday this March, only on Hits Movies. Dialogue Big Match Season. ಹೆಟಲುವ ದಿನನ ವೀರಯಾನ್ ಅದ ಬಲಗಾನ್ ಮನ್ನಟ ಪಾಸಲ್ ತಿಹಾಕ್ ಶೂರತಾ ಪಹಲವಾಕ್ ದಿವೈನ ಪುರ ದ ಪಪರೇ ಟಿವಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಆಪ್ ಸಹ ದ ಪಪರೇ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಹರಹ ಉದ್ವೇಗಕರ ತರಂಗ ಸಿಯಲ್ಲ ಸಚಿ ವಿವ ನರ್ಬಾನ್ನ ಅನಾಗತ ಶೂರಯಾನ್ ಬಲಗಾನ್ ಮನ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಅನಾಗತೆ ಆದಾಯ್ ದ ಹಿಸ್ಟರಿ ಮೇಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪೇರಬಲ್ ಅನ್ಲೀಷಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್‌ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪಪರೇ ಟಿವಿ on the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD on channel number 63 and 126 Sri Lanka's number one sports channel The Dialog Big Mac season reignite powering the champions of tomorrow 30 schools 15 titles island wide Catch the action live on the Papare TV HD Dialog view app and the papare.com Powering the champions of tomorrow. Dialogue, the future today. Udwegen pirunu taranga hette hatarak. Lovata supiri cricket taru piri kandayam dahaya. Ekkam kusalaniya. ಮೇವರ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ತರಗಾವಲಿಯೇ ಜಯಗ್ರಹಣೆಯ ಕೌರು ನಿಮಿಕರ ಗಾಣೀವಿದ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ವಿತಿನ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯ ಮನರಬಾಣ್ಣ ರುಪಿಯಾಲ್ ದೇಸಿಯ ಹತಲಿ ಸ್ನವಯಕತ ಸುವಿಶೇಷಿ ದೀಮನಾವಾಕ್ ಮೇಮ ದೀಮನಾವ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕರಣ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯ ವಗೇಮ ತವಾತ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ತರಗ ರೆಸಾಕ್ ನರಬಾಣ್ಣ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪಹಾಕ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕಿರೇಮ ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಮೈ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಆಪ್ ಮಗೇನ್ Welcome to the RIPD. Woo-hoo. I got this. We have to trust each other. Yes or no? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window! It's up to us. So let's go be heroes. Eat your heart out. St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's. 50th One Day Encounter. 6th April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue viewer and thepapare.com. 
Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Youth jagar set hai na, allat kya majid hai? Youth Plus. The Papare TV, the Papare TV HD, dialogue television nali ka anka hai tu nisa ha ek siya visi hai usse. Sri Lanka ve anka ke kui da nali ka va. Let's get into it. This is Hits Now. <laughs> Where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. No star shake right now. Hits now. The best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. Catch the action of the Sri Lanka tour of Bangladesh 20 from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papare TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. Utwekin Pirunu Taranga Hette Hatarak. Lovata Supiri Cricket Tarupiri Kandayam Dahaya Ekamakusalaniak. Mevara IPL Taragavali Jayagrohane. Kaurun Nimikaragani with Dialogue Television within Mulu Taragavali Manarabanda. Rupial Desia Hatalis Navayakata. So we say she demonavak. Mema demonava activate Karanovata. IPL Mulu Taragavali Vagamer Tawat Krida Taraga Rasak Narabanda. Channel Pahakma. Activate Kirima SMS. So my dialogue app magin. Sri Lanka cricket kandai me Bangladesh tarag sanchariya teta haswi sehatra. Utpika kara T20 tarag tunak. Ek din tarag tunak sah test tarag dekak. Mar tu hatra vanda sita April tun meli dada kwa. Dialogue television the Papare TV OC Sachivi Banaraman. Activate kiri me SMS so my dialogue app magin. Dialogue. जातिक क्रिकेट खांडाय में नीला अनुग्रह का संडेज इन मार्च वी ब्रिंग यू अ होलसम लाइनअप ऑफ वंडरफुल फैमिली एंटरटेनमेंट ऑन हिट्स मूवीज लेट्स गो रिविजिट द फेमस स्टोन एज पीपल ऑल राइट हैव फन विद टॉकिंग एंड्स एंड अदर लवेबल एनिमल्स हु आर पार्ट ऑफ द फैमिली Meet the first male fairy godmother who's doing his best. So sit with your family at a tub of popcorn every Sunday on Hits Movies. He's not just some observer. He's an assassin. I don't trust anybody outside of this room. You go rogue, he's been authorized to hunt you down and kill you. That's the job. Which way, Benji? Turn left! What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window! Mission Impossible Fallout. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. They are our biggest fans. Why am I not surprised? The groupies come in all shapes and sizes. They stalk us, obsess over us, chase after us. Why? Because they just love us to the point they want to. Catch some zombie love every Sunday this March. The Loving Dead. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Martuwe unmadeya Sudanamda Big match wasantayata Pebruary 24 da sita Sajeeviva The Papare TV The Papare TV HD Dialogue view app saha thepapare.com Sri Lanka ve anka ke krida nalikawa Hands up Welcome to the RIPD 
well. Bounty hunters for rogue souls that escaped judgment. I got this. Our job is to find them and send them to where their ticket got punched. Hmm? Hell, Roy, oh. we send them to hell. Oh, that was unexpected. R.I.P.D. 2, Rise of the Damned. Дайте крупный план. Нина, в тебе все добре. Ты какая-то зеленая. Гремер, посмотрите, в тебе зерка зеленая. Ой, ты не треба никому ничего сказать. Я сама чудово с всем справлюсь. Что передачу закрыть? Нет, что зачем? श्रीलंकीय क्रीड़ा विकासनी मितिक अत्नोविंदी नवीतम अत्यकीम सबकेन श्रीलंकावे अंक इके क्रीड़ा नालिकावे द पापरे टीवी द पापरे टीवी एचडी डायलॉग टेलीविजन नालिका अंक हेट तुन सहा एकसीए विसहाय ओसे विदिन्न नरवन श्रीलंकावे अंक इके क्रीड़ा नालिकावे यंग एंड केयरफ्री Four unlikely friends spend their time aimlessly Hello. until a getaway sets them on a whole new course. Oh, no. Together, they embark on a cross-border adventure, one that will change their lives in the most unimagined ways. Easy Living on Cinema World. Trinity vs. St. Anthony's. 42nd One Day Encounter 22nd March at St. Anthony's Ground Live on the Papara, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel I believe the right house is like a soulmate When the right one comes along, it's magic Welcome home, Susan <gasps> There's something in the house making it hard for us to sell and we make it go away Run as fast as you can Anything else that I need to know? Mm. Estate, season two. Real estate is exciting, isn't it? On Rock Entertainment. This March, Hollywood's leading men will take your screen by storm. Be they the good guys or the bad guys. Be awed by their action-packed performances. Catch these stars in all their glory. Every Saturday this March, only on Hits Movies. Dialogue Big Match Season. Hekalu vadina na virayan adha balagan mannaka. Pasal dihak. Shurata Pahalavak, Divaina Pura, The Papare TV HD, Dialogue View Epsaha, The Papare.com Haraha, Utwega Karataranga Siala, Sachi Viva Narbana, Anakata Shurian Balaganwana, Dialogue, Anakati Adai, The History Maker of Sport, Innovative, Incomparable, Unleashing an Experience, The Papare TV, On The Papare TV and The Papare TV HD. On channel number 63 and 126, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. The Dialogue Big Mac season reignite, powering the champions of tomorrow. 30 schools, 15 titles, island wide. Catch the action live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app, and the Papare.com. Powering the champions of tomorrow. Dialogue. The future today. 
ಉದ್ವೇಗೇನ್ ಪಿರೋನು ತರಂಗ ಹೆತ್ತೆ ಹತರಾಕ್ ಲೋವಟ ಸುಪಿರಿ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ತರು ಪಿರಿ ಕಂಡಾಯಂ ದಹಾಯ ಇಕ್ಕಮ ಕುಸಲಾಣೆಯ ಮೇವರ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ತರಗಾವಲಿಯೇ ಜಯಗ್ರಹಣೆಯ ಕೌರು ನಿಮಿಕರ ಗಾನೀವಿದ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ವಿಥಿನ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯ ಮನರಬಾಣ್ಣ ರುಪಿಯಾಲ್ ದೇಸಿಯ ಹತಲಿಸ್ ನವಯಕಟ ಸುವಿಶೇಷಿ ದೀಮನಾವಾಕ್ ಮೆಮ ದೀಮನಾವ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕರಣ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯ ವಗೇಮ ತವಾತ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ತರಗ ರೆಸಾಕ್ ನರಬಾಣ್ಣ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪಹಾಕ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕಿರೇಮ ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಹೋ ಮೈ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಆಪ್ ಅಗೇನ್ Welcome to the RIPD. I got this. We have to trust each other. Yes or no? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window. It's up to us. So let's go be heroes. Eat your heart. St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's. 50th One Day Encounter. 6th April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue Viewer and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. You think it's a set, isn't it? All that came out of it. Youth Plus. The Papare TV. The Papare TV HD. Dialogue Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tuna Saha Ekka Siyavi Sihayo Se. Sri Lanka Ve Anka Ike Krida Nalika Ve. Let's get into it. This is Hits Now. Ha ha ha! Where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. No star shake right now. Hits now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live. Enjoy 3 T20 matches, 3 ODI matches and 2 test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papare TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. ಉದ್ವೇಗೇನ್ ಪಿರೋನು ತರಂಗ ಹೆತ್ತೆ ಹತರಾಕ್ ಲೋವಟ ಸುಪಿರಿ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ತರು ಪಿರಿ ಕಂಡಾಯಂ ದಹಾಯ ಇಕ್ಕಮ ಕುಸಲಾಣೆಯ ಮೇವರ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ತರಗಾವಲಿಯೇ ಜಯಗ್ರಹಣೆಯ ಕೌರು ನಿಮಿಕರ ಗಾನೀವಿದ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ವಿಥಿನ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯ ಮನರಬಾಣ್ಣ ರುಪಿಯಾಲ್ ದೇಸಿಯ ಹತಲಿಸ್ ನವಯಕಟ ಸುವಿಶೇಷಿ ದೀಮನಾವಾಕ್ ಮೆಮ ದೀಮನಾವ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕರಣ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಮುಳು ತರಗಾವಲಿಯ ವಗೇಮ ತವಾತ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ತರಗ ರೆಸಾಕ್ ನರಬಾಣ್ಣ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪಹಾಕ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಕಿರೇಮ ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ Oh, my dialogue app again. ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಕಾಂಡಾಯ ಮೇ ಬಾಂಗ್ಲಾದೇಶ ತರಂಗ ಸಂಚಾರ We bring you a wholesome lineup of wonderful family entertainment on Hits Movies. Let's go! Revisit the famous Stone Age people. Oh, I'm all right. Have fun with talking ants and other lovable animals who are part of the family. Ta-da! Meet the first male fairy godmother who's doing his best. Oh! So sit with your family at a tub of popcorn every Sunday on Hits Movies. He's not just some observer. He's an assassin. I don't trust anybody outside of this room. You go rogue, he's been authorized to hunt you down and kill you. That's the job. Which way, Betty? Turn left! Go, 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 go! What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window! Mission Impossible Fallout. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. They are our biggest fans. Why am I not surprised? The groupies come in all shapes and sizes. They stalk us. 
obsess over us. Chase after us. Why? Because they just love us to the point they want to. Catch some zombie love every Sunday this March. The Loving Dead. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Martwe Unmatea Sudanamda Big Match Wasantheta Pepperwari Visi Hatrada Sita Saji Viva The Papare TV The Papare TV HD Dialogue View Epsaha The Papare.com Sri Lanka Ve Uncle K. Krida Nalikawa Hands up! Welcome to the RIPD. Well, bounty hunters for rogue souls that escaped judgment. I got this. Our job is to find them and send them to where their ticket got punched. Hmm? Hell, Roy, we send them to hell. Oh, that was unexpected. RIPD 2, Rise of the Damned. Дайте крупный план. Нина, в тебе все добре. Ты какая-то зеленая. Гример, посмотрите, в тебе зерка зеленая. Ой, тебе не нужно никому ничего сказать. Я сама чудово совсем справлюсь. Что передачу закрыть? Нет, что зачем? Sri Lanka ya kreda vikasani mitik at novindi now we tama at the game sub again Sri Lanka we anka ike kreda nali kava the papare tv the papare tv hd dialogue television nali ka anka hat tuna saha eka service hai or say within the narabana Sri Lanka we anka ike kreda nali kava young and carefree Four unlikely friends spend their time aimlessly Hello. until a getaway sets them on a whole new course. Oh, no. No. Together, they embark on a cross-border adventure, one that will change their lives in the most unimagined ways. Easy Living on Cinema World. Trinity vs. St. Anthony's. 42nd One Day Encounter 22nd March at St. Anthony's Ground Live on the Papara, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel I believe the right house is like a soulmate When the right one comes along, it's magic Welcome home, Susan <gasps> There's something in the house making it hard for us to sell and we make it go away Run as fast as you can Anything else that I need to know? Surreal Estate, Season 2. Real estate is exciting, isn't it? On Rock Entertainment. This March, Hollywood's leading men will take your screen by storm. Be they the good guys or the bad guys. Be awed by their action-packed performances. Catch these stars in all their glory.
every Saturday this March, only on Hits Movies. Dialogue Big Match Season. Hetalu vadina na virayan ata palagan man nata. Pasal tihak. Shurta pahalvak. Divai na pura. The Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app saha the Papare dot com haraha utvega kara tharanga siyal la sachi viva narban na. Anagat shurayan balagan man na. Dialogue anagat yaday. The history maker of sport. Innovative, incomparable, unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. On the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD. On channel number 63 and 126. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. The Dialogue Big Match season reignite. Powering the champions of tomorrow. 30 schools, 15 titles, island wide. Catch the action live. On the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app, and the Papare.com, powering the champions of tomorrow. Dialogue, the future today. Utwegen pirono taranga hatte hatarak. Lovata superi cricket tarupiri kandayam dahaya ekma kusalaniak. Mevar IPL taragavali jaya grhane kaurun nimi karagani vidha. Dialogue television within mulu taragavali manaraban rupial desiya hatali snavayakta suvisheshi di manavak. Mema di manava activate karana obat IPL mulu taragavali vagema thavat kreda taranga resak naraban channel pahakma activate kirema SMS. Oh my dialog kept bugging. Never to never be used to. Welcome to the RIPD. Oh. I got this. We have to trust each other. Yes or no? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window. It's up to us. So let's go be heroes. Eat your heart out. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 50th One Day Encounter. 6th April at SSE. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue Viewer and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Youth is set to all that came to Youth Plus. The Papare TV. The Papare TV HD Dialogue Television Nalika Anka Hata Tuna Saha Eka Siya Visi Hayo Se Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Krida Nalika Va Let's get into it This is Hits Now Where talents are discovered and superstars are born I'm very proud to have you on my team Where you can solve crimes and fight fires Must be nice Laugh with the family and many others <laughs> Play games and prove you're better All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. No star right now. Hits now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live. Enjoy three T20 matches, three ODI matches, and two Test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialog Television, the Papare TV. Dialog, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. Utwegen pirono taranga hatte hatarak lovata superi cricket tarupiri kandayam dahaya ekma kusalaniya mevar IPL taragavali jaya grhane kaurun nimi karagani vidha dialogue television within mulu taragavali ma naraban rupial 249 navayakata suvisheshi dimanavak mema dimanava activate karana obata IPL mulu taragavali wagema thawat kreda taranga rasak naraban channel pahakma activate kirema sms So my dialogue kept mugging. Sri Lanka cricket kandai me Bangladesh tarag sanchare de the hasvi se hatre. Utkar kar T20 tarag tunak. Ek din tarag tunak saha test tarag dekak. Mar tu hatre banda sita April tun meli dada kwa. Dialogue television the Papare TV OC Sachi Vivanaraman. Activate kiri me SMS so my dialogue kept mugging. Dialogue. Jatika cricket kandai me nila anugraha ka. Sundays in March. We bring you a wholesome lineup of wonderful family entertainment on Hits Movies. Let's go! Revisit the famous Stone Age people. Oh, I'm all right.
snakes. Have fun with talking ants and other lovable animals who are part of the family. Meet the first male fairy godmother who's doing his best. So sit with your family at a tub of popcorn every Sunday on Hits Movies. He's not just some observer. He's an assassin. I don't trust anybody outside of this room. You go rogue, he's been authorized to hunt you down and kill you. That's the job. Which way, Benji? Turn left! What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window! Mission Impossible Fallout. Mightier Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. They are our biggest fans. Why am I not surprised? The groupies come in all shapes and sizes. They stalk us, obsess over us, chase after us. Why? Because they just love us to the point they want to. Catch some zombie love every Sunday this March. The Loving Dead. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Unmatea Sudanamda Big Match Wasantata Piperwari Visi Hatrada Sita Saji Viva The Papare TV The Papare TV HD Dialogue View Epsaha The Papare.com Sri Lanka Ve Anker K. Krida Nalikawa Hands up Welcome to the RIPD well, Bounty hunters for the rogue souls that escaped judgment I got this. Our job is to find them and send them to where their ticket got punched. Hmm? Hell, Roy, oh. we send them to hell. Oh, that was unexpected. R.I.P.D. 2, Rise of the Damned. Дайте крупный план. Нина, в тебе все добре. Ты какая-то зеленая. Гример, подивись, в тебе зерка зеленая. Ой, ты не треба никому ничего сказать. Я сама чудово с всем справлюсь. Что передачу закрыть? Нет, что зачем? Sri Lanka ya kreda vikashani mitik at novindi now we at the game sum again Sri Lanka we anka ike kreda nali kava the papare tv the papare tv hd dialogue television nali ka anka had to tuna saha eka cvc hai o se within the narabana Sri Lanka we anka ike kreda nali kava young and carefree Four unlikely friends spend their time aimlessly Hello. until a getaway sets them on a whole new course. No. Together, they embark on a cross-border adventure, one that will change their lives in the most unimagined ways. Easy living.
on Cinema World. Trinity vs. St. Anthony's. 42nd One Day Encounter. 22nd March at St. Anthony's Ground. Live on the Papara, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. I believe the right house is like a soulmate. When the right one comes along, it's magic. Welcome home, Susan. <gasps> There's something in the house making it hard for us to sell, and we make it go away. Run as fast as you can. Oh, is there anything else that I need to know? It is exciting, isn't it? On Rock Entertainment. This March, Hollywood's leading men will take your screen by storm. Be they the good guys or the bad guys. Be awed by their action-packed performances. Catch these stars in all their glory. Every Saturday this March, only on Hits Movies. Dialogue Big Match Season. Hetalu va dinna virayan ata palagan mannata. Pasal tihak. Shurata pahalva. Divayina pura. The Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app saha the papare.com haraha utvega kara taranga siyalla. Sachi viva narbanna. Anagata shurayan balagan mana. Dialogue anagata yadai. The history maker of sport. Innovative. Incomparable, unleashing an experience. The Papare TV on the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD on channel number 63 and 126, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Back uh, to the Singley Sports Club. Uh, this 90th uh, Battle of the Saints between St. Joseph's College and uh, St. Peter's College. Uh, not good news uh, coming in uh, from uh, the SSC. The heavens have opened up as uh, the rain is coming down quite heavily down here in uh, Colombo. And uh, not the best of sights uh, for cricket fans uh, from uh, St. Joseph's and St. Peter's. And this is a uh, the batting card in reply, uh, the Josephians. Uh, uh, big wicket uh, early on as Avicha Samash uh, was caught uh, by Rosen in the, in the slips uh, for four. And uh, from there on, it was uh, a show from uh, experienced Hirun Kapuru Bandar, 53 of 62. And Abhishek Chaibira played a second fiddle very nicely for his uh, 23 of uh, 70 delivery deliveries. Uh, plenty of uh, batting to come in. Uh, for the Josephians in experienced Hiran uh, Jaya Sundara as to come in next. And uh, the Peters uh, batting card just uh, one wicket taker. Just uh, Joshua for his uh, three overs, uh, one for nine. He's uh, been the pick of the bowlers uh, for the Petrites. And uh, Shannon Rodrigo quite economical. None for 23. He didn't get a wicket as just one wicket uh, went uh, for Joshua as he got uh, Avisha Samash uh, caught in the slip suck. Uh, courtesy Lush Mika Pereira. Not much uh, to talk about the other bowlers as uh, they were all wicketless. 11 extras in 22.4 uh, overs. Uh, St. Joseph's 91 for 1 in reply. The highlights are from that uh, third session. That was uh, Price wicket of Avi, Avisha Samash, the first one. And then from there on, it was uh, Hirun Kapur Bandara show. And uh, uh, Abhishek Jayavira played very well playing that second fiddle as uh, Kapur Bandara took the attack uh, to the bowlers. This was that uh, slide appeal that uh, went away to the boundary. And this was that uh, maximum courtesy. 
Kapur Bandar. That was that extra cover drive. Beautiful stuff coming in uh, from uh, the under 19 cap. Or 19 national cap for Kapur Bandar. That was swept away for a six. The maximum. That was uh, once again, which uh, went down to the boundary, which brought his uh, half century up. Erud Kapur Bandar. Brilliant knock, and uh, then the umpires. Uh, Oh, the light is not uh, good for play. Umpire Vimalasiri and uh, Rambo Kuala support the batsman uh, to go off the field and uh, match a summary as of now. St. Joseph's won the toss and put in uh, St. Peter's to bat. St. Peter's uh, put on 270 for 9 in uh, 60 overs. Top scores coming in from uh, Dilna Thamsar, a brilliant century. 103 of 151 deliveries and uh, Owin Salgadu. His opening partner was uh, the next uh, in uh, the batting lineup, 46 of 79. And Nathan David down uh, the order, 35 of 46. Important runs coming in. And uh, the pick of the bowlers for the Josephians, the season campaigner, Yenlo Devatus, uh, 4 for 74. And uh, Manasa Madhubasana bowled really well, 3 for 68. And Avisha Samas just a solitary wicket for 1 for 22. And in reply, St. Joseph's uh, 91 for 1 uh, with Hirun Kaprabandar. 53 not out and Abhishek Chavira 23 not out. Uh, the lone wicket taker for the Patriots, Joshua Sebastian, 1 for 9. And uh, St. Joseph's College uh, trail by a big margin of 179 runs heading into day one stumps. Well and truly. Uh, session uh, that belonged uh, to uh, the boys from Dali Road 91 runs on the board and uh, just uh, the one wicket of Avish Samash and, uh, from there on it was a good partnership uh, between uh, Hirun Kapur Bandara and Abhishek Jaiweera session 1 belonged to St. Peter's where they got uh, 150 for 3 and uh, the second session uh, was uh, shared between uh, both the sides as uh, St. Joseph's uh, got uh, seven wickets and uh, St. Peter's got, got uh, 120 runs and uh, the third session well and truly belongs to the Josephians. Uh, we have another three more sessions uh, left in this game. This 90th uh, Battle of the Saints. Very interesting days of play coming tomorrow. How will both the sides uh, will come uh, with a plan to get uh, something out of this game. Upcoming uh, live big matches uh, Live uh, from uh, St. Anthony's College grounds tomorrow, the 42nd limited overs encounter between Trinity College Candy and uh, St. St. Anthony's College Candy. And uh, then next up, uh, next weekend, we have the 29th and 30th of March, the 18th Battle of the Goals between DS and uh, Mahanami here at SSC. And the 29th and 30th, we have the 72nd Battle of the Goals in Amora to 31st March, uh, 31st limited overs encounter in Moratua as well. Three days of uh, cricket in uh, Moratua and uh, fifth, sixth and seventh is the 13th battle of the Golden Alliance in Uyanwatta. And uh, the 50th uh, one-day encounter, the Battle of the Saints uh, here at uh, the same venue at SSC on the 6th of April and 7th of April at Wellagedera, the 26th one-day encounter between Mali Deva College uh, Kurnagala and uh, St. Anne's College, Kurnagala. And uh, the last game uh, for this March Madness, uh, the Bear Dialogue uh, Big Match uh, season, uh, 21st April, the 18th limited overs encounter between DS Senanayaga and Mahanama College here happening at the Singhali Sports Club grounds to top it off the Dialogue uh, Big Match season. And uh, Day 2 live action uh, will uh, bring you the live action uh, from 9.15 a.m. from here at the SSC grounds as uh, the day 2 action uh, from the 90th Battle of the Saints between St. Joseph's and uh, St. Peter's. The game uh, will bring you the live action at 9.15 and uh, the first ball will be bowled at 9.30 a.m. So stay tuned with the Papare. And uh, that's it uh, from uh, the day 1 here at SSC as the rain uh, continues uh, to come down. The day, the game uh, day has uh, been called off so uh, it's day one stumps as uh, we head in to a very interesting uh, day's play tomorrow so stay tuned uh, with the papare as we bring you the live action uh, from uh, ssc 
tomorrow from 9.15am from Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, The Papare TV.